One hundred percent. You could say that there might be some. But why would you say that about a However, princess? I mean, making a Cookie Monster joke. I, because I it's know. all it all plays into the larger. But does it really? I mean, we yeah, make all kinds of crazy jokes on this show. Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Does it? Hello and welcome to the Kill Stream. I am your host, Ethan Ralph, the owner and the editor in chief of the Ralphretort.com. I guess I can take the image off the screen back on camera once again with Destiny in studio here at Casa de Masterson uh, for the fifth show, I believe, this week with another show tomorrow. Oh, Jesus Christ. Feels Double like show. a Wednesday. Oof. I think Jesse Lee Peterson exercised all the evil in me, so there's nothing left <laughs> last and last night. It's quite a sermon. Yeah, once. Were, Were you it? on JLP show yesterday? He came in here last night oh, and he spent shit. three hours uh, guilting me for not marrying my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm sure true. he talked about other things too. <laughs> it was, was a... <laughs> it was exhausting listening to him talk about uh, race relations and not nod at all because I would rather be dead than somebody catch me going, "Oh yeah, totally." To after he's... JLP line. <laughs> Uh, yeah, he was here last night. But also, Destiny, welcome here in person. First time meeting you in person. You've been on the show many times, though. Um, introduce yourself. I always do that anyway. Hey, I'm Destiny. I play uh, video games. I'm most known on the internet for my wonderful League of Legends gameplay. And then I do a little bit of politics on the side. Sometimes. Very good. Very good. All right. Now, let me also bring in uh, Gator. I think he's here. Well, let's see. Gator, are you here, sir? Yeah, what's up, buddy? Uh, nothing much, man. Just getting everybody here set up. I think we're good. Wearing my Hawaiian shirt. Went out and saw Corinne today. I don't know if you saw oh, that. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, I, I did see that. She made an offer to hate Andy Worski. Um, I guess we could play that. Uh, I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll just, I'll just play the <laughs> That's sound. That's going to be the hate fuck of champions. I'll just play the sound because I don't feel like uh, uh, bringing, you know, fucking with the scene. Uh, but you'll just have to listen to Corinne. Uh, let's, uh... It's Corinne forever! Corinne now, Corinne nothing. I wanna hate... Oh, wait, it cut off. God damn it. Fuck. I hate Twitter. Andy Worski. Oh, it's Twitter. It's Corinne it's forever! Back, Corinne now, Corinne nothing. I wanna hate you, dude, so come to LA. I will invite you like I invited you to Aspen and you just didn't show up. So I, Corinne, dare ya to come with me, baby! Because we never did. All we did was fight, oh. and I want to make peace. God bless you. All right, there's Karen with the offer uh, of hate fuckery uh, to Andy Worski. Would you would you take that up? What? Uh, what is the relationship? <laughs> <laughs> Is this person going to be a special guest later? Uh, no. She's special. She's she a is a guest. She's a special guest every okay. time she comes through. Uh, she's been on the show many times. She actually wants to come tomorrow during the Baked Alaska thing. And I said I had to ask. Oh. I, I didn't know. Uh, I didn't feel appropriate just bringing her I might need to over. reschedule my Father's Day <laughs> plans for tomorrow if that's uh, happening. I I what, could, she definitely wants to do it. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. I didn't who is just, she? How, how do you guys know her? What's the relationship? Um, she's an IRL streamer. Um, how would you describe her, Dick? L.A. What L.A. <laughs> does to women. Okay. Uh, uh, by the way, Corinne, dare you? Is that I, what's the pun? I never heard that one, or I don't know what the play is, or the word play. Corinne, dare you? I don't know. Uh, but yes, I, we, I, I went out to see her today, and uh, she uh, she was wired as she always is. Uh, Did you there. consider just walking into the ocean at any point <laughs> while she's talking? The thing to about you? Corinne, uh, and you know, she was nice. We got along nicely in person, actually. Uh, but she never, there's never a lull uh, in the conversation. I mean, we try not to have lulls here on air, but that's because you know it's an entertainment program. Uh, in real life, sometimes usually people stop talking for a minute. Uh, Corinne does it. You want to drink your like Coke or whatever, and you don't want to like. Have yeah, to or just let me respond. think about what you said for a fucking minute. That's a thing yeah. too. Uh, but anyway, uh, she wants to go back on the road as a Killstream correspondent. She wants to go to uh, Seattle and interview Raz. Uh, she said, uh, I think that's his name, right? I don't know. Yeah, don't yeah, the warlord. Yeah, yeah, she said she might have to, you know, become a part of the commune or something or whatever it is up there. I don't know. She wants to go. She wants to go to Seattle. So. Uh, and she did do some riot coverage. I don't know. We showed her the other night her phone getting knocked out. Uh, apparently, she was trying to get me to watch some more of her riot coverage. Also, she said this, that OnlyFans was the future of uh, live streaming. For her? For everyone. She oh. was trying to sell me on that. Uh, she had just set up her OnlyFans 10 days ago. 
uh, which I hadn't seen, obviously. <laughs> I didn't know that news. Uh, but yeah, she said uh, they let you go on didn't OnlyFans. Didn't OnlyFans start shutting down people that weren't uh, explicitly doing nude stuff? I don't know. No way. There's no way that's no, true. They're not. That's not true. No way. Why would they lose so much money that's for no their reason? Whole business. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I yeah, saw I that. To, yeah. I think it was people that were selling. They were like escorting explicitly on there. Oh, okay. Um, that that makes, would make that more makes. sense. Yeah, like explicitly escorting. Too. I mean, I'm sure most of these, maybe yeah. not most, but you know, a certain number are escorting. I'm sure, mm -hmm. but like blatantly escorting uh, and getting caught out on it. I think that's what that was uh, because they're definitely not getting rid of nudity. Uh, and, and I guess people that were doing like parody things, like people that were taking pictures of fans and being like, "Hey guys, it's my OnlyFans." Oh, <laughs> get it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, yeah. <laughs> hey man, if you're dumb enough to sub to it, <laughs> fucking. You saw Nisian had, had an OnlyFans. Apparently, he's. Actually actually doing hardcore pornography on his OnlyFans now, though. I, I saw some that. of his teasers. <laughs> He's, like, showing off his cum gutters on Twitter to try to entice you over there. That, that's the guy that hits on 14-year-olds all the time? Um, I don't know about all the time. <laughs> I don't know. Well, is that the... <laughs> Something like that, I guess. I don't know. Okay. Uh, he's an interesting fellow. Alleged. Allegedly. The, the Allegedly. Who, uh, Chris Hansen sold his story to Information Discovery or whatever <laughs> the channel's called. Also, we're taking calls tonight. Uh, Gator, flood the fucking chat with the call link because we didn't do any show prep. So hopefully the callers call in and argue with you. But, we, I mean, there's topics to talk about anyway, like the riots and stuff like that. What, what were your thoughts on all that? Uh, some serious shit. What are your thoughts yeah. on 400 years of race? <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a pretty open-ended question the there. States, I mean, I know, it's about two weeks of unrest and turmoil, you know. I mean, I think it's, like, uh, historically unprecedented for – this many cities to have this many protests and then countries around the world are protesting i guess as well in solidarity some cities other countries too so what do you think about it what like do you support that or what do you think about do you the support the first amendment or not um, no, not the protest necessarily yeah, so i excesses. support <laughs> listen if people want to protest i think that's great if people want to riot against like public right. institutions <laughs> if you want to blow up cop cars or cop precincts or public buildings or whatever that's cool Personally, not a fan of the looting stores and blowing up businesses and stuff. I feel like it's a little harder so to wait, justify. So wait, wait, wait. You're cool with blowing up the cop cars, but just not the biz the businesses. Okay. Yeah. I think, uh, yeah, attacking public institutions is kind of a cornerstone of, like, American views of government, right? That's what all those Second Amendment guys might have forgot, but that was part of the big reasons why they defended that Second Amendment Second stuff Amendment was to fight solutions. against the tyranny of the government. Yeah. yeah. I mean, police wield exclusive, you know, kill power on behalf of the state, so it's pretty worthy. Monopoly on violence, yeah, that's yeah. pretty much the whole state there um, i think most people actually kind of agreed with the protest at first because like not people are people are rightly suspicious of, of the way that cops have become militarized but mm -hmm. then once the political chicanery started and then they started you know going into businesses and burning down shops and things like it completely uh polarized and there was a partisan divide I mean, I'd say there was a partisan divide before, even for just the protest. There's always going to be a partisan divide on when you're looking at things like cops. It's always going to be that way. What do you think like about the difference the cops? between like a crack in the earth and then uh -huh. like you know the San Andreas fault? Yeah. What, what do, do I, yeah? What do you think about the police? I love general? the cop. I'm white. <laughs> if I have problems. I call the cops. If I need directions, I can walk up to a cop and ask him. We love our cops. So I get pulled over. He might offer to inflate a tire if it's a little flat. I'm I'm cool with the cops. Uh, in, in general, have you dealt with I think in that, LA yet? Since you um, moved here? No, actually, everybody said no. the California Highway Patrol is really brutal, but like I'm driving around with my expired Nebraska plates for like a year and a half now. Oh, that's no why. One as soon me. as you get the California plates, they'll go, this motherfucker. Yeah. We're going to pull him over and fuck with him. <laughs> I've got, I, I guess I've gotten lucky. I haven't gotten pulled over for anything yet. So. Yeah, me too. That's pretty much been my experience with the police as well. Um, <laughs> Cooper says, uh, good thing there isn't shitty audio that rapes ears. Yeah, well, I don't know. Did that really happen or was that just. Prove it happened, because I deleted that part already. Uh, Tuesday with the Diamond here on Friday. Shout out to her here on Freaky Friday with Destiny in studio. Uh, I almost let off with that song, the Lil Dicky song. I think I'll finish with it instead. I know how much chat loves hip-hop. Nurak says, I'm too drunk to taste this chicken. We've all been there, sir. Cooper says, you can tell there are Destiny baguettes here crying. Baguettes, all right. Crying? They're taking over the country one city at a time. What does he mean, crying? <laughs> Green Danger says, Rouse fingers smell like colloidal silver. That is not true <laughs> at all. <laughs> Disgusting. Subculture says, I'll do it. Let's go. That's Andy Worski saying that he will smash. We got to put money on who comes first. <laughs> I want like Thunderdome. I want to bet on those two banging like a horse race. 
He was Who's going to go for nipples? Who's going to tap out first? She was dead serious. Who there. ejaculates for her like, like, more like she was, quantity? She did that as a joke. Like, you know, she was playing it up, but she was dead serious about fucking him. Like, that was not a... <laughs> That part was not a joke. The first time I ever talked to her on this show, you might have been uh, out of commission. You might have been doing some charity work during that part <laughs> of the stream. <laughs> but I was, she was in a recording studio in Malibu, and we talked to the guy he was with, some like old beach cruiser yeah. guy, t telling him, talking about his chances of getting laid that night. He took us aside. He goes, "I think the chances are pretty good. I'm gonna give you back to her now." Like a hundred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I mean, uh, I talked to Worski earlier. He was speculating, man, I shouldn't spoil this, but, uh, he, he said road to Corinne. I kind of like alliteration. So countdown to Corinne might be what I would pick, but, uh, road through Corinne. road to Corinne. We were joking about it being a well-traveled road. Uh, uh, but so we'll see. <laughs> Wide open road as well. Hell's gates, <laughs> like the 300. <laughs> that open highway. <laughs> Oh, my God. All right. Destiny's just like, what the fuck are they talking about? All right, let's keep going. Just here for the ride. I think <laughs> you can piece it together. <laughs> <Yeah. at some laughs> <point. laughs> I'm figuring most of it out. Tums Fest says, love you all. That's all. Thanks, Destiny. Another visit. That's right. Another wow. appearance. Kyler, or, yes, Kyler SC says, Andy and Corinne would be a hate crime fuck. That might be, actually. Kyler says, Andy and Corinne would be. Oh, he said that twice. Okay, yeah, we got it. Arcade Outpost says, Destiny is not white. Yeah, I thought you were Cuban. Uh, half Cuban. Yeah, I'm Cuban. And even full Cubans look pretty white. You look white, though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, you look white as hell. Nobody would say that because a Cuban <laughs> guy walking around, they would say you're white. Probably. Uh, arcade out. Oh, yeah, okay, we read that. Uh, based Nibba says, I need a Hawaiian shirt. You need one like this. Wow, with the dark pattern. Mm. I scooped that as soon as I saw it, yeah. Tud fuckers. Excuse me. Tud futters. You got me with the diamond. I got you with it. I got you with it. <sighs> Jack Dapper says, what's Destiny's thoughts on Boogaloo Boys? The Boogaloo Boys. Boog um, I don't know what they are now. I really don't I know. There was a was. Vice article that said there were a bunch of guys in Hawaiian shirts going around trying to encourage um, more destruction, I guess, during the riots or something like that. Yeah, they're like uh, <sighs> Second Amendment LARPers, like uh, doomsday preppers, but they're waiting for to take over the government. They're the three percenters, right? Isn't that that same I don't, related crew? They want to take over the government. They want mass chaos and anarchy, but they want it their way. They don't want the liberal version. They want the, the right, right the conservative. That Vice article is literally why I got out, went out and bought a fucking Hawaiian <laughs> shirt, too, by the way. So shout out to Vice. Uh, good job. Should we there, boogaloo Vice. it up right <laughs> yeah, now? I got, got Hawaiian no, shirts. She said you had one almost like this one. I'm going to go get it. Go right get now. it. I want to boogaloo. Do you want one, Destiny? I have sure, one. Shirt. <laughs> Let's yeah, do the boogaloo the shit. The boogaloo out of trio. <laughs> oh, fuck. Here with you until the boogaloo. All right, let's see. Uh, uh, Nurak says, why does Destiny look like Neil Druckmann? Okay, you know what? I'm glad that uh, you mentioned Neil Druckmann, though, because The Last of Us 2, uh, I don't know if you call it a controversy or what, but uh, have you seen any of that? How it's yeah, I've seen getting... quite a bit of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it'd be hard to miss that. What mm -hmm. are your thoughts on it? Uh, um. I mean, are we doing spoilers here? Or? Yeah, spoiler alert. We should say that. And I love the first game, by the way. It's one of the... Mm -hmm. Best games I've ever played. I'll say that on air. It. Second, I, I haven't played through it bit. yet, yeah. so I'm just going by like things I've read. I've watched a lot of video, or whatever. It, yeah. it seems like um, you you had a whole game of building a relationship between two characters. You really liked both of them, mm -hmm. and to start the second one off killing one and then making you play the person that killed them, it seemed like there's so much ground you'd have to cover to make that character likable. And I, it doesn't seem like they did a good job of doing it. It doesn't seem like a good idea, does it? Yeah. I, don't I know. mean, it could be. But from an emotion, like getting invested and feeling like playing that through, you know what I mean? Like you say, um... it could. It's very controversial to do something like that, right? Like yeah. almost like, um, I mean, games that do that kind of bait and switch, a little old, um, like Metal Gear Solid Two. I know. This, I was gonna say, play right yeah, I played. I, it, I liked uh, it. I thought it. I thought it. I worked. hated it. Some first. people hated it. At first, it, yeah. I hated it, and I was like, "What the fuck? Mm -hmm. Are you kidding me? No, no, no. Where's I Snake? Uh, but it grew on me. Like after I kept playing it for a little bit, it, yeah. it grew on me some. By the way, we're we're <laughs> we're boogalooing it up here. <clears throat> This is like a normal Hawaiian shirt. This is some African tribal <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's a secret to yeah. white supremacy. It's full of pedophile symbols. I got it from the Epstein no collection. <laughs> this is the kill stream. It wouldn't surprise me. I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay, now we're all three here in our duds. Uh. <laughs> Let's talk Boogaloo now. 
Now uh, we were talking Last of Us two, uh, and oh, I actually God. didn't realize. So I kind of I don't like spoilers, even if it's something like this usually. But these are so in your face, uh, and I was actually really excited to play the second game. Uh, but uh, after oh, um, after I saw some of the spoilers, not really that excited uh, anymore. I might still play through just because I love the first one so much that everything, curiosity might get the better of me. But everything about the game, save the story, is supposed to be really good. Like the sound, the way it everything looks, else, the gameplay, yeah. like everything is supposed to be pretty good. It's really tough. And again, spoiler alert: you know Joel's head getting. Bit, what, brains busted out on the ground by some by a uh, golf club. By a golf club. We were talking club, about yeah. this last night. That's not. That's unbelievable. I, can't. I believe the zombies. Right at the I... beginning of the game too. Um, by a, now, there's another controversy about controversy uh, about the character Abby. I guess being a transgender. Now they're actually not transgender. I get a quote unquote. I think they're like just super masculine or something like steroid. I mean, she. Abuser? I don't know. If you're or, right. are they, she looked are like they, pretty like like a pretty. Strong woman. Yeah, I would say. Uh, I don't know if she looked like roided up or anything. Well, I, mean, I think that's seen... part of the story, though. I don't know if that's true. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure. I uh, saw that on Twitter. So I, I, I read know. some trans complaints <laughs> yeah, on Twitter. Yeah. And they said her <laughs> entire character is that she's ashamed of the tra- of her transness, and they were pissed really? that it never showed her being relieved about her identity. Like I guess, and when the zombies are eating her, she's not like, oh, at least they're eating a, a man. I, yeah, I don't know. I haven't played through, so I don't know like the intricacies of how. Also, is this really the way? I think I was talking to him about this last. It's night. why we want zombies <laughs> so we can escape all this shit and just like survive, survive. That's all I gotta do is survive. I don't gotta have. I don't gotta navigate the fucking needle of knowing how to respond to these issues. But is it really the way to promote, um, you know, transgender acceptance to have them? Uh... Beat the brains out of one of the most beloved characters in video game history right at the beginning of the game. I don't know. It, it's more of a Waluigi move. <laughs> he comes yeah. out. Says, I don't know. Like, it's this, um, crack, this whole crack, dealing with like crack. with with like non zombie stuff. Did this start with The Walking Dead? Where that I haven't watched yeah. that show, but isn't that like usually not about zombies? Isn't it a lot a bunch of other shit that goes right. on? Right. I didn't watch that show. I didn't. Either. I didn't watch it, but I, that's my understanding. Yeah, that it's really about there was like, like, about 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 nothing but yeah. like internal politics. Yeah, exactly. Very, that's my I keep, zombies. I keep looking at you because I hear this other fucker talking. It's and I get really confused. Sorry. Yeah. So I think someone is talking over there. I'm sorry. We have a puppet. <laughs> we can put over there. <laughs> you can <laughs> pretend it's Gator. It's all good. We need a zombie show that's just zombies and no regular uninfected people, yeah. just like going to work. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Uh, Rob Max seven seven three three says, "Sweet short." Oh, it's a. I don't know what that is. Short URL. I don't know what that is. Gator, try to look at that. I don't know. I'll look at it in a yeah, second. Yeah, send that to me, and I'll try to. Okay, I will. Uh, let me scoot up. Uh, all right. Dictator says, "Boogaloo boys just want to have fun with something that I won't read." Thank you. Pinky Culture <laughs> says, "Destiny, post your pinky finger on social media." Um, that's up to you. He collects. Is that a dick joke or what is that? No, he actually collects pinky fingers. I did it. I thought it was a dick thing too. It's, I finally did it. I don't know. He ca- he catalogs them and posts them. He's been asking me to post mine, so there it is. Uh, I posted it to him before and he lost it, and then he asked me for it again, and I said, "No, fuck you, weirdo." Even though he's one. a nice guy, even though he's a nice guy, I like him, but I was like, "No, fuck off." But there you go. There's the pinky. You'll have to clip it from the show. What do you think about that? Sounds kind of weird, but it does. I've got people that have made compilations of me <laughs> sneezing, so I don't know. I mean, it's <laughs> par for the course for internet weirdos, I guess. Uh, Jack Dapper says, Chad Tranny, greater than Virgin Joel. Mordecai Stewart says, Hawaiian Fridays <laughs> equals union made Hawaiian safety vests. All right, let me check some of these other ways that you can support the show. Augie RFC over on entropystream.live slash the Ralph Retort says, The Destiny episodes are always great. Bo Blacks still won, though. Uh, you did talk to Bo Blacks, didn't you? I think so. <laughs> yeah, he's talked about yeah, it. Like that was, some conversations are very painful. I only remember the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's that might have been one of those. <laughs> yeah, okay. Let me check stream elements. Okay, there's nothing on stream elements, so we're caught up. Let's take some college. What do you think, Gator? Also, I think Warski and them might be coming in later. Uh, to... Warski's doing cock push-ups to prepare oh, for Karim God. right now. He's ready, isn't he? Oh, God. By the way, this I'm going to put this in suggest stories just because that's what I had pulled up. Um, oh, yeah, I see that. George Washington statue. We could get into the statue thing. I think we will, actually, since that's a hot topic. But let's take some callers first. Uh, King Oscar, you're on the kill stream, sir. Go ahead. Oh, hello, lads. How are you doing? Doing um, great. 
things. Uh, I want to say that Lauren Southern is a radical centrist now, um, and that's disgusting. Now, wait, uh, now, that- now, wait. Let me say this. Um, so, Lauren Southern put out a 17 minute YouTube video today. Uh, also, I think something on Instagram, basically announcing uh, her return to the scene. Here, uh, she also sent me a message like five minutes before we were on air, oh. and uh, it contained an email. Uh, and it's kind of a long email, um, and we have a guest here in studio. But is it a seventeen-minute read? Um, maybe for Ralph. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's so funny. Hi. <laughs> I'm actually very good at public reading. It's kind of half the job here. Um, all right, now I'm gonna read it. Yeah, do it. I wasn't going to actually at first. Your ability. Now to that parse. you fucking said that, I'm gonna read the whole fucking email, and you're gonna have to sit here and listen to it. All right. Come on. Your ability to parse around n words on super chats is un- <laughs> like it's like a, I've said this before. You're like a sign language interpreter for someone who is in very inarticulate, uh, like uh, twisted, uh, molded. Uh, yeah. All right, this is Lauren Southern. She said, "Is she okay me. with you reading her email? Is that are you well?" She lose gave it to me to read. Like she told you, like for read public this on my show. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, she knows yeah. gossip monger. Like, public quarter. response to uh, yeah. To some she sent me. I heard yeah. in the past the shows had trouble with like dealing with emails and like losing potential conversations and stuff with people. Oh, so is know. that what you heard? <laughs> yeah, so Stefan Molnu, fuck you. I'll say oh, that live no. on there. Yeah, fuck what you. happened? Because he asked. He fucking okay, said on listen to this. Okay, he called it my show. No, he said he wanted to debate Destiny on Twitter. He's like, yeah, let's do it. Set it up. Oh, and, I asked okay. him about that, and he said no to he me. He didn't know who I was when he initially agreed, because he blocked uh, me like two years ago. Because the guy, was Yeah, and so then baby, me and yeah. Destiny just talk very casually every time we talk. Okay. And so I just copy and pasted what Destiny said, and I said, here, here's this fucking topic. I don't know. Just pick something, whatever. And he's just like, this guy doesn't sound like a very serious individual. Uh, I, I, I don't think I, I, I want to debate, I want I debate okay. him. Have you, ever, what, have you what did you do before podcasting? Uh, marketing. <laughs> okay. Engineering. Right, marketing. Marketing. Yeah. Engineering. Okay, yeah. okay. If if you're interfacing between like a worker and like a customer, and you ask the worker, like, hey, what should I tell this customer? And the worker says, like, I don't know, tell him some shit about how like this is whatever. Would you would you ever expect the middleman to copy paste the engineer? <laughs> That's what but he did to me. He, was I mean, he, emailed me. he emails me and he says, "What do you want to talk about?" I'm like, I don't know, white nationalism or some shit. And he just copy paste <laughs> that email to Stefan. And my audience is a bunch of sixteen year olds. I'm like, "Well, why would you say that?" That's not professional. I didn't know he was gonna fucking copy paste my words verbatim. That is a little. <laughs> Never in my life <laughs> would that. I imagine anybody doing that in email chain. Like, fuck me, dude. But did you learn said... something from it? No, but wait, I learned a he... lot about Ralph. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, fuck you. No. He was already in on the debate. So I'm like thinking, okay, he's already in. You know, it's casual, whatever. Like, I don't have to come. Like, oh, yeah. please, Mr. Molyneux, may I, you I'm do this today, shit, please? Stefan would have found any reason not to. He just, he doesn't like talking to me. You know? Yeah, oh. I don't think he would have done it. Yeah. But then he ended up making a video because he was catching so much shit because his fans were like, where's the Molyneux debate? <laughs> <laughs> so then he's like, well, Ralph fucked it up. <laughs> Blame him. White nationalism uh, and shit. Yeah, so that was going to be the White debate. nationalism or some shit, yeah. <laughs> I could so have left out the... Ralph to say, oh, you know, Stephen uh, was he interested. Why did that suggested to him? Well, <laughs> I could have left out the some shit part, probably. Oh, what, are uh, what are you going to do? Molyneux, we look forward to your appearance on the kill stream, no. sir. Oh, God damn it. Oh, what, what's going on here? I don't even know. I don't think anything's coming in. Did we bring in a caller? Yes, King Oscar. Got... Fuck, now we have the Lauren Southern. Oscar, you're still here. Why don't you do your call uh, first? I've, then It's already taken you 17 minutes to read this email, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> he was right. He was right. Go ahead, sir. Um, I just want to say the Boogaloo thing started on the 4chan K board as like a joke. It was a, it was a like government comes to take my guns and I shoot federal agents thing. It was, mm. it was all in like, a, it was all, it was all in jest, right? I don't shoot it federal got, agents. I just want to say that. But yeah, go ahead. It, it got, it got co-opted and it's pretty, it's like glowing right now. Um, <laughs> and he, like you see these boogaloo people is. on the, on the TV and it's like, all right, on bro, Waco? We, we know you mean that, that? <laughs> we know, you know, it's a government thing now. Um, and I have a question for Destiny. Do you love black people? I love black people. Yeah, <laughs> that was the answer now. Um, I was, I was gonna, I was gonna get The Last of Us too because they're finally taking bottle returns in Michigan. Uh, but then I decided not to when I saw the tranny getting fucked in the ass. So, um, oh, that's it. Sunset me. 
Thank you, sir. Wait, is it actually confirmed Thank that she's God. transgender? In the that's what I don't. Uh, my understanding is I thought like, it was just a butch woman. That's too. That's what I assumed. It's, but yeah, it seems the like trans it. people. But that I think I read they have some. Yeah, say that she deals with it specifically. She talks about it specifically. The lore is that the character Abby is uh, based on a female bodybuilder that Neil Druckmann follows on Instagram. And that uh, he was the one that did the mo motion capture for the guy that has sex with the uh, with, with the character Abby at oh, some point in the game. That is a complicated so it might ass. Be a little bit of like fantasy. I wonder what's going on there. Living out in the game, something like that. So is he just gonna like watch that and beat off for the rest of his life, like Citizen Kane kind of <laughs> custom <laughs> porn for himself? The Citizen Kane of personalized jack off material. Is that what you're? Uh, I don't know. By the way, I completely <clears throat> fucked up the windows here. Uh -huh. That reminds me of um, there was a game, um, I don't remember what the game was. It was a Sony game, Two Spirits or something that had Ellen Page was like yeah. the character was modeled off yeah. of. Yeah, and, and she... apparently, um, I, I guess Crackers broke into like the, the game files and got some of the assets out. And I guess they'd like fully animated like her nipples and everything, even though they would never show up in the game. Oh, beautiful. Kind of. <laughs> I wonder how many strange. other little secrets like that yeah. are oh, scattered throughout video gaming there history. Was a shower scene. Something, there was yeah, a shower something like scene, that. Yeah. But they make sure not to show her nude body in the shower scene. But apparently, like, the people that developed the game had actually created a nude model. Mm -hmm. Jack Cowboy, I just saw this randomly scroll by in the chat. What the fuck am I watching? That's a good question. Uh, let's see. There is a trans character, but it's not a Abby, is what Kyler has Yeah, I don't, I don't think Fuck Abby is supposed to be trans. She's supposed to be like a buff, post apocalyptic know. female character. Yeah. Subcultured says it's a trans. Tra oh, I guess he means, tra means trans. Trust me, I would know. He says it's a trans. Trust me, I would know. Uh, Mordecai Stewart says never thought I'd like Destiny, but glad he's here. You winning them over so slowly. Thanks, All right, I'm let's trying. keep. They're the boogaloos. <laughs> Since you've embraced their boogaloo culture. Uh, Red Baron, you're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh, hi. How's it going? Hello, Destiny. You look like a Mujahideen, dude. Thanks, dude. I try. Allah Akbar. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, can I proceed with my questions? Yes, you may. Yeah, thank you very much. So, uh, four years ago, Destiny, you debated a guy by the name of Ryan Dawson. Do you remember this? Yeah, that guy's on some crazy shit now. Fuck. I don't even remember what I remember recently reading about him. What about him? Yeah, uh, he would be very interested in having a debate with you about um, Zionist and Israeli uh, po uh, influence on American foreign policy. You know, I actually you just, got, I just got out of debating communists and socialists because I don't want to talk about irrelevant fringe stupid shit anymore. So I'm going to have to give a hard pass on the uh, on the Zionism uh, Jewish conspiracy shit. Uh, it sounds fascinating, though. I'm sure he'll have a lot of fun. Oh, it's not a conspiracy. If I, uh, am I allowed to push back a little? Because, uh, as you know, um, Stephen Walt and Mearsheim wrote a very publicized and talked about a the book Jewish about this very topic. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, would you say that they are conspiracy theorists too? Oh, I think holy they're shit. very yeah, serious about that. actually. That changes everything. <laughs> you didn't know about the book? Holy shit. Wow. Wait, re wait, what else do they write about? <laughs> You're getting sucked back in yeah, in real wait, time. Holy That's shit. what I thought I was out. Well, now I'm now I'm <laughs> now I'm kind of wondering what who are the Jews that I should be the most worried about right now oh, in my me, life? The Israel lobby. I well, call the Jewish lobby. Well, if you debated Ryan Dawson, you could find it out, right? Wouldn't you? Well, I'm what if he's a like a Jewish opposition or something and I don't know it. A lot well, of these, but, a lot of these uh, guys that have problems with Jews seem to be married to him. It makes me wonder. Might be like uh, if it were to be serious, uh, he's actually a libertarian. Uh, he's not of course a communist. He is. <laughs> uh, and he's also very interested in debating the American Civil War with you too, if you would like. All right, thank you, okay. Red Baron. We'll see. Thank you for the schedule. They're doing it. Again, Does he think right? that there's not enough influence? Is there Jewish something about being on camera on? where they just call in and try to like schedule live on oh, air? Yeah. Like I don't know if that's normal. JLP or... was on for the first five callers wanted to set up interviews with him on their show. Yeah, they're Jesus. calling in to try to get their own <laughs> fucking rub. It's like get the fuck. All right. Oh. And they all the same response. Well, I already sent you an email to that address, so <laughs> you, I just... you ignored me. <laughs> yeah. So I thought maybe if I call. <laughs> That's like the guy in the like I texted you five times, so I thought I'd show up at your work I and see you if you wanted it. Yeah. Jesse, and I don't know. I thought you was worth something. Oh my goodness! Uh, let's see, Geeky, go ahead, sir. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Hey guys, how you doing? Doing great. All right, so I got a couple stories tonight. Um, so I actually right by like my hometown. We kind of drove by it, Ralph. Um, 
they shot a 18 year old security guard and some Hispanic. So right now, like, we might have um, South Bay Boogaloo Part Three. Uh, now wait. Uh, explain that again. What happened with the police? What, what's the What's the facts of the case? Also, I was reading my phone. I can't. They lie. shot like... some Hispanic. That was this guy's. This white guy's name. <laughs> some Hispanic. <laughs> yeah. Um. They, they shot a guy named Andres Fortunato, and um, they he was the security guard. Supposedly, he was walking two girls to their cars, and the cops shot him. Nice. Oral, technically Gardena PD. No wait. Security guard walking two girls to their car. Cops yeah. just shot him. Like, why would he? And because the because when the cops approached the kid, he, he started running away because he claims he was he scared of the cops. Oh, I'm thinking there's something more to this. That, that's what I'm thinking too. Because the body cam footage hasn't been released yet. Man, mm -hmm. I don't know. I wonder sometimes who was the uh, who was the black guy that got shot in the Wendy's parking lot? Did you watch that video? Yeah, oh, that was Ray Shard um, yeah, Brooks, I think. Um, yeah, I think so... something like that. The that one was who cre... was drunk. Yeah, Ray Shard. Yeah. Was... The guy just starts running away, and the cops like, "Nope," and just fucking unloads. Holy shit! I had ne yeah, I don't know about that one. Ray Shard Brooks. <laughs> Didn't he try to shoot him with his cop's taser? With his taser, yeah. yeah, he missed. Yeah, shot him with you know taser. what do you think about that? Now look, I, you know what this is. I'm glad. Destiny, you if it. someone tried to tase you, I would shoot them. No, I, I mean if the taser's discharged. I mean they're two cops. They're supposed to, the guy's like fucking drunk out of his mind. I, this guy could probably run twenty steps before he falls on his ass. Like he blew over. Um, he he blew pretty well over the legal limit. I don't remember what it was exactly. But it was pretty well over. Like was it? Well, so like I mean, I know that, I understand hindsight. Twenty twenty is like, oh, you didn't have to shoot him, you didn't have to kill him, but like this guy took a taser from the cops, turned around, he's shooting the taser at the cops. Yeah, the taser was discharged. The guy missed. He had nothing. I they had plenty of time to react. And a taser is considered a lethal weapon in Georgia, though. It is lethal. No, even if it, well, come on. <clears throat> You can die from getting tased. You can die from tripping and falling on the stairs. It doesn't make staircases. <laughs> yeah, either. but you okay, can't like shoot a staircase at you. I can shoot a <laughs> No, let me ask you this. I'm sure there's some episode of Jackass where <laughs> <laughs> they kill somebody with some stairs or try to. Regardless. We have a taser right here somewhere if you want to put that to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Ta okay, if you try hard enough, anything can be lethal, all right? Okay. Tasers are right. supposed to be a less lethal, non-lethal. It's supposed to be. A right? kiss can be deadly if it you mean be. it. Also, yeah. Gator, from that Corinne the... chick or whatever, it seems like. <laughs> oh, my God. Depending on what antibodies you have, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. All right, um, I'm going to have to step away real quick. Gator, take the MC duties. I'll be right back. You would hope that it, you would hope he let oh, him run boy. away, but that's a lot of, that's, I mean, a, that's a hard decision to make I, with your I life. I could see it being hard in some cases, but this, to, to give some background, this guy was so wasted. The cops showed up. This guy was asleep in a Wendy's drive-thru. Yeah. There was like 10 people behind More him. More like passed out. And he, he, yeah, he, passed he, out. He was like, no, yeah. You don't have to explain that one to me. I've been there. <laughs> Waking up in my car with puke all over. Like, okay, I'm glad you pulled over, uh, kind of. Yeah. I can't believe somebody else puked on me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably why you attacked the cop. So wait, yeah. keep going. What were you gonna I, say I mean, the next? guy was pretty drug. I, I think yeah. they probably could have gotten away with not killing the dude. But yeah, if for no, no other reason, at least for appearances, person, right? Yeah, that would be. I mean, maybe that on that day in particular, maybe not I a might good have look thought for twice. So shooting him in the back. I might not have done it, yeah. but you know, the cops can't afford me, so they get somebody who's making this decision decision all day, every day. Sure, yeah. Uh, seems like a lot to expect them to just let him run him, tire himself out. They're cops, right? So they negotiate their union contracts for it, so they get paid for it? Yeah, what do you pay cops for? Would you pay him, are you paying them to let guys like that run away? Well. No, the cops. Oh, the the drunk dude. The guys like Ralph, yeah. Oh wait, which one? <laughs> wait, which one? Which one? But now that he's gone, if got, cop, someone. Well, I was just saying a the other guy. Asshole takes a swing at a cop. What's the move there? Book yeah, them down. I mean, you probably let him run run himself out. I mean, like I shooting, probably would too. start shooting people in an open parking lot. I mean, if you're in the wrong city, you cops will get shot doing that shit. What That's if it crazy. was a woman? What if the what if it was just a regular woman? A woman shooting cop a taser or? at both a woman cop. He's blasting a taser off and then running away. Do you feel so, differently about it then? Because I kind of do. My, so yeah. So when I first heard about this, my my first instinct, because I actually, 
So one thing that a lot of people don't understand is noncompliance is always going to be hard. Yeah. There's no easy way to subdue somebody, whether it's yeah. a taser, a body slam, a choke. It's always going to be hard. So when, when I heard that he shot a taser, I was like, oh, okay. Like, guy's probably reaching for the guns. Cops shot him. I can understand that. Yeah. Um, the, the problem is that, like, this had just gone so far. Like, the guy was running away. He turns around and, like, desperately fires off, like, a taser thing. Wild miss. Turns around and keeps running. And the other yeah. cop's like, fuck no. And just, like, right into the dude's back. Yeah. Like, if it happened earlier when they were all struggling and the guy's like trying to grab the taser. Because the, be okay. the thing that was confusing is like the two cops are fighting. The yeah. guy grabs the taser. He's like aiming it at the cop and he starts like shooting. I thought they would have shot him there. And yeah. I would have been more sympathetic. It feels like, revenge you, Yeah, that's kind more of like them. you got the drop on me. Fuck you. It feels exactly. revenge yeah. to me too, because, like, but if, I if you, still if you can't tase fault one cop and that. another cop is on the ground, I mean shit could get really fucked at that point, yeah. right? But like if you tase, you miss, you're running away, like you shoot him in the what back. What if he's like, going for a gun though? What if he's going back to his car to get a gun, he, get a big shotgun, and just start blasting? That's valid. He was running away from his car, though. Plus, he's black. You can't see him at night. Yeah, well, it, <laughs> it was a pretty well lit. There were a lot, there were a lot of cars in the drive through. All he has to do is not smile. There were a lot of cars in the drive through. <laughs> there was plenty of lights on him. <laughs> I mean, so you let him go, and yeah, then you he just he walks over and he yeah. executes people, well, people, somebody in the Wendy's drive through, and then you're like, oh, where were you on that one, officer? Sure. Thanks a fucking lot. That was my wife. I mean, that's like a very, very low percentage chance as opposed to now we have another black guy getting shot in the back. What if a shot would have missed and hit someone in a car? It, feels, it, it would have been horrible. so micromanagey. But what it, about what they charged the cop with, though? They gave him like 11 charges and he's facing, I think, death row or something. He's getting like, a death penalty. Yeah, no. They're going to put him on a Tesla no, I know and shoot him into space. It, but I, mean, I don't, I don't, I don't, this I think a that manslaughter like, type situation? This is the not... thing is, is that like these are like standard policies that like other states do. So for instance, if somebody is like fleeing the cops and they're speeding, Unless you yeah. got him for like illegal possession, of weapon, you should just let him go because it's not worth it. Like, why? You oh, I agree with that one hundred percent. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. If you got just a drunk run. ass dude that was just asleep for five minutes in his car, you probably just let him fucking run away. I doubt he's about to start. I would like him to do that, but I can't fault him for shooting him. Is that's it's like well, I mean, I wouldn't have done it, but you know, there's probably a lot that well, you did guy, today that I wouldn't I do. Know. It's yeah. pretty provocative to take weapons off the police and shoot the weapon at the police. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, Eric Garner, for instance. I don't think that that there's no way to justify something like that, right? There are cases Absolutely. out there. Philando Castile no. actually as well. Yeah, no um, justification. I don't think at there's all. any justification for that. Oddly um, quiet, the Second Amendment people on that Castile one was very strange. Well, you know, we talked about the show, sucks. and it I sucks. said it, I said it was yeah. bullshit here on the show yeah. um no not every case is bullshit though that's the thing some people mm -hmm. you know fucked up and got shot by the police i mean if my shit had gone one way or the other and it's like well some drunk got shot by the fucking cops i mean what you know what happened oh well he fucked up he's dead now um around. somebody on twitter actually said you realize the the parallels between the this guy's story and yours he fell asleep drunk in his car you fell asleep drunk on the hotel couch the police came, you know, you had an altercation. He's dead. Yeah. And I was like, well, I guess it's a good thing I didn't go for the taser. Uh, so, uh, I don't know what to say. All right, caller, finish it up. You got a really long bonus segment there that since I stepped away. Yeah, I guess uh, my second segment would be, um, I don't know. Oh, you want a second question, is that right? Yeah, that's, uh, uh, okay. Start bringing them in fives. Yeah. Everybody gets five questions. <laughs> three, uh, three questions like a genie. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll just step away again. You take over. No, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, real quick. No, second question. Uh, I don't know if you heard what's going on right now, but um, the wrestling scene, everyone's getting um, sexual assault allegations right now. I don't know if you've been seeing that on Twitter. Uh, I'm about... so far out. Like, I'm so, I, of course, I'm a big wrestling fan. Grew up watching wrestling. Uh, but I'm about, like, six to seven months behind on everything uh, concerning wrestling. I still kind of keep an eye on it, but no, I haven't seen that, actually. Yeah, that and Jim Cornette's a cuck, apparently. Oh, I saw people saying that in the chat last night. I'm actually going to have to look into that because I haven't, uh, I don't know the whole story on Jim Cornette being a cuck. Not yet. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, but I guess, I don't know, we'll talk about that I know that he's a later, huge liberal and he always, he's always mad, uh, raging at Trump and stuff on Twitter, like in a really weird way. Um, like Tom Arnold weird? Yeah, that kind of yeah. weird. Yeah, like he said he wasn't going to eat Wendy's anymore. I forget what he said about Wendy's the other day. Uh, he said after 35 years I'm not going to eat Wendy's anymore or something like that yeah I mean I just don't Jim Cornette is still awesome I don't give a fuck <laughs> I don't care about his politics I, I have to go to the wrestling history but yeah he has been spurging out for a while thank you Geeky you guys have a good one man you too man I saw a lot of chicks uh, on Twitter that obviously shop only at farmer's markets talking about never buying Aunt Jemima syrup again. So I don't think you even know where to buy What do you Aunt think Jemima about syrup? that? <laughs> I literally fucking used Aunt Jemima syrup for like my whole life, pretty much. Uh, it's good shit. I mean, what do you... 
there are like there are definitely some things that I feel like need to go. I, I still feel like like the Redskins. Yeah. Kind of weird. Did I don't you know. see? Did you see? They put out a statement on Twitter actually like supporting racial unity or like yeah, yeah good, we love good. black people and they're like <laughs> fucking cancel yourselves you fucking racist yeah that one seems a little bit weird I'm, I'm on the fence about the Andrew Mama stuff like um, obviously like it harkens back to some weird stereotypes that I didn't even know existed to be honest um, but I mean so like it's they, educational kind of on this Juneteenth <laughs> yeah I mean like they tried to reform it I think in 89, I think they they made it, they got rid of like the really like minstrelly looking version, I think. Yeah, yeah. Know. Now it's like, yeah, that's true. It's a different mm -hmm. one now. Yeah. The old one is clearly like a mammy type. Um, I hope that like, if I hope they replace it with like another black figure at least. Like, it seems kind of shitty if you just know. Uncle it, Jesse. Yeah. Uncle he's Jesse. pitching he's it all <laughs> Professor Syrup or whatever. Is that the. <laughs> Make it, was it Lizzo that I suggested? Oh, no, that was for the that $20 was for the, bill. I think bills. she makes more so sense for the dollars. syrup, actually, than the $20 bill, now that I think of it. I kind of wonder, like, sometimes I, get, I I try not to do the, because I know you guys, all you crazy fucking anti-SJWs do <laughs> yes. the slippery slope shit. But I, but now, like, I think they got rid of, like, master slave terminology in Python a couple years ago. They got rid of master branches <laughs> and GitHub. Um, I think we're trying to do it with blacklist and whitelist. Like, at what point do we get rid of the Lucky Charms mascot soon? Like, I don't Very know. Same. I kind of, yeah, I kind of wonder. Well, that's going to happen yeah. in the next wave. What about Juneteenth as well? What is this movement to make Juneteenth, like, a holiday now? And Why would anyone be opposed holiday? to that? Well, I'm yeah. not, really, necessarily. Stay off school? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, like you day. motherfuckers <laughs> already got three months off this year. You need another one? Can I eat uh. one? for one second how absolutely fucking bullshit it is that these fucking kids got like six months to play fucking computer games I know. in a row. I would have I would have been fully pro in StarCraft instead of semi if I had this much fucking time to train as a kid. <laughs> Unfucking believable how lucky these motherfuckers are. I can't but believe it. But they had to go on conference calls for three hours a day, which are which a conference call time moves at like 10 percent of regular time. True. That's brutal. And they missed. They all missed but their school, prom. They school all missed. time. School time is also very fucking slow. You everybody it's remembers true. the last fifteen minutes of fucking math or history where you're watching that fucking clock and it, you're on like a mushroom trip. It's like thirty minutes go by and you look at the <laughs> clock and it's only one minute. You think you're losing your fucking Just mind? It's like, yeah, there's no way. <laughs> your batteries must be starts playing. Fucking dead. Holy shit. <sighs> All those poor guys who were saving it up to ask that hot girl out to the last day. Uh, oh, nope. Send sorry, them emails All now. their plans yeah. have been way <laughs> laid out. <laughs> <laughs> Typing big ass novels. You know, you don't know me, but. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's see. Well, tickled pickle with a diamond. Jack Dapper says Kylo Ren hates the Hebrews. I wasn't aware of that. Wait, huh. is that something that's breaking? Can we look that up? Is Adam Driver involved in something here? Can we? I don't know. I know he was a Marine, wasn't he? Adam Driver, I think. The guy with the Toucan Sam. No, the, you know, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, yeah, with okay. the big pants. Yeah. <laughs> he hates <laughs> Hebrews, huh? I don't know. I haven't, I'm not aware. Again, I disavow completely if uh, you know, Kylo Ren's representatives are, are watching. Adam Driver's representatives, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, Greg Anderson, TKF, says, Destiny running away from Ryan Dawson, coward. Mordecai. Well, I'll say Destiny has been pretty good about debating just about anybody that I've ever asked him to, including Sov. Just about did, anything. Which I didn't expect him to accept, but right away he was like, yeah, man. Her brother coming into the end? Holy shit, that's <laughs> fucking weird. I get really big, like, her and oh, her he brother, I get involved? big, like, Billie Eilish vibes from there. I'm not too oh, sure what's... No. <laughs> I don't no, know no, what's don't going know. on in that household. Her brother man. came in at the end? No, it wasn't yeah. her brother. I think it was the dude that works on the scripts with her. I don't think it was Isn't her that her brother? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. It's hard so. to separate like meme from reality in the online so, shit. I don't know. But I don't I couldn't say for sure. Uh, I remember his name. I not, not off the top of my head. Something boy. It was the one she said that worked on scripts with her. Yeah. I think he's in Brazil or something. I want to say that. I don't know. Again, don't hold me to any of this. Uh but yeah, he came on and dropped the in law. <laughs> Yes, I do remember that. Uh, let's see. Destiny's cool, but Valsh is a pussy avoiding Ryan, Mordecai Stewart. Uh, yeah, I mean, you did talk to Ryan, too, before. So. I have. That dude is... There's like, I I like there are certain like brands of like conspiracy theory that to engage with it is just impossible. Like I would always lose a debate against the world's best flat earther. I just don't have the physics knowledge to do it. And like Ryan Dawson is on like that level of like super ultra conspiracy where it's like, well, the UN, you know, says this. And it's like, well, those are all fake because of this guy. And it's like, I don't have fucking time to do all this shit. <laughs> Fuck all Mordecai that. Stewart says, also, Boogaloo boys glow in the dark. All right, I get it. Fuck you. We're wearing them anyway. Um, but thank you for the super chat. Much appreciated. Uh, Pirates 777 with a ninja guinea says snarky passive aggressiveness makes a great argument destiny 
I must have missed that. Uh, Jack, it does, though. It does, really. Yeah. Does. Really, I mean. <laughs> I, 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 I see that's working, because these guys seem to be pretty fucking upset right now. So. That's why we vilify it. That's why everybody says violence is not the answer, because it's always it's the like, answer. It's like, yeah, it's a pretty good yeah. answer, usually. Uh, <laughs> he usually gets results very quickly. Uh, Jack Diver says, where can I apply for a staircase license? I don't know what he meant. Oh, we're talking about oh, killing people that. with staircases earlier. Oh, okay. Yeah. I missed that part. Pyrus 777 says, dodge a taser shot at full sprint, you bitch. Uh, Cheeseburger 6 says, him having the taser was a danger to others. Uh, Chromatron says, this is absolutely amazing. Cheers, boys. Thank you, Chromatron. Appreciate that. Amazing. Brain Rex says, excellent shirt choices tonight. Ralph Wolves, I agree. Thank you, sir. On both counts. Pyrus 777 says, cops want to avoid... Revenge, what does that say? Re- revengeiness from you, Destiny. I don't know what that means exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounded pretty snarky in passing, actually. <laughs> Pyrus 777 says, What if he'd run an intersection while, quote, so wasted? Uh, that's true. Um, lo- not that I've ever had any DUIs. I'm just saying, like we're coming off probably the most historic protests in the history of the world. <laughs> probably not a. <laughs> Probably want to, like, if there was any time not to shoot a drunk black guy in the back, probably be the next couple of weeks, maybe. Maybe in, like, two months you get away with it. With a couple of articles on CNN, but, uh, yeah, right now. Yeah, maybe. I do. There is a school of thought that eh, maybe just chill out. Yeah. Uh, maybe. Fire a warning don't shot. Fire <laughs> yeah, uh, don't fire that. Yeah, don't fire that shot, maybe. I could understand that school of thought for sure. Well, Tickle Pickle with the Ninja Guinea says, I have a few questions for Destiny. All right, we'll ask him or call in. We'll definitely have you on. Uh, Lieutenant Binary I'll says, the, uh, call in like it, yeah. yeah, post it again. Lieutenant Binary says, Destiny is a fig, but a fig who knows banter. Cool. That's pretty good. Pretty good compliment here on the kill stream. All right, let's try Fish and it's Soil. Not as good as a compliment as you're going to get. Yeah, Fish <laughs> and Soil. Go ahead, sir. You're on the show. Uh, yeah, Destiny, I was just kind of wondering if there are any firearms regulations you would be willing to repeal, considering you've had at least some degree of Second Amendment support in the past. Like, would you be willing to get rid of the short barrel rifle and any other weapons categorizations under the NFA? In, in, so I, I would have to look into it more, but my personal feeling is that most um, most things involving rifles are done just to make people feel better. Um, the vast, like 90% of homicides or something in, in society is, are caused by handguns. So the idea of all the weird restrictions we have around short barrel rifles, Jesus Christ, in California for the AR-15s, you got to do weird shit with the yeah. handles. To, it's the horrible. The button, the uh, recessed yeah. button that yeah. you need a tool for. Oh, my God. Like, I, I refuse to believe magazines. that this is saving lives in, in America. No. Like, um. Yeah, we. I, I, it doesn't feel like those types of gun restrictions are, are very positive. I'm, I'm way more in favor of things like if you're if you're private selling from one person to another, you should probably have to file. Um, what there's that uh, federal background form or whatever. I don't remember the number, but like you, you should probably have to like keep track of stuff like that. But mo- most of the things revolving around rifles seem pretty silly to me. Like feel good legislation, basically. Well, fair call. Thanks for your honesty. Thank you so much, Fish and Soil. You have a good weekend, sir. All right, let's keep going here. Uh, the guy said, "Well, tickle pickle." Okay, he's in the green room. Worski, you're here. What up? How you guys uh, doing? Worski here. Worski, so, Worski you I'm, know. I'm sorry best. for being late. That's I've okay. been uh, I've been uh, I've been purchasing liters of Claudial Silver all night on Amazon <laughs> looking for the lowest prices. Are you actually you gonna know? fuck her, <laughs> Worski? Are you actually gonna fuck her? Is I mean, come on. How much would it take? I don't know. I, I think you should. Well, Why know. not? Kickstarted. Cause, cause look, I. You know, it's funny because I call my subscribers on DLive like the clap crew, right? <laughs> but after I fuck her, I'll be part of the real clap crew. <laughs> this is going to be right. Knoxville part two. She's going to have to get STD tests on both sides. We're going to have to verify uh, yeah, identity. It's going to be a yes, right? <laughs> We're going to get a ring. There's going to be rules. We're going to have a ref. <laughs> well, I've had I've had so much unprotected sex that, and I haven't gotten AIDS yet. So I feel like <laughs> so, so, I feel, so I feel like this is the final boss for my dick, you know. <laughs> like like Rodney the, Danger this is what I've been show. working up for. This is what I you've been waiting for this whole time. <laughs> Jeff did predict that. Oh, shit. Uh, this is the last. Once you clear this, though, it's all smooth sailing from here on out. 
Uh, but yeah, it's, it's exactly. she was dead serious too. By the way, I'm not. I know she was playing it up for the video, but she was dead serious. Uh, for it, sure. I DM'd you right, and then yeah. you were like, "No, nah, dude, I don't think she was." I was like, "LOL, my nah, dude." Yeah, and he was like, laughing. Nah, I was dude, like, "Dude, she's is... serious." Um, so uh, we'll see. Now you... I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna take uh, a calls on my show later, uh, and and we'll try to do a you know a, a vote. So far on Twitter, everyone's saying voting for yes. So we'll see. Yeah, most everybody's gonna vote yes. <laughs> of course, of course they're gonna vote yes. <laughs> Why wouldn't they? <laughs> Uh, now Destiny's here, of course. We've been oh, speaking of, of course. Uh, we hey, Destiny. Him. What's yes. up, Andy? Long What's time on, no chat, man. Yeah. yeah, man. How you been, buddy? Pretty good. How you doing? Excellent. I, I think man, the dude. last Thank time you. I saw a video of you, I think you were like setting your belly button on fire. My nipples. Making this? nipples. Oh, nipples, nipples on fire. Gotcha. You've recovered. Oh from that. yes, yes. That that was. And then after that, the uh, whole florida thing you know i've had some ups and downs you know but everything's <laughs> good now <laughs> you didn't see that well we don't have to bring up the florida thing i don't know wait oh shit no now you, you got to bring it up you what didn't do you mean see the uh when the gun got pulled wow well, oh that I'll... florida thing you didn't see that well Maybe, you haven't heard happened? of this destiny the, what the what? stay back really? stay back you know what okay this is by magnum opus if you ask me and he was in charge of a one-man <laughs> army let me see if I can find it. Now everybody on the stream. Is oh me. no, I'm, I'm I'm fucking I'm gonna I'm gonna step out on a break. No, but wait, let me. If it's not if it's too long, I just want like that one little part. If it's the full thing, I'm not gonna waste time doing that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. I guess just Google it. Basically, Worski. Um, I don't know. They got last involved in the night, street uh, altercation, uh, kind of. Some, or, yeah. Go ahead. You can well, explain if you want. Well, it was two years ago. Had a little bit of a breakdown, hang out with some people. Some people kind of went at us. Mm -hmm. And one of my buddies had a gun. And I may have told him to aim the gun. Aim, aim, aim. Yes. And he said, stay back. <laughs> we will defend street. ourselves. Jesus. Jesus. Quotes now. But he so, misread what so standing so ground step... meant. Not that meant everyone's <laughs> so, ground. <laughs> <laughs> so I vanished off the internet for two years and I got my shit together. I uh, started working on myself and I'm back and I'm doing well and I'm happy. He's doing well. I he's, needed that. He's been coasting the show yeah. for the last month. been doing great. He's hosting the after show here. The Twisted Mind of Andy Worski uh, right after Fuck the yeah. kill stream. DLive.tv slash subculture. Doing great. Saw him up around a thousand viewers again last no night. No crazy uh, firearm related incidents anymore. Exactly. Not yet. We'll, we'll Not see yet. during we'll the see. Corinne thing. That might be the oh, next. Oh my uh... gosh. She might like that. <laughs> I feel like she might be the type. You know the type. All right, let, a dick definitely knows. All right, let's mm -hmm. keep going. Well, tickled. Well, tickled. JLP doesn't have to know about any of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, tickled, pickle. You're on the kill stream, sir. So can you hear me? I've yeah. never done this before. Yeah, I Discord can hear right you. Here. You sound crystal you sound clear. Perfect. Well, perfect. Thanks. So thanks for taking my call, and uh, thanks for coming on, Destiny. And I'm just really curious. Appearances aside, do you think that Chinese people and Africans are the same? Um, I, I don't think any two people are the same. You, are you gonna are we doing the race realist thing? You guys get these colors well, a lot, or is it just because I'm? Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, obviously, there are wonderful Africans and terrible Chinese people, but like on average, are well, the two groups? They the asked JLP the same question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They actually he did last <laughs> night. Yeah, yeah, I did. find it so strange that the best genetic stock we have on on the planet is so involved in these online arguments, and it seems like the the grand achievements of their life are some forum post. You have all this good genetic material to work with, and we've done so little with it. See, it's because of the Jews. That's why. Okay, so you don't want to answer the question. Is what you're saying. So I, I think that people are roughly e equivalent okay. to each other. Yeah, I think I would say so. Probably, yeah. Okay, so Chinese people, they dominate university enrollment, and black people dominate crime stats because <laughs> what? Man, that, if you don't know the difference in the history of Chinese people in the United States versus black people, I don't know what to say, man. I don't think we have enough time on the show to cover that much ground. Other um, countries, other countries, other white countries, <laughs> Europe, Canada. Oh, you European mean where the histories are all the same? Which, which African country has the same history as China again? So uh, these people, they, they, people born and raised, Chinese uh -huh. people and African born and raised in, say, Canada or France or Britain, they, they tend to have different outcomes. This is because... Wait, wait, really? Immigrants in other countries, first, second, third generation have different outcomes than natives? Damn, you're just yeah. crushing it tonight. How many other big bombshells do you have to drop on me? Okay, so your, your answer is you don't want to address that. Well, no, the answer is obvious, of course. Like, like children of immigrants can have different outcomes uh, than native people. That's obvious. And any person that does any sociology or economics or criminology or anything will tell you that, of course. Okay, so um, 
Africans and Chinese people who come to white countries, mm-hmm. they have different outcomes because white people treat them differently. Or well, I mean, well, first of all, Afri- Africans that come to the or United States have abilities. have generally fairly positive outcomes. I'm pretty sure Nigerians are, hold like the most like postgraduate degrees of any group of people in the United States. Chinese people that come to the United States are probably pretty wealthy when they come here. Like somebody that comes to the United States from China because their parents want them to study in the best university in the world, probably going to be like selected from a higher echelon of society than random people that you know were the descendants of slaves in the United States or came over from uh, from other means so okay so it, it is true that you can cherry pick like Nigerians say they do very well in the states but say, Kenya, say I'm pretty Canada, sure it's true of most they, individual say, like African countries the people that come here usually do better than native uh, native whites even but okay. but I mean that makes sense is because okay. they're already very wealthy okay. when they travel over here yeah so say say in Canada which doesn't really it doesn't have a history of slavery we have a history of actually welcoming Africans changing our society to suit them uh, they come to Canada and they form ghettos and shoot people at a much higher rate than Chinese people because. That's great. Shit. I never thought of that. It's a good thing there's no such thing as Chinese organized crime anywhere, huh? Okay, yeah, but I can walk around a Chinese neighborhood and nobody. I'm curious. What do you think? What do you think we should do? What do you think? What do you think we should do about yeah, it? Yeah, there's high crime and it's terrible. Yeah, what do you think Canada. we should do about it? Pardon? What do you think we should do about it? I think we should acknowledge that Chinese people and Africans are different. That's okay, what cool. And then what do we do from there? I'm curious. What do you think? Well, we we have a realistic conversation about uh, race and all this because our, our yeah, well, no, we're having a conversation right now. What do you think we should do about it? Our I'm... society is predicated on the notion that Africans and Chinese people are the same, and we need to discuss this. Sure. So, what do you think we should do about Wait, it? What's it one is? difference we should have? I'm curious. We should have we should have a realistic conversation. We're having a conversation right now. So, what I'm curious is, what would you do differently than what we're doing right now? Would you pull funding from the schools because you don't think black people can learn, or would you? Would, I'm curious what you would do differently. That's all I want to know. What I would do is have an open and honest conversation in society about the difference between Chinese people and Africans. Gotcha. So you don't have an answer. If, to that. if, if, if you're afraid of the outcome of <laughs> That, I'm not afraid of the outcome at all. I just find it strange that white people of superior genetic stock spend all of their time with no accomplishments on the internet arguing with other losers on the internet about whose genes are better. Seems like such a pointless first, argument. First now, if you had like if you had like a different all, idea, all, I, didn't, I didn't say superior. Or inferior. Of course, I know I it's different. Of course, recognizing differences of course. isn't. Oh, I hate the. I, hate, I don't hate Chinese people or Africans. I just recognize differences. By the way, I want to interrupt this little dialogue here to let you know that. Uh, <laughs> Nick Fuentes might be calling in here oh, in a moment. Of course he will. So, uh, right on the back of this one. Apparently. <laughs> what do you think? A, what do you think a, cool. an honest conversation would would result in? What would it sound like? Like, what's the? Apparently, goal? he well, said that on his show. By okay. the way, he didn't say that to me. I just want to point that out. So don't, nobody get mad at me if he doesn't call in. I just want to say. What that. kind of emails did you send him? Uh, I, sent, <laughs> I actually, I did send him a DM. I did send him a DM earlier because, but it wasn't even for tonight because yeah. I guess Destiny and. Him had had some talking back and forth going on, um, oh. and apparently he had said he was willing to debate Destiny again. And so, I didn't hear it though, because you know I was working on my own shit. Uh, but people kept because Corinne was yapping. Yeah, in the and ear enough the whole people finally time. told me about it though that I figured, all right, I'll send him a message. So uh, we'll see. Um, okay, go ahead, caller. Let's. Finish well, I, I I I think Dick just asked me what I think the end result okay, go of ahead. the That's honest fine. conversation on race would be. Right. Sure. Yeah. Did I hear that correctly? So yes. the end result would be um, black people don't do all these crazy things and then uh, white people pretend, oh, that's our fault, sorry. That would be step one. So, but why, yeah. what, I mean, what, so uh, you want white people to not say it's their fault when stuff, like, you? they're doing that because they like doing it. Like, they're doing it because it's fun for them. They're washing black people's feet and they're jerking off when they get home. It's like fantasy camp for them, but they're... You know, like, what do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand that. Yeah, there's a lot of big problems in white society, and there's a lot of brainwashed losers washing Africans' feet and all. That. I understand all that, but you know, we—they're having a good to, time. They, they seem to be, but you know, like, should we, should we, should we really, um, should we, should we let them destroy society because they're having a good time? No. Well, is it really their fault, or is it the Jewish people controlling them? <laughs> <laughs> you really blame I white people white when we're, we're oh, just yeah, the yeah, horse, yeah, yeah, yeah. Could, okay? No, and Soros is the driver. Yes, I don't know if it's really of genetic I don't know how superiority. I, I don't know. I feel about you blaming <laughs> white people, okay? When Jews are the ones running the show, my dude. We'll go, calm down there. It's an insult yeah, no, to I, half I, of my I, people. I, I forgot. I forgot. Destiny's main response to this is that I'm some 
old guy. No, so I asked you a specific question. I'll give you a good answer since you have none because you guys never think about this, right? So somebody asks you, well, what would you do differently, right? Maybe an answer could be, well, I think that black people and Chinese people and white people all learn differently. So we should have different types of education for different people. Or maybe they excel at different types of... Now, I don't believe that, but that could be an actual answer. But you guys never think of that. You're just like so obsessed with like declaring like whose genes are better, who is the warrior (laughs) generator. You don't actually give a fuck about making any prescriptive statements. Like, well, how do we make society better? You just want to like win... I never said that. So everybody here can... No, no. So everybody here can go back. I asked you, I asked you like five times, what would you do differently? And all you're saying is have a conversation or race. We're having a conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're not doing that right now. Right now. We are right now. No, right now. We actually are. No, right now, you and I, we're having a conversation on race. And you're going to say one thing. Everybody could hear it. Like here, we can all go back to the VOD and watch like 10 minutes. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So uh, number one, we could stop importing Africans and saying, well, have to import these people and then watch them do crazy things, blame it on white people. We do you think that, that Africans that are coming here that, that have the money to immigrate to the United States are dragging society down? Uh, yeah, I, well, first of all, I live in Canada and I can see it. Yes. Like we live in a very different society now that we did. 10, what countries in Africa do Africa. these people have enough money to immigrate all halfway across the world to Canada and then they just commit crimes? I'm super curious. Okay, which... So how come in all the major Canadian cities, there's now a lot of shootings, which did not happen 20 years ago? I don't fucking yeah, know. There could be a million different reasons. Who the fuck knows? What, you okay, know, wait, wait, well, you do I know think... that all black people don't just come right from Africa, right? There's like different ways that people hmm. get to different parts of the planet, right? Really, I okay. That's that you, like, you're you making or... fun of my arguments, and you're saying this shit. Like, what well, I, no, I, I, I genuinely don't know. <laughs> generally, people that have money to, to fly across the world and move there usually are like pretty good. Like, I want to do it. If you got, okay. if you live in some Africa, you got enough money to move your whole fucking family to my country. You're probably doing pretty good. Like, oh no, wait, but aren't they, You've never heard aren't of all the Somalian immigrants you've never heard of these. in Minneapolis. And oh yeah, I, I can't help noticing that I walk around Canadian cities now and I see people who they look like they aspire to be in a rat thing. And, and, and there are I mean, I don't know about are these, that. like, the white kids on the street or the black kid. I don't even know which ones you're talking about oh, yeah. now. Okay, I mean, like, there are obviously one, too, but yeah, okay, so there's Oh, a, that there's kind a of hate speech. Oh. I can't, but... You know, the, like, rap and <laughs> hip-hop... That offends my <laughs> culture, <laughs> sir! From Memphis, Tennessee, you've really offended me Jesus. now. Go ahead. Sorry, Dustin. We're about to hey, make the classical music. This? I'm sorry, go ahead. Remember it. back when all the kids wanted to be, like, Mozart when they grew up? <laughs> and now they're these damn Kanye West fans? <laughs> yeah. God they're damn really... it. Unbelievable. <laughs> what about the musical debate that we had with you? That's oh, my God. It's that. fucking horrible, dude. No, no, no I can't make... say that. It was great. Africans are very musical. Africans have strengths uh, yes, and weaknesses. They're very musical people, that. yes. I know that. I already used that joke this week. Thank you, Well Tickle Pickle. You got anything else real quick, sir? Uh, no, that's about it. No, I appreciate it, man. You have a good one, sir. Stay safe. All right. Good night. All right. So apparently they're saying Nick is going to call in. He hasn't told me that directly, though. So um, we'll see. We shall see. We have a little impromptu blood. What did you say about Nick exactly? Somebody said you said something about him. I say all sorts of things extermination, about Booger Nick. I don't know. What something you... about exterminating or something. I don't know. I didn't see it like that. You know. Yeah, I don't know. you don't even remember. You just... I've said a ton of things about. It. I mean, I can say them again if you ask me enough questions. Well, I don't know. It was something about. Uh, I guess I don't know. I'd have to ask somebody in chat because I honestly forgot. I haven't uh, watched this stuff recently. The main stuff I got him on in the past is the kind of the what's Holocaust the last thing you remember saying stuff. about Nick? Usually, like the Nazi stuff, the weird what Nazi stuff? Like, what do you mean? Like the you know, not that many people died in the Holocaust. Those numbers are bullshit, or the weird Jewish what conspiracy do you think? stuff. Oh my god, I don't want to get into it. Never mind. What do I think? Oh what? No, <laughs> no, 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 never mind. I was gonna. <laughs> no, I just remembered some of the past I conversations. Think, I think the numbers are pretty accurate. I think the All numbers right. are pretty accurate. Do you think you should get in trouble for questioning the numbers? Um, I mean, it depends on your manner and your motivation, I guess. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong with, like, researching history, but, like, if you're a total layman with no engagement with the literature and you walk around with no desire to actually know what's going on, you're like, well, I think this is fake. It's like, oh, that, well, I'm glad that <laughs> that conveniently lines up with what your political you narrative. What if you the numbers and everything about the Holocaust and you just say, I'm tired of hearing about the fucking Holocaust and it doesn't affect me at all and I don't give a fuck about Israel or any of these fucking motherfuckers trying to affect my life with their bullshit Holocaust that happened 70 fucking years ago. What if you feel that if you way? you want to, fuck it, yeah. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, a lot of people fuck. feel that way. A lot of people, well, your day to day life when you're so know, bothered by all the don't think about the fucking Holocaust, Holocaust ever. Yeah, shit. I mean, yeah, like true, Jesus Christ. If I had to sit behind, like, why do we need 15 fucking Holocaust remembrance days, for instance? You know, the, I was joking around earlier and I said, well, I guess if we can have 15 fucking Holocaust really days, the blacks like, can have another fucking day too. Why not? get a uh, whole month, don't they? Wait, yeah, wait, they wait. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, yes. What, wait, how many? I'm genuinely ignorant. How many Holocaust memorial days do we have? I don't know. Do we actually have more than like one or two? Do we have days that aren't? <laughs> I've been re- I've been remembering it every day. I 
I don't know about you guys. Okay. All right. By the way, speak of the devil and he will send you a friend. Is an old saying. Nick Quintes, welcome back to the kill stream, sir. Hey, what's up? Nothing much, man. Good to have you here. Of course, we we're on camera, uh, in studio with uh, Mr. Uh, Bonnell here, oh, better known yes, as Destiny. Yes. Yes. Uh, how you? Thanks for having me. It's a uh, pretty cool, pretty cool stream to see the whole crew IRL live and in person. Yeah, and now you do that every night. Hey, of Nick. course, you're used to being on camera, but uh, yeah, it's a little new experience for me. It's been fun though. Uh, you called in, of course, Destiny here. Uh, I think there were some things to address. I don't, I don't even know the full story, to be honest with you. So, what is the full story, Nick? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I uh, Ethan Ralph texted me today while I was sleeping in the afternoon. And he was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was I was fast asleep, and he was telling me that uh, people want to see me debate you. And I've said that I'd be open to debating you. People put in a super chat, but I guess what I've been hearing over the past you know minute or two that I've been in the green room. And this reminded me, you said, I think you said on a stream that I'm in favor of like genociding all like non-white people. You said that to Bryson Gray. Is that true? Uh, I might have. I don't know. I say a lot of random hyperbolic shit about you sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> well, did you or did you not? Yeah, I don't know. You've seen the VOD. I might have. I have no idea. I, I really That's don't remember. I say, I say, I don't really think about you that much. I'm sorry to be, to be dismissive. But. <laughs> you know, here's what's funny about you, dude, yeah. is I go on my show every night. And I say things that are going to get me like banned off platforms, like obviously banned off PayPal, YouTube, whatever wow. things that people don't like me for. You're but so brave. Whatever I've said, I stand by it. You know, if somebody says, "Did you say six million cookies?" I'm like, "Yeah, I did say that." You say the safest I, no, thing let, in the world. First of all, wait, wait, wait. <sighs> you accuse me of like he's you're a racist and you are in favor of genociding people and you can't even own up to your accusation. You can't even admit and just say, "Yeah, I accused you of that." You know, right out of the gate, it's got to be. So, I, I might have said that. I, I say a lot of things. Like, come and on. As, as part of the conversation I had with Bryson, that guy was making arguments that I think rocks were alive. I don't remember a lot of that conversation, Nick. We talked about a lot of random shit. I might have said you you're a genocidal dude or whatever. Um, that's possible. Yeah, I'll own it. I guess you well, want me to. Well, do you think that? Well, okay. Well, do you think that? Do you think that I'm in favor <laughs> of genociding all non-white people? Do you think that's true? Um, I think given a uh, perfect conditions in a perfect world, you might be, but realistically, probably not. I don't think you're that stupid, no. <laughs> How do you okay. define perfect well, conditions? Go. Perfect condition. If he was yeah. the leader of the U.S., he had unrestricted how, how access to the sense? military. If I'm Christian. If I'm Christian, how would that make sense that I'm in favor of? I mean, Christians what does that do even a lot mean? of you weird say, well, shit in the history of the United mind, States. I mean, not. what does that even mean? What does that mean? There's a different. What, he's, you're asking me to explain your own rhetoric on. Stream. Uh, How many no, layers no, of irony are we on right now? Obviously, you have uh, pragmatic positions where I'm sure your position would be like, oh, I would like to curb the amount of non white immigrants to the United States to respect their traditional European breeding stock or some shit. And then you have like your more idealistic uh, positions in the background. You're kind of like Hillary Clinton, right? You have a public position and a private position. My private position is not genociding all non white people. <laughs> yeah. Even in private, <laughs> that's, not, that's not the position. Oh, not, <laughs> not the private one we talk well, about in public, at least. See, yeah. the difference is I'm, I'm Catholic. I actually have morality. Unlike uh -huh. you, we don't believe in that. Holy so. shit. You should contact well, all, of, all of ethics and philosophy. You've solved it all, Nick. The Bible has all the answers. Thank you. True. It does. Yeah. I don't know. I think you think like data does. Science, science leads the way. Reddit has the answers. Now, I, I'm going to Science doesn't Bible, say anything honestly. about morality, but I mean, y y if you think that, I mean, that's great, I guess. What are your thoughts on the, I've been interested. So I'm glad we have that settled. I hope you don't go around telling people, oh, Nick is in favor of, I, I think people are quoting. No, I, I, I feel like inside, I, I, think, I think you would be, yeah. I think I'd probably still say it. I, 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 I think if Nick had the ability really? to, oh so yeah, for sure. I, don't know. I think why? so. I don't even know why. why. Yeah, what um, makes you think excuse that? me. Oh. Calling you retarded is not very Christ-like. Okay, oh. so let's uh, slow down, Nick. Like, oh. Okay, <laughs> calm down. I think Jesus, Jesus said Christ that before. Call you retarded, frankly. Would he really? I thought he. I thought he healed the Christ sick. would call you retarded. Is that what you said? <laughs> he would. Yeah. All right. Jesus Christ was a lot more hardcore than you. Uh, than you people like to say he is. You, you guys people. are like, oh, yeah, that's not very peace and love. Jesus Christ wasn't Ringo Starr. He wasn't John Lennon. Wait, what? Wait, what? What secret gospel that didn't make the fucking council of whatever are you reading from? Where Jesus was not this. Have you that... read the gospel? Yeah, all four of them. Unfortunately, I went to Catholic school for twelve years. It's been a while, but. Yeah, because I read the gospel where he said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. 
I heard the one where he said, wait, can, you, know, wait, can, you, give, father, can you give me the he's, he's spiritually dead, whatever. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's, can we get the full, can we get the full context this. of that? Of he that was sword the verse? socialist that we usually hear, right? He was the socialist that he, he would be, you know, marrying gay people and he would be a Democrat. And I think Bausch says that a lot, right? I don't know if he'd be you a Democrat or marrying him, gay people, you? but I mean, like the walking around and the healing the poor people and the rich man have trouble passing, more trouble passing the eye of the needle getting through heaven. Feels like he probably had a certain political bend that wouldn't have been uh, fiscal conservatism would be my guess. He would be Nosball. He would be Nosball. Yeah, would he? Uh, <laughs> he, would be, he would be a Stalinist. Gotcha. No, he wouldn't be a Stalinist. He'd be something else. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I I heard, though, that you got in a fight with Vouch. Is that true? Um, I fight with comics all the time, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was a very interesting foil to me. My favorite, because I was watching like a stream where you were like going at him because he said like, didn't he say like Israel should be destroyed? And he was like concerned trolling you because you said like, fuck the poor. And you were like, oh yeah. Remember the time you said we should destroy Israel? <laughs> Yeah, we, I mean, we go back and forth on that sometimes. I'm pretty sure I would agree nine times out of ten more with Vosh than with you, though. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's your issue? Why do you hate Fuentes so much? You guys, what you know, you get hate along Fuentes? with Fuentes? Yeah, he's just like a fucking Hispanic. like closet yeah, Nazi. What's the, what the problem? Fuck? Like you're sitting hey, here with the dude us. Is insane. Like, why like, closet Nazi? Why is it like why? this? I don't know. You're sitting here with the us. Whole We're people all that do the crazy like hol- I mean, I'm sure he'd be like fun to chat with, but like. That's, a, well, that's like the, the end What of the else thing. is there, right? What, I, I mean, there's yeah. a lot of other things that are well, going on. You don't have to come, but you seem to have some genuine animosity. Like, I, I don't, yeah, I don't you know. I think he's like, like a really I'm hateful yeah, nice You don't like him. I think he's a really hateful person. Yeah, of course. Is I'm he not hateful. Talk How shit on the internet. We all talk me. shit on the internet, right? I mean, no, but you think he's hateful in private? No, I think that he's like genuinely has some like really hateful views that are really fucked up. I mean, on What are my hateful views? I mean, like, he understands like the meme game as well as anybody else. I mean, like, obviously, he's funny. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Part of how he what's hateful material, about right? me, though? I want to know. I do want to know what's hateful. Like, why Why make up his private hateful thoughts if his I think public that I would thoughts say are so that, offensive? So I would say the thing that bothers me the most about him is probably, like, the Nazi history revisionism shit. It gets a little the weird. The Holocaust? Yeah, when you start, like, like I think only a few hundred thousand Jews died. How many Jews do you think actually died in the Holocaust, Nick? Six million. Really? That's the answer the you're going with million that? dollar number. I think there's yeah, six well, million and one died, actually. Well, you guys I would are say, hate. here's here's what I would say, though. Here's That's, it's cool that you've dropped I've never, this I've never formally denied the Holocaust. You know, I made that clear in the Washington Post. Uh-huh. And a number, you know, a number of people. I'm, that's not a flex. By no, the way. no I mean, one's asking like, if you formally formally deny it. They're saying, do you think that the numbers are grossly exaggerated? That's the real question. The, the well, the reason I said that is because I got interviewed during Groiper Wars when mm-hmm. everybody was complaining about that, and the guy went through the whole. He's like, do you believe? You know, he went through the whole like Holocaust Museum like checklist. Do you believe this? Do you believe that? Blah blah blah. And um, you know, but I will say this. Here's what I will say, and maybe this is where you're going to say, aha, you know, there it is is like, you know, if you actually go through some of the documents from the Nuremberg trials, like a lot of the sources are dubious. I mean, they say things, for example, like that people were killed with electric floors, that people were put in a room where the floor was electrified and then the people got electrocuted like that. that I don't believe that happened. You know, they say things like uh, they were turned into lampshades. They say that the so Jewish when you have prisoners, like hair was have, cut off and sure. used to make mattresses. Like, you know, when you get when you get like widespread I, I, when you get widespread academic consensus on these topics across multiple countries, how do you explain the grand conspiracy that people seem to think that these documents are trustworthy or these stories are generally true? It's an industry. And I think if you do your due diligence, because the, the information's all out there, you know, and I, I think that it's Well, it's fine not actually, if, but it's fine if out of convenience you say to yourself, I'll trust the experts. I'll trust consensus. You know, I'll, I'll just put my faith in like, you know, this process. It's fine if you do that. If you're not like a researcher, you don't really care. You're not an investigator. But I mean, you can actually look at the primary sources for all this stuff. And it's pretty shady. And that's what I did, you know, because I was getting beat over the head in college about you know, you're 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 not down with Israel. That's how this inquiry kind of started is I was a Zionist. I was a hardcore Zionist. I was a hardcore like libertarian conservative. And I started to really get the shit kicked out of me by a lot of these like Zionist types in my circles because I started to say, well, what's the deal with foreign aid to Israel? Why are we supporting them? And that's all it was at the time it was a very innocent inquiry about, you know, look, if we're America first, how do you justify as a fiscal conservative or a nationalist? 
this like insane, indefensible support of this country. And, you know, you could say, well, we're in favor of it, whatever. But it, it wasn't even so much an argument. It was like, shut up. You can't ask that. That's hateful. And I got back to kind of the root of it was, you know, it, it all kind of came back to World War II and this like historic wrongdoing. That's why, you know, being far right is evil. Why is white identity Wait, evil? Wait, do you think the only why reason we support Ju evil? um Israel in the Middle East right now is because of World War II? What's that? Do you think the only reason that America has an interest in Israel's well-being in the Middle East is because of World War II, because of the Holocaust? I didn't say that. That's not what I said. Okay, that's what it sounded like you said. Well, you could say, well, I'll explain. I'll explain what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, let him finish. Go ahead. So go ahead. you're saying here's what here's what I'm saying, and it makes sense. What I'm saying is that the reason why certain views are you know seen as hateful or wrong, it always goes back to the Holocaust. When I'm talking about an inquiry about Israel is anti-Semitism because you know, and Ben Shapiro says this. He says that questioning a Jewish person's allegiance is that's dual loyalty and that's an anti-Semitic smear and anti-Semitic smears are dangerous because of the Holocaust. And like, that is always like the, the logical progression. And so I went back and I, you know, like I did just like look into the primary sources and I'm not do you even the read German? Se. I know you can't question the numbers. Wait, wait. Do, do you, do you, do you actually, wait, wait, sources, do you even, do you even read German? No. So you're not reading primary sources, firstly. You're reading translated versions of those primary sources. So, that, so that's the first right. thing to, to get. Okay. So the problem is- Do you is read German? Are... Wait, 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 wait. Do you read German? No, but I trust people that do. Okay. That, so, so like- <laughs> so wait, wait, but you don't read German, read German. No, I don't. <laughs> okay, but, all right. So, well, but, so I just so like, Yeah, so like, yeah. So, okay. but, but when somebody's saying they're reading primary sources of German documents, like, no, you're not, motherfucker. You're reading well, translated. I mean, and you're probably, you're also, you're probably, you're probably not reading primary sources. You're probably reading other people's- Pliny the Elder, I don't read it in the Latin, I read the translation. other people's interpretations of those sources as well. And when when Nick says things, especially when you say things like all the documents are out there, the fact that you say that means that, no, you haven't done the research because the documents aren't out there. Because when historians want to do this work, they have to go open the 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 actual archives in Moscow, in Paris, um, in London. Like they have to actually go to these cities and they have to go into these museums and they have to actually dig through. It's not all available there on some PDF called www.nasbol.com or some dumb shit. Um, no, I mean I, I would trust like a historian that is well read in a particular area to read a document, to vet it and contextualize it more than some dipshit with a narrative on the internet just, reading one I'm document saying and saying I... like, well Hitler never gave a direct order to kill the Jews, so he must not have done it. <laughs> like that kind of like direct reading of primary sources is stupid. It's dumb when people try Maybe to do. I'm medicine, a little sensitive. Down when people do it in history, like when you read Suetonius, you don't read. I mean, maybe some people do read the actual Latin, uh, but you read the translations usually, right? I mean, there are different. Well, you know, well, I, but, I but, but no, no, I agree with what you're saying trust. there. But the problem I, I is, is that great, the problem one with of the this best is that when you get people, wait, 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 wait
you know, I, I don't speak German, so I'm just going to trust historians. And why would historians lie? Oh, wait, not that historian, not David Irving. No, not that so historian. David Irving is not a historian. Like That's your saying. problem. The fact that you would even the, cite the him, mainstream. the wait, wait, fact wait. that you would even you see, cite I, him shows I, I that you're you ideologically finish. driven. I let you finish. Mm -hmm. I let you that... finish. Even though you were straw manning me and saying, mm -hmm. I'm saying like Hitler did nothing wrong, whatever. I, I let you finish, even though you were straw manning me. So you just got to be patient. You can respond. I'm not straw manning you. you know, I haven't you made any false claims saying, about you like, so far. Well, we can never know the truth or I can never know the truth, but the historians do. And, you know, I'm not even going to look at what they're saying. I'm just going to trust that, you know, they're not going to lie. But <laughs> I don't think you can really do that on something important like this, at least if you care about the truth. The thing is, though, my show isn't about that. You know, fundamentally, truth, and I don't know. even know why that would be offensive. I think yeah. really it's neither here nor there. We're kind of getting into the weeds. The question to me is not really like what happened in World War II. The question to me is why is it relevant? And moreover, why is it like such a moral quandary that we may disagree about that? Like, let's say hypothetically, I said that the casualty count in this event was lower than they said, which I'm not. But, you know, hypothetically, this is why everybody has roundly condemned me. He's a denier. He doesn't Wait, believe Wait, so what was your answer died. to that question? Do like, you believe the numbers are, that are exaggerated? Case, and just tell me, and I'll, Nick, I'll wrap up here. Do, do you please, think the numbers are exaggerated for the Holocaust? Why would that be, why would that be such, uh, why would that be morally Nick, wrong? I'm why just is curious. that even a question, though? I'm like, just curious. What, 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 what do we care? You should be able to answer. I don't understand. That's an easy yes or no. Do you think the numbers are grossly exaggerated? Like, is that not silly? Like, why do we have that question? I think it's silly, but I think it's interesting. Why do you like to the N -word. Hear, you say the I want to hear right? why we can say you're a racist question. because you if say you the want to yeah I'll argue it though but I'll, I'll answer you honestly about it I won't weasel I'm around and hide saying, it or whatever. Yeah, just, I don't know so I'm curious I'm just curious if Nick it, uh... I'm just curious if Nick do you think the numbers of the Holocaust well, are grossly exaggerated Let, go of ahead. course or of course not I mean if they're exaggerated <laughs> no I don't think they're exaggerated I think it's exactly what they say it is I trust wait which way are they not exaggerated up or down that's important neither 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 if anything exaggerated exaggerated Anyway, Trillions more. <laughs> but but now that I've answered your question, you tell me why is it why is that why would it be morally wrong if I said that they were exact? Yeah, that's it's not morally wrong earlier, to actually. question yeah. things. The problem is that when you use a method of questioning things and you selectively choose sources and you selectively choose non-historians that are selectively picking different narratives to try to put together a story, it makes it seem like you're less interested in what actually happened versus trying to get a, a little thing together to push a certain narrative, a political narrative, and you're okay with rewriting history in order to push said political narrative. The fact that you would bring up Irving and think that that guy is some great defender of truth and history when his trial was a fucking joke. It was hilarious how much he got absolutely lambasted by the people that were brought in to analyze the horrendous mistranslations that he used in his book, the horrible and shoddy citing, where he would just cite like, like a 72-page like a manuscript in his book and say, well, that's what the source is. Or the fact that he held on to documents that had been explicitly proven to be not true for decades before coming out and saying like, oh, okay, yeah, I guess maybe I messed up on that. The, the fact that that's the name that you would cite is just so funny. And, and it makes it so obvious like what your goal is in these types of innocent questions, you know? Like you're, you're like the ultimate, and I know you know this and you won't say it publicly, of course, but like I know this, right? We both know you're the ultimate, like I'm just asking questions guy, you know? Where your goal is to just show up. It's like, man, I'm just saying, you know? Like what 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 if that was fake? Like why does everybody care about this thing? And it's like pretty clear that you're trying to like point in a, in a particular direction. Um, but I think the saddest thing about like you and your show and everything related related to, you know, the Ryan Dawson stuff and the Jewish stuff, is you guys never have any solutions. Like, well, you know, what should we do? You know, what, well, if, there if was you that make... one solution. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just, I'm just, uh, <laughs> yeah. I totally dispel. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah. I had to make the joke, though. Go yeah, ahead. no, I understand. Yeah, I mean, like, there, <laughs> of course you understand. One. You defend the same right, Destiny, you yeah. said you were mocking his, you were mocking his trial, right? The, yeah, the David Irving trial. He was the defense, right? No, he was the, he was actually the, the plaintiff. What was he suing for? Um, it, I, I'm not familiar with all of these Lip, Holocaust Lipstein? things. So basically, some woman um, made a claim about Irving that he was a Holocaust denier or mm -hmm. something. I think she made that claim in his book. And Irving specifically waited for her book to get released in the UK because in the UK, it's very easy to sue somebody on defamation. Uh, in the US, it's very fucking hard, right? He sued over it's much easier to calling sue him a Holocaust right? denier? Yep, uh, and he sued over it and they brought in so many expert witnesses and they had this trial by judge and they went over so much and the some of the excerpts from that trial are just comical where Irving is on the stand and, and they're asking like, so how do you know how many Jews could fit in that ditch? And he's like, well, you know, I renovated my house last year. And they're like, really? And he's like, yeah. And he's like, well, so I why want don't a you jelly bean <laughs> contest of the 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, look, yeah, I it was, a, it was a really rough, like, by the end of it, it was pretty obvious, like, that it, the initial skepticism about Irving was like, okay, I'm like, Irving, you know, he, he was notorious, but like, I go into the archives and I dig out the information. But when you actually go through and you look at the stuff that he's citing, it's pretty clear he's relying on you not reading any of it because it's a pretty shoddy job that he does. I'm trying to Are prove- we talking about Irving again? Like, you hey, know, he brought less- him up. Yeah, no, but like, damn. Um, but well, the yeah. point was to say that if you just blindly trust historians, then I could give you a counter. We blindly of a trust that people all the time. Which is Nick. What, which is I what blindly you're trust but science that when I turn the key in my car, yeah, my yeah, engine's yeah, not going to explode. I sat through that whole thing. I sat through that whole thing. Let me you respond. Um, the point was simply to say that, you know, if we are going to do this where, okay, well, the experts say one thing. Okay, well, here's my expert. I'm more interested in. Let's let's battle it out for ourselves. And fundamentally, um, like I said, I'm I'm a lot less interested in how many people died in the Holocaust or the Holocaust itself or World War II than I am interested in why it is that people who question it, people that minimize it, people that don't go along with the status quo are persecuted. And that's what it is. And you're literally put in jail. It's literally a crime if you quote unquote deny it in the United you know, States. You go to jail. And uh, no, not in the United States, but in Germany and a uh, number of countries in the European Union. You know, why would that? I'm interested in that question. So to me, it's fundamentally less about the history itself, where, you know, you want to say, wait, 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 wait. And I'm more interested in the moral question. And you say, well, your problem, and it's so, so funny how, you know, here you are saying I'm the hateful one. And I come on here and I'm just saying, like, you know, well, here, here's was my thinking. I was a Zionist, then I not, became not a Zionist. Here's my thought process, which I think is totally like, I think that's totally fine. But you come at it with, well, because you're trying to fit a narrative and your intentions are bad and you're this bad guy and you are the king of pretending like, you know, I'm just asking questions. And it's like, yeah, I am just asking questions. And I'm wondering why, like, if you write books that don't totally believe the Holocaust narrative, your warehouse gets burned down. Like, I'm wondering why does that happen? I'm wondering why you go to jail if you question a certain thing. I'm wondering why you're talking about, well, somebody's not really interested in the facts. Well, who's not interested in the facts? The people that are burning down warehouses and throwing you in jail and putting you on a blacklist and putting you on an ADL hit list for questioning something, for offering up even just playing devil's advocate or, you know, the people that are that are questioning these things. And you may disagree. You might say, oh, well, I don't like your sources. You might say, I don't like your historians. But then you move right from that to impugning my character. It's not just, I don't like your sources. I don't like your narrative. But it's, well, you deliberately are making bad sources. You're a bad faith actor. And you're using that to push I don't know, something which you probably think is reprehensible. And, uh, you know, to me, that's that's just obvious at this point. That's what I see. You're, yeah, so- you're a defender of the status quo. You're a defender of the system, of the establishment. Uh, and you're just a vicious, nasty, mean-spirited little guy. And, you know, I don't have that too. same don't hate in my that heart one. that yeah. you do. How tall I don't are have you, that Nick? hatred for you that you have for me. I can sit We're down all and short as fuck. That's what they like, say. He sounds like a, sounds like a little guy. Say, <laughs> you know, and say, why do you believe why do you believe that it's a moral question? And you're going to throw it back at me and say, well, it's because you're a bad faith actor. You know, if I said, for example, that like the American Revolution didn't happen the way they say it did, if I said you know, any number of historical events didn't happen the way they say they did, I doubt anybody would care. But that, but what you're upset about is not bad sources. What you're Wait, upset people about care is about not this bad all the history. Time. What are you talking you're upset about? about the fact that you perceive that these, that, you know, if we get away with this historical narrative in your mind, that then we can push this horrible agenda. And this goes back to, you think that I want to genocide people. And that that's fundamentally what it comes down to. You don't like me. You don't want to have a civil conversation with me because you've decided that deep down in my heart of hearts, I want genocide. And that's why I question the numbers. And that's why I don't want immigration because privately and secretly when we have our secret evil meetings, we're planning, you know, something. And I, I just don't know what to say to that. I don't have any response to that other than that's retarded. So the, f- so the fundamental question comes down to this, okay? We have processes 
we trust to deliver us correct answers on things. I don't give a fuck what a layman's opinion is on how to build an engine, okay? I trust the engineers that put my car together that when I turn the key, car's not going to explode, okay? I don't question um, the, 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 the school of architecture that's down the street from me or whatever when, when I go to move into my apartment. Um, there are tons of things in life that we just don't have the time to dig into when it comes to primary sources because if anybody studied any area, they would tell you that a layman looking at a primary source is sometimes worse than not looking at anything at all because you don't have the necessary background to actually context contextualize the information that you're getting. And anybody that's honest will admit that. I could read right now any medical paper in the world and have no fucking idea like how to contextualize the information. In fact, there was something... Um, you brought up Reddit earlier. There was a big article that got posted today um, that was like super front page of our all about how um, uh, SARS-CoV-2 antibodies go away in, in the bloodstream after a while. Um, and so people are worried that they'll get reinfected in like two or three months. And you have to actually click through. You can read the abstract, the study, and the title, but you have to actually go through and listen to the people that actually know what they're talking about to tell you, well, actually, this doesn't necessarily mean you can be reinfected, and here's why. The reality is, is that primary sources are hard. And history, especially historical events, can be pretty hard to piece together everything. And just reading one document, and pretending like one document from one person and one error from one organization, especially when half the sources you're going to bring up are literal propaganda arms of the Nazi party, it's going to give you a holistic view of what happened at any point of time is absurd. And there's only two possibilities. One is that you're so incredibly stupid and negligent that you don't realize that, in which case you should be rightfully ignored anyway. Or two, or which is jail. more likely, is uh, I didn't say anything about putting in jail. I like America's freedom of speech laws. Um, right, if you have problems, problems with other countries' freedom of speech laws, the you Japanese mean, didn't. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, you can go, you can go complain, <laughs> you can go complain to their countries. Uh, um, you know, as much as you want about their hate speech laws, I'm not here to talk about it. I'm not here to defend other countries' hate speech laws. Um, but you think they're bullshit, though, right? I mean, you're uh, here to defend I, I generally, the yeah, I generally, you think that's I generally, you're yeah, here to generally, yeah, I'm not yeah. okay with. Well, just like, say it's um, bullshit, then. It's bullshit. Well, I don't know every hate speech law, but so for instance, Count Dankula, Nick, I let you monologue not, not for 35 jail, minutes. Okay, calm down. Okay, calm down. So like the guy, the Count Dankula guy that told his dog like the Nazi. That was hilarious. One of the funniest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I think it was stupid. I don't think she got fined for dumb stuff. I think it's horrible. It was funny because he almost went to jail. Literally, some of the hardest laughing I've ever done in my life was the first time I saw the Dank. Sure. So, there, so there's two things. So either one, you're incredibly stupid, in which case you, you should be rightfully known anyway. Or two, yeah. which is more likely, you're ideologically driven. You're cherry picking sources. You're looking for certain things that agree with you. Um, when it comes to digging into historical archives, especially for things like wars, you can piece together almost any narrative that you want, depending on whose side you're picking documents from, and depending on if you're choosing party documents, if you're choosing intelligence documents, if you're choosing like you know journalist documents. It gets super depends on what you're doing. So when it comes to contextualizing a document in any given like historical event, the number one thing that I would do is I would say hey, here's a historian that specializes in this area. What do you think about it? And then what's the academic consensus in the field? These people are mm. super ideologically motivated to fight with one another all the time. And if you do any real digging in history, you find out that they do fight with one another all the time. There's plenty of debate over things that happened um, specifically in mm. World War II, specifically with Nazi Germany, specifically with the way that Hitler communicated with his party members. Those debates are not, I think, that the number of people killed is 100,000. They might quibble over certain issues, but the, the debate is very much alive and well in these historical communities. And you would have to be completely on the outside and divorced from all of these arguments to think that it's all just a settled matter that nobody's digging into. But to sit here and pretend that a layman with no background in any of these areas at all can come through and just read a couple primary documents that are, by the way, translated by who knows who, um, because that can be very important sometimes, and think that you have a more complete picture of somebody that's dedicated the better part of their academic career reading and researching these areas is just fucking laughable. Uh, it's about as stupid as the people that read through one or two things and go, oh, look, diethyl mercury or whatever is in vaccines, so I know it's going to make my kid retarded if I pop read the headline. Who's got yeah. time right, to read let, the whole let him article? Get in, let him get in, though. Go ahead, Nick. Why, this guy's talking like yeah, that, the that, that, No, no, no. That's but just sure. totally Go missing on. the point. I mean, of course the point that you just made is something that people... No, it is. And, and if you'll hear me out, you'll see why. The point that you're making is something that people learn in grade school, which is, you know, sources are hard, right? Or sources are difficult. They need context. Yeah. Thank, thank you for taking... 20 minutes of my life, however long that was, probably not 20 minutes, but thank you for taking so long. I mean, it's been wow, Irving months to learn yeah, that no, one in court, that. so, yeah. And I agree with you. Mm -hmm. I agree with you that- I'm glad. I'm glad we agree on that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. We're, we're totally on It's board. a love primary fest right now. Tricky. I gotta say. I'm like glad that we <laughs> agree on that one. So Nick is gonna admit <laughs> that reading <laughs> translated documents <laughs> good. I'm glad, I'm glad I brought him over on that one. Thank you, Nick. Primary yeah, sources no, aren't too hard. Go ahead, Nick. Giant, you know, galaxy brain. But the point I'm trying to make, which, you know, maybe you can uh, grapple with this one, uh -huh. uh, is why is there the persecution then of these people? And I don't think, 
I don't think there's a good answer from that from the other side. There never has been. And yes, I am the person who has an honest inquiry about these things. And I did in college. You know, like I said, when I was in high school, my views were completely different. You know, I was a libertarian and you could have caught me from saying a lot of the things that you find a lot of libertarians today saying from Cato and Justin Amash and Benji Backer and all this stuff about the free market and whatever. And I had a, a big change of well, I changed my opinion, I changed my mind, changed my worldview because I was investigating these things. And one of the things that I found when I was looking into these different questions or contradictions or double standards is that there was always this, there was never an answer for these things. There's never a great answer for a lot of these questions that I have. Wait, there was never an question? expert what? historian. What? There was never you know, somebody that would dissuade me. Instead, is I was told by the so-called experts or the journalists or the media that I was just a bad person even for asking. Nah, like on you're lying Israel, about that. There's no way you talk to a historian that would tell that you that. That is something perfectly simple no. that any lay Oh, wait, yeah. Understand. You don't think so? If you ask a professor? If you, if you, well, maybe like in a classroom or something, but if you were to yeah. set up an interview with like a historian and you were to ask questions related to like, do you think this or that? Like these people will get, these people are actually so thirsty for interviews. They love oh, to talk man, about shit. I think shit. you'd get told can, No way. Can you imagine yeah. you've spent your entire I life working on some boring shit that 99% oh, of the population oh, doesn't care about? I'm trying to over here. Here. Sorry, I'm sorry. That's my I'm fault. That's my fault. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I love getting into this shit. All right. So, Go ahead, so point being is, you know, even on something like foreign aid to Israel, which is so simple, and it's something that anybody can understand. You know, you could read about the numbers, and you could read about what we're getting in return for that, and whatever. And every time I asked about that, I was told, oh, well, you know, you just can't ask about it in that way. You're just asking about it in a very anti-Semitic way. What if I and could blah, set blah, you blah. up with a historian? And, and wait, wait come let on. him finish, you, you just please. He asked like 12 questions. I know, but just let him finish. Oh, my God. Fuck. I can give you a you pen. If for a long time, you guys, that would help. Time, that would actually help me. Every every time give him my special talk, pen. With people like Fuentes, I usually have to write it down. A furry made me this pen. We realized he's giving a speech. He's going to actually have a conversation. Guys, guys, you gave a speech too. Just listen. No, I'll go back and Okay, just stop. Just stop. Can I use this? Yes. Yes. No, that's no good. Give him the good one. Give me the good one. Okay, that one's I just up. had it here. Now, it go there ahead. Here's your Thank pen. You. Now, the problem pen. is he's got to ask for it. It's got to be true. He's saying something I disagree with. I have to fly. People are hearing <laughs> something. That's so, one at a time. He's a cool you know, guy. Have, nice. have to I know Steven. people Steven every time it breaks down, too, they just yeah. like get mad at me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right, just go ahead. Finish up, Nick. Yes, go ahead. But the point, the point that I'm trying to make here is that we have to question the institutions. That's what people are missing out on is all the academy, the people that are producing these things, the source makers, the so-called experts. We have to question them as an institution. We have to question the culture that prevails because it's not – it's obviously not a culture of open inquiry on college campuses. I don't need to say that people have been saying for five years about free speech on college campuses or social media. It's obviously not. It's clear that if you have a certain opinion, and there's a gradient here, depending on what the opinion is, there's going to be consequences for you for asking. There's going to be consequences for you for saying the wrong thing. And if what you're saying is true, Destiny, about you know all these academics, you know they just want to tell everybody, prove everybody wrong, and they're experts and they know everything, then I would believe that if I came to somebody with such a stupid wrong opinion, you're just the genius, and I'm just coming to people talking about you know Jewish power, and this is the wrongest opinion in the world, I would think that an academic would say, oh well, hey, uh, that's a common mistake, you know you're the victim of propaganda. Here's Here's X, Y, and Z. Here's the sources. But that doesn't happen. They don't say, oh, well, you know, here's the sources. Here's the facts. Here's the, you know, let me explain to you as the master, the expert in some countries. And you think that because this isn't in America that it's not relevant. In some countries, they say you're going to, to jail. In our country, you know, I, and let's not forget, by the way, how my Holocaust cookie thing came about. It was because that clip was a year old. I asked Charlie Kirk why he, you know, isn't against legal immigration. And then somebody dug up that clip and published it. And then the ZOA said, I should be banned off Twitter and banned off Facebook. You're an anti-Semite. You're a Holocaust denier. Republicans use that why. as a weapon against you, as a weapon against yeah. you, right? Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. 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 And the point is, we have to question these experts and these standards. You know, why is it that these like these words like racist, anti-Semite, these Holocaust denier, it's used as a bludgeon politically. It is a political tool. And so you know, honestly, at this point in time, I've talked to a lot of people about the Holocaust. Since that thing came out, I had like actual Holocaust deniers email me and 
like one guy emailed me and he literally said he was from like uh, the Institute for Historical Review. And he emailed me and he said, no, 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 no. If you're going to deny the Holocaust, the Red Cross number thing's bullshit. You need to deny it with this. <laughs> and I'm like, dude. I'm it Holocaust was a bit, right? right? Like, I mean, oh, the cookie thing, we talked about this before, but it was a bit. Like, it was fucking hilarious. I don't know. I thought it was right. funny. But anyway. and, and, well, and I've talked to a lot of people. And at this point, you know, I've heard arguments on both sides where it's like, you know, I could, I could kind of go either way. I fundamentally. Maybe, and the uh, other one sounded maybe a bit. <laughs> Seriously, but but I made a joke. I made a joke about it. It was clearly a joke. Uh, you yeah. know, even if it was it was edgy. I mean, you know, Destiny can say, "Oh no, it's part of the secret Nazi plot." But you know, somebody said, "Oh well, if Cookie Monster was making six million. And I said, "Oh, you know, the fact no, that it's Cookie that Monster funny. means it's you, a joke." You saw the segment, right? You it's saw the Cookie Monster segment. Yeah, it was a joke. Yeah, yes, now I'm asking Destiny to his face. You, you, you know that was funny, right? Like you watched it yeah, and it's fucking like, hilarious, goal, right? Like it's one of the funniest things. You use humor to kind of like insinuate other ideas. And once somebody's comfortable well, laughing Well, Sarah about Silverman used to get on the air and I would just say the fucking word like she did, but they'll there take everything fucking away from me. What about Count Dankula's dog? But she used that to get the on the air and say the N word and Jesus came on me and all this crazy shit. I, I think Count Dankula's shit was funny, but like he doesn't have like, or at least not until recently, I don't know what he does now, but he doesn't have like a huge political agenda like Nick the paleo conservative does so um, so you think the people make the difference on how you receive the joke yeah like for sure if some Nick's... guy were to make a joke about black people to me and it was like a friend of mine versus like tucker carlson i would read that way differently even if it was the exact same joke of course just based on like what you know about that's them. tough to swallow really it's a lot of mind really reading so? it's like well i think you generally have a feel for like the people that are around you you generally have a feel for like what their beliefs are what their stances are I think you. I don't learn. even know if people have an idea of what their own <laughs> ideas and stances <laughs> are. You know what I mean? Okay, I don't. So like, I'll, I'll make a joke. If it's funny, it's I'll funny. make a joke about my girlfriend funny. sometimes. I go like, man, I, I hope that I didn't mean that joke. <laughs> sure. But I apologize anyway because sure. I might have meant it. I don't want to hijack your whole <laughs> show. That's good. That's yeah. fun. So just like real quick, just like knocking some of these out. So in terms of like, why do people care about like certain types of rhetoric or certain jokes or certain historical revisions or Nazi questions when you've got people in New Zealand like shooting up places and killing you know 40, 50 people and they're referencing like the great replacement in their manifestos i mean it kind of makes you wonder like when you hear that exact same it's rhetoric real, coming though. out of certain people yeah i mean you kind of have to wonder you can draw a straight line from questioning narratives about world war ii to maybe the jews are running shit to they're bringing all the immigrants here to the great replacement of white people and then you see a guy go out and shoot places up you kind of have to wonder well okay i wonder if maybe this could play into things can I just, a little bit just interrupt you just real quick okay you didn't interrupt nick at all but i'll I let you know, interrupt go I for know, it Ralph. Hit you me know up. you know where you're at you know yeah, where you're at but let me ask you this there are there have been violence on the on the left as well if we looked at the riots this past week uh, there was a guy who shot up died Wait, in let those me riots? ask this they shot up a fucking congressional <laughs> baseball game sure that's damn fucked near up. killed steve how many Scalise? people died in these riots 50 million like people like died how in many communist people russia died? so riots yeah, right, 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 so real quick like, like, this no, no, this people good. died people definitely died people died riots in every single major city in the united states of that's america that's not good okay no but how many people died so if you're trying to draw a line, I can't tell you the exact guy, number. Right, I don't know. It wasn't six probably, million. I can tell you that. Sure, and it like probably million. wasn't uh, forty or fifty or however many died in the in the New Zealand shooting guy or whatever either, right? So yeah, I mean, like it's bad. But I'm it just saying happen. the same rhetoric came out of the guy who shut up the baseball game. You know what I mean? He was repeating the same anti sure, and we should rhetoric. Discourage and so some psycho goes and shoots up some fucking people in New Zealand or a synagogue. I'm not responsible for that because it's some fucking joke if I made are, on the kill stream. Fuck that. If Fuck there that. are mainstream left wing figures that are out there saying you need to go shoot up congressional baseball games because these guys are whatever, then I could understand that. There are mainstream people on the right that are saying things like. Uh, Immigrants that come to our countries and have children, that's basically the same thing as invading a country. That's like a violent invasion. Like, it's a takeover. But over. they're not saying shoot up the... the they don't say kill them. No, the but, but, but you're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're exactly. taking the horse right... <laughs> so if you're saying... So if we lay this out... Right, so if we if we lay this out, right... Destiny you, didn't get to talk, that's by the way. That's true, that's true, that's true. So immigrants are coming over, they're having children, violently replacing you, raping your white women with the rape Yeah, me and Destiny are raping your white women, Ralph. And if Jewish people... People are, are orchestrating all of this, and there's just nothing you can do. There's no way you can push back. And, like, of course, the, the, the only out here seems to be violence. That's a pretty logical next step. And I would even argue that you might say that there are some people on the left that might say similar things that lead people to they writing. They do so, say sure, yeah. Trump Hitler, 100%. Right? Okay. 100%. You could say that there might be some but things. But why would you say that about a However, Fuentes? I mean, making a cookie monster joke. I, because I it's all, it all plays into the larger. But does it really? I mean, we yeah, make all kinds of crazy jokes on this show. Does it? 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 Does
so 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 when you get like mass shooters that are literally quoting, you know, like the great place. When you look at their Twitter accounts, they're following, you know, like Van Shapiro, Nick Flynn. There's all these people. It makes you wonder, right? Um, the second thing, I have a question. If I could set you up with an actual historian that does study this stuff professionally, would you How be interested? How big are her tits? Would you be interested <laughs> in having a conversation on stream, Nick? Would you? <laughs> what? A Jewish person? Do they are they not allowed to be Jewish? <laughs> they can be Jewish. Well, do you I only have Jews? Jews? I, I don't know if I can be Jewish or not. <laughs> see, they, see, that's, that's the difference. It's usually when I meet a person, the first question that pops in my head isn't are they Jewish or not? It's not a big uh, it's not a big part of my life, I guess. Yeah, um, but yeah, I know. could try I could try to find you to be <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, get me an historian. Give me an get me an historian. Let me prove how not anti Semitic I am. Okay, gotcha. That's awesome. Okay, I I'll try to take you up on that. Okay. Um the, another Do thing it. you brought up, when you talk about questioning institutions, institutions yeah. ought to be questioned. And I agree that sometimes there are, are, are institutions that maybe uh, are, are a bit more resistant to change than others. But the way to question an institution isn't a layman grabbing a bunch of primary source documents and going, oh, what's going on? You know, people always act like that these institutions are unquestionable and nobody does anything to, they'll, they'll suppress all of the uh, counter arguments and everything. Irving, before that trial, was a best-selling author, um, considered by a lot of people to have published some of the best books on, on World War II Germany um, in, in the history. Wait a, books. Wait a second, what? I thought he was a bad historian. Because a lot of people apparently <laughs> hadn't dug into his books that well. What? So it's kind of funny that you Irving shot himself in the book. Like them? Irving shot himself in the foot by demanding to go to trial. People act like Irving being deplatformed was, you know, a big blow to free speech. He was the he was the plaintiff in that case. He was the one trying to shut down free speech. It's really interesting that it works out sometimes. Um, he was a best-selling author before then. So um, this idea that these institutions are unquestionable or that other people don't have the ability to push back against them, either from within or without. I remember when that intellectual dark web shit was going on. There were plenty of academics that came out and were laughing at the idea that like, oh my God, like you can't question anybody in academia. People in academia fight against you all the time. It's literally all they fucking do. These are the most boring jobs on the face. All they can do is publish research against each other and argue amongst each other in their fucking classrooms and in their fucking labs and shit. That's or their job. But it's, <laughs> not, it's not clinical. What I mean, mean? Uh, acad academic arguing, even in fields like all. quantum mechanics, even in mathematics, Heisenberg specifically was targeted by the Nazi regime because they considered quantum mechanics Jewish science. Yep. And, and Stalin it, did it as well to geneticists. They thought that genes weren't real when it but, came to plants. But yep. my point is that mm -hmm. academia exists on an ideological curve over time. Like it sways one way or the other. And I, I think, I, I mean, people say Hitler did nothing wrong, but the mm -hmm. way quantum uh, mechanics specifically was vilified by the regime mm -hmm. Um, probably caused them to lose the fucking war. Heisenberg had to try to cobble together a nuclear reactor in a cave, escaping the Allies. Well, what, what is but this? Yeah. but it means specifically that academia is not some kind of a pure uh, math only, like a science only I'm field. Not, it's it's heavily yeah. it's heavily influenced ideology uh, ideologically across the entire globe because it is a global it, it, community. It can be. It can fall into those biases. Always. But, but in terms uh, of what you were just talking about there, that was a layman. Uh, that was a political no. figure attacking. Like, no, an no, no. His contemporaries, uh, uh, the because uh, quantum mechanics is has only been recognized recently. The classical mechanic Einstein was a classical uh, a classical mechanics uh, physicist who fought against quantum mechanics. And at that point, when you're when you're basically arguing a religion, like these people are heavily influenced by uh, philosophy scientists as well. Uh, they get to a point where the math runs out and their egos take over. And it is, I mean, uh, I, 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 I could take time true, and find uh, it, but uh, no, no, it, it is ideological. Is QM was a massive paradigm uh, shift for physics. But, so, of course, I, I agree with you. But can like, you hand me that things. soda, please? Sorry, uh, Destiny. Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, now, Destiny, <laughs> are, are you through? You, you got it in? Oh, um, sorry, thank you, thank you. Do yeah, you want something to drink, by the way, Destiny? We've been trying to give him drinks all can night. I get a Water? Coke, I guess. <laughs> here, you can have this one. Here, By the way, I fucking hate Diet Coke, but fucking dig, I don't know. Well, yeah, you need a fucking, you need a life change, Ralph. Yeah, you know what? We want you around for Longer than your, longer than Chris Farley, you chuckle fuck. He's a legend. Though, Have a one diet. diet coke a day, all right? <laughs> a diet coke and a salad. Fuck you. All right, go ahead, uh, Nick. Respond. No, no, Destiny didn't get to respond. I don't he think. Did, did you? Fucking talk. You've let this guy talk so much. Okay, okay. go ahead. I'm just saying. No, you didn't. If you want, if you want to question <sighs> academia, you, really you have to did. do it in a responsible way. It, ha it has to be done like with people that know what they're talking about, not just some random dipshit on the street trying to challenge the fucking man. Well, why is anybody no listening to anything then? I mean, you know, you everybody's mean? just 
talking about issues, right? You don't have to be an expert. Necessarily. Well, that's part of the problem with our system today. Is, is it? Like, a lot like, of we dumb only have to listen to experts? Saying dumb I mean, fucking shit. Yeah, when it comes to certain things, yeah, I'd say that's a good idea is to listen to the experts. Yeah, this coronavirus shit is a really good example of it. With is a lot it? Of, have they really had that greater yeah, record? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, Wait, I, which side are you? Are you for virus or are you for no virus? Um, no. I'm generally I'm anti-virus. Virus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to We have nothing to talk about. All right, go ahead, Nick. Yeah, um, I just think that, like, you know, we're just missing the point. It's just context denial, you know? I mean, everything that Destiny is saying, I mean, I don't know. I mean, the stuff about primary sources and experts, but it's just denying the context of what's going on, which is that we know the way it goes. If you say certain things, you can't get published. If you say certain things, you can't have a website. If you say certain things, you can't have a TV show. It's like, if, and, and he says he's like, you know, Destiny you can't have says credit he's card like processing. I think he describes himself sometimes as a neoliberal or in favor of free speech. And it's like, even if you are a libertarian, even if you disagree with me or you uh, are in favor of free speech, you would acknowledge that there is this great silencing happening. And we know that we can't say certain things, even like just this week, uh, Zero Hedge and Federalist. Yeah. They had like comments on their websites or I think some of their posts were questioning Black Lives Matter. And saying like, oh, maybe some of these, maybe some of these rioters weren't exactly who they said they were. Maybe there was like a conspiracy. And Google AdSense banned them from running advertisements on their website, at least from Google. And it's like to, and that's just one example. But to ignore that that's happening and to say, oh, there's this rich debate. Oh, academics argue all the time. Who's ignoring and everyone that it's can, happening? It's, like, it's just it's totally happening. ignoring the context no of the time that we live. That. Everybody would, would acknowledge that, that happens. Like, in academia that's or anywhere else. capitalism, baby. What are you going to do about it? There's a lively debate happening between two mm. sides that are you know, equally opposed and that you know, one's playing devil's advocate. It's clearly not. I mean, look, you go to any college, and I know I was in college for like 10 minutes. I was in college <laughs> for one year. And, you know, that's not happening. So uh, you lucky you, you don't have fucking $50,000 of the debt. An yeah. undergrad asking uh, edgy questions to his professor is not the type of academic debate that I'm talking about, Nick. I don't know if you know that there is like other I things. Was that happen. To that. I was <laughs> okay. to that. But in any case, um, and, and even when talking about things like the uh, the shooting in New Zealand last year and this argument about, well, you know, right wing people lead to violence. Again, it just all goes back to. You know, the people on the left and Destiny in particular, I mean, he thinks that we want to commit genocide. That That is the bottom line. You know, you could you could beat around the bush. I don't remember saying that, whatever. But it's like, wait, who you know, is you're we telling me that the problem that you have your biggest problem with me, you know, Nick we, and his we audience. Yeah, not conservatives today, in general. You know, Nick, but you think Nick, wait, Nick, wait, Nick was trying wait, to say, wait, like, the right. I don't think the uh, right wants to commit uh, genocide. Of course not. You said, okay, us. Right, okay. Uh, if us is that, in, like, maybe, like, the, the Gripers? So yeah, sure, probably, Nick yeah. Said, Dig Masterson said, you know, why, why do you not like Nick? And you said, well, probably the thing that I think is hateful about him is that he's, you know, the revi the weird Nazi revisionism. And we went over that. And it turns out that it's not really so much that you don't like that uh, I have bad sources or that, you know, I'm wrong or whatever, because I just told you I'm not really committed one way or the other. You said that it's because it's irresponsible and, and there's bad intentions that, you're misusing history to pr to promote a bad outcome, to promote a bad ideology, which is ultimately genocide. You're saying that the reason that right wing rhetoric is dangerous, or our rhetoric, sorry, Groyper rhetoric is dangerous, is because when things like Christchurch happen, and and fundamentally that I think Destiny believes that we want things like that to happen. He thinks that we want genocide, we want terrorism, and you actually can't have a good faith conversation with someone like that because he believes that we're not arguing in good faith. He believes that our, our ultimate intention, our ultimate end game is something sick and something that is so horrible, something is so immoral, gravely immoral. I mean, how do you even get along with somebody like that? I look at Destiny as somebody who, you know, well, I'm not going to say, you know, really, but we disagree. <laughs> But we're going to have a debate, and I assume generally that you know what he says is Survey what he says. says. <laughs> but I mean, he thinks that I'm this like Bond supervillain that, like, like he said, if I were president, I don't think you're then, anywhere near yeah, that. Cool, I don't, cool, Nick. I don't I think you're anywhere near that. that I guess, cool. I guess the whole Nick. thing is like I see me and Dick. We're here. We're talking to Destiny. We talked to him before the show. We all get along. I talked to him off air. We get along. You know, everybody else. Uh, but, but you two guys don't get along, and really, we don't get like along it. now. We get along. 
We, well, I think we. Well, you I two love didn't Destiny. always get along. We have, but then Destiny think, came out pro N word. Well, me and him didn't always get along. <laughs> <laughs> I think it depends on the, at the end of the day, like what are all of your like. I don't think you talk about politics twenty four seven on your. But shit, the thing right? is, like, the thing is, I do. I don't like how you assume you know what people's private thoughts are and then you vilify yeah, them. Yeah, why for can't that. you be? I don't I mean, like I've that. I've met Nick in person. And that was, well, that was yeah, the first cool. argument that you and I had but together. One of the problems that I have is that like, because part of the way that online rhetoric works is you ask questions, getting like right to the very fucking edge and then you never say it and then and, and you feel like that money yeah. Yeah. and then you feel like it, and then that person is immune <laughs> to all criticism so like for the caller earlier like so he might come on and he might say blacks commit more crime in canada and in all over the world than in other places in, in, the, in the whole world and then compared yeah. to whites um blacks also have less iq than whites genetically speaking blacks are okay. also you know they have the warrior gene um and the country would probably have less crime if blacks weren't here i and mean then you as soon as just... i say yeah, like yeah, yeah. Well, do you think that we should like deport all blacks? It's like, whoa, I would never make that. Come, it's like, okay, well, like, but like, that's where like all of the audience is going naturally. Jordan Peterson does this shit all the time, and it's like, fuck, like, how do you argue with a person like that that isn't actually telling you to do anything? They're just leading you like right to the. But fucking the caller, the caller that you're talking about was mm -hmm. so he seemed like an asshole. Like you asked but him, uh, every fan of Nick Fuentes is going to sound like that. Like, but I'm a fan of Nick Fuentes because I like I I think he's funny and I like I like most of his points. Like I like, like the way he ones? says them. Putting America first, that America has a weird, harm, mutually harmful relationship with Israel. Uh, Foreign policy is hard, though, and these guys usually only present, like, one point of it. Like, that's the problem. But, Destiny, like, this yeah. is a conversation I want to have. Yeah, I don't want to have sure. a conversation about what someone's secretly thinking and how that makes them Hitler. Like, that's my that's my point. I would like to play the the ball. I want to play I, ball on the field, I agree not with what's, you. you a million know, off percent. the field. This is why I don't like fucking talking to you. commies anymore, right? If you want to tell me, like, what's the best way to, to, to help the American economy, and you're saying, well, we need to socialize all the means of production, like, well, why the fuck am I talking to you? It's a waste of time. Right. But when those are the loudest people in the conversation, you can't have a reasonable conversation with somebody else. Like, well, fuck. So, like, if I want to have a reasonable conversation, like, what should the foreign policy direction be in the Middle East for the United States? It's a very complicated question. And someone like Ryan Dawson or Nick Fuentes is going, well, no, wait, you know, wait, wait, wait. The, the Israelis are coming out and they, the Jewish people have a but, like, he, well, no, this no, but he's right here. He could give on, you an I answer just to that. Say this. Nick's always been like a, a straight up dealer with me, uh, and really pretty much directly to the point. I don't know. Sure, I why, why, why do so we have you? So honestly, I'm curious. So like, so why, why does both? the United so States? I just wonder why. Like, there's it seems yeah, to be so like why a, does the a United personal States animosity have... here. That I guess that's just it's what not, I'm I don't know him personally that well. I just hate his politics. I mean, I hate his point of view. I don't mean I don't know personally. I mean, you get along. Yeah, but you do. You did say it was like a genocidal maniac. Yeah, exactly. Like genocidal people. I mean, hey. Hitler was supposedly an artist in his early years. Maybe we could have played some piano together. I don't know. We might have gotten I, you along. You know what? Have you ever looked at his art? It seems a little uh, genocide-y to me. Like, <laughs> is it? It? Yeah, it's a little off. It's a little off. It is a little I don't off. Know. I just, I just it's wonder, like it Manson's just, music. Very bad at perspective. <laughs> it just seems like you're pretty chill, mostly, you know. With yeah, I mean, I can stuff, be chill but, with a lot but, of people but, that I politically disagree. Really my not like my Nick if like if Nick if Nick something. played League of Legends, maybe we would play games together. <laughs> but in terms of like my association, by the way, I don't only... think he likes you either. To be fair, <laughs> uh... yeah, I, <laughs> so. I can imagine that's fine. But I'm saying, um, <laughs> but I, I mean, well. like if my only association with somebody is political, like Hassan on Twitch, I don't like him because it's all politics. I don't like him. But if we did like other stuff, I'm sure I'd be chill with that or whatever. But like, why don't you like him? Because uh, like I don't like politics. I don't like commies. Wait, like you tankies. don't like politics? Hold on. <laughs> what? You said you don't like politics, or no, no, I don't like commies oh, or commies. like tankies. Oh, and, our, oh, and our only yeah, like association like is political, either. so it's like okay, yeah, I'm probably not gonna like it. You yeah, know, okay, like nice. if I play somebody in league and they play a champion, I hate. Okay. I probably don't like them either. But not because I hate yeah. them as a person. It's just our only association is. All right. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Nick. I don't know. I'm yeah, just yeah. curious and, about uh, this because you know that's the thing. I don't. I don't hate Destiny or anything. I mean, he disagrees. <laughs> what did he say earlier I, about me? I, he hates like, you. That I was I degenerate, <laughs> tiny, <laughs> disgusting, amoral. But you called him a but genocidal I, uh, maniac. What? Of course, he's gonna talk. I shit. said in a perfect like... world he would be genocidal. <laughs> now <laughs> no, listen, so in a perfect support... world there might be some people that I want to genocide. Okay, I don't know. All right, it depends on. So you support carbon bombing Mexico or something? Is that what I said? Well, I don't remember. Remember the exact quote. You're, you're yeah, right. I just enjoy the debate. I enjoy the sparring. I enjoy the debate. I mean, Destiny makes it frustrating because he, he uh, interrupts me. And he's, uh, oh, you oh, talked no. a long oh, time, Nick. My 20 <laughs> minute monologue. Cut you know, into three parts. Thing. Go ahead. But uh, but no, I mean, the, yeah, I, I don't hate people because I disagree with them or dislike them because I disagree with them. I mean, I think that. You know, I like Destiny, Vouch, everything that these people are about, I'm obviously against, but uh, I'm, I'm just fundamentally not that way. Even like when we go to these uh, Con Inc. things, when we go to conservative gatherings like CPAC or whatever, like I encounter all kinds of uh, people that dislike me or people that disagree with me. Sure. But um, 
It's only ever the people. It's only the other side usually that starts shit with me. I'm never somebody unless somebody's cringe. But generally, <laughs> I'm never somebody that says like, "Oh, I don't like this person," and I hate you. And I'm just I'm very yeah, I'm chill the same way. Nice and- guy, but definitely thinks under under yeah. that veil is like uh, Hitler too. And, so, <laughs> so, and I was just raised gotta, the same I'm way where it's real. like it doesn't matter. You know, okay. like me well, and Destiny don't agree with everything. The same way because it doesn't really well, matter what other people fuck. think about us, care. right? Well, like no, but we're like, not threatened in the United States. Like I don't give a fuck if somebody what like hates well, like, white so people or something. So much you shit. disagree with me. Me and you still have a good relationship. Who cares? Like it doesn't matter that I. You know, it's easy for us to say that, right? But let's say that you're somebody that um let's say that you're here because of DACA. Right. And you've got to deal with like a Trump supporter. Do you think it's OK to hate that person because he's essentially OK with you getting kicked out of the only country you've ever like been born? and Dude, raised I think in? it's OK to hate someone who thinks you should be removed from the country because you weren't legally. It was kind of a bullshit reason that you got put in the country. I don't think that's OK necessarily. Um, so you think that people wait, it's that, OK, it's okay I mean, to hate everyone, right? I fucking hate <laughs> everyone. I'm just curious if you well, think why would you hate that person? Why would you hate that person? If they because they're you... actually advocating for you to be removed from the only country you've ever been born yeah, and raised in. Yeah, fuck that like, person. Or, or well, they're rather. advocating but, what, for us did... to be destroyed in Yeah, exactly. What right did they have to be in the system? Wait, wait, destroyed how? Like immigrants breeding, Nick? Come on, Nick. Now, do they advocate for the person to be killed? Or they just said, hey, this person doesn't belong in my country. They didn't fill out the legal requirements. What's the difference? That's not like, what's the, is that? Is that different? They don't have a right to be in the fucking country. So you're I mean, just that, gonna like ship that, them out. If you don't have borders and you don't have a la- common language, you don't have a common culture, you don't have a fucking country. But deporting that person is. could kill them. Yes. Oh, well, I mean, okay. that is. Too bad they shouldn't have been here. Like, well, okay. But it's not their yeah. fault. Yeah. Okay. I've had friends so fuck who are them. I mean, immigrants, and I like them, and I wish the best for them, but they can't be here. They just have to right. go. It's not personal. I don't want them out because I hate them. I might feel bad for them, but we have a country, we have a process. And I think that's the difference is like, you know, I'm, I'm perfectly able to separate out what has to happen for the country with like my personal feelings with people. I I don't think it's, uh, that you can separate those two things out. You can hold those two things to be true at the same time at once, you know, maybe have a friend who didn't play by the rules and you like them and you think they're a good person at the same time, you know, my allegiance to my country. And and what goes on in my neighborhood and stability and you know there's a there's a bigger picture. I don't hate that person. I, even like the immigrants that come here, I don't hate the people that come here. I don't hate most of the people I talk about on my show that are that are the problem. You know, people that create problems in the country. A lot of them, it's their nature. You know, a lot of them, or they're brought here by somebody. So when I see immigrants pouring over the border and they're like replacing white people and they're not learning English and blah, blah, blah. It's not like, oh, hey, you're terrible. Like that doesn't make them a terrible person. I think that 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 these are just like the natures of people. If you're in a poor country and it's contiguous with a rich country, it's in your interest to get your ass over here. And, you know, it's, it's just really about how the incentives line up. I can't fault somebody because they follow the incentive. I can fault our leaders and representatives for not doing their job and being responsible of their people, which is to protect our borders. But I mean, fundamentally, the way I see it is kind of like, at least between us and immigrants, you know, it's, it's one of these needless clashes. And, you know, even when Destiny was talking earlier about the caller who said, well, you know, blacks commit crime and blacks have lower IQ and blah, blah, blah. Like all of those things are true. And the thing I think maybe where we disagree is that on my show, I'm going to acknowledge that. And it's not coming up to the line of advocating for genocide. It's just acknowledging what's happening in the country and saying, well, these are the facts. This is what's happening. What's the best way to go forward? And if you've been watching my show, even for the past like two months or really for the past two years, and I know Destiny hasn't, maybe that's why he has a bad opinion of me, but that's what I say. I say, yes, you know, there are these these inequities or these, you know, disparate outcomes. What are three, and what is the cause of these different yeah, outcomes? So what are three well, big policies that you advocate for, Nick? Well, I'm curious. What are well, three big policies that you advocate for that are that are politically realistic that, that think you can actually have? Shut down on immigration. So that's so we are wait, hold on. We already failed on women. one. So we already failed on one. <laughs> So two oh, more. You're saying like, totally re- I'm saying like well, realistic you know, what policies. I want is outside yeah. the current paradigm at this point. Wait, I mean, so you have so you, you have nothing happening. Wait, wait. If you look at what's happening in Congress right now, it's not even politically realistic to keep the names of Confederate generals on bases. Well, the, That's who cares not even about that. Realistic. I mean, yeah, but what's something realistic that you actually are, are have? Why I don't talk to as Connie. <laughs> That's not even so politically realistic is a pretty low bar to set. But That's the only thing you have to work with in a political system, Nick. I know that. I know that. But we can change a political system. So you're advocating for a revolution, like all the white antifa. I'm not advocating for a revolution. How do you change the system? I'm advocating for change in the current dynamic. 
How? Which is to say that many times, how? many times in American history, you've how? had political realignments before. He's Nick, how about how about how? How? No, he's not. No, he's, he's saying it's happened before the past. He's, he's, he's absolutely not. Wait, I'm the host of this, this fucking show. Both you motherfuckers shut the fuck up. It's like fucking commies, dude. Politics. And that's what I talk about. You and Vosh would get along so well, actually. You guys, that you're the revolutionary bullshit or whatever. I think you guys would love each other. Holy shit. I'm not a revolutionary. So how would you enact this change? Like, what do you tell your people to go out and do? How do you, how do you get this started? What we're telling people is to go out there and and honestly, at this point, it's to prepare for bad times. So it is a revolution. That's all he's got. Riots. How Hold fucking on. hopeless. Wait, wait, what did you just say? You have no, you have no policy. You have no prescriptions. You have no ideas for what you're just like. Well, the whole system. You're like every white Antifa suburb kid I've ever talked well, what to. What do you want We're, me to say? What do you want me to say, Destiny? We have this multiracial country, sixty million people in sixty years, and we're supposed to say, no, well, I'm going to go to housing and urban development, and I'm going to get a study from Cato, and it doesn't work like that. Are you a that, that is that is how we're policy works? Actually, yeah, that is exactly how policy history, works. The thing that's funny is all of the extremists online. So whether it's Grapers and America First, or whether it's Commies or tankers. Gentlemen, a 25 year old master's degree oh political science expert technocrat and asking them to figure it out on a fucking piece of paper. Right. Now, this is why, this is why I, how things go. Wait. No, no. This is why I don't talk to commies. This is why I don't talk to Nick. Because Just I want to talk down. to people. No, no, calm I'm down. calm. I'm calm so down. fucking you're, calm You're right super now. calm It's because right you gave me this Diet Coke and I'm fucking amped. Yeah, you're out. super Listen, calm. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> when I talk I'm to fuck, people. It looks like you've been trying to grab me. I want to talk to people. I want to talk to people that know how the electoral system works and how you can push through meaningful change. I know when When I ask you, like, what are your policies? or what? It's like talking to a socialist. Like, well, I don't know. I just think all the companies should be owned by the people. Or when I talk to him, he's like, well, I don't know. I tell my audience to go buy a Glock and lock themselves in their fucking basement and wait for the fucking taco trucks to roll down the street to he invade their houses. Have a good, he like, didn't have any reasonable I, I, policies. Trump has reasonable policies. The, as much as I fucking hate Trump, at least he's like, wants to build the fucking wall or whatever. Like, at least he has something. Jesus Christ. Like, Go ahead, Nick. Yeah, I've it's talked him into supporting the thing Trump. Is, the thing is that, that these people don't understand. I don't think they realize the gravity of the situation that we're in right now. And yeah. that's not, and that I, maybe that comes across as like, you know, you don't have a policy or something, but I don't think people realize that in the past 30 years, the world has transformed. With the Cold War, the New World Order, no one has realized this. You're, you're the only like one. Talk, you're the only one true. that realizes this. You're living this. through a time. Oh my God, you're a genius. It's a very dynamic situation, <laughs> and to say that within the narrow confines of the current shit, political of paradigm, <laughs> that we're going to come up with ready-made policies to fix things. I mean, if you want me to give you a gradual policy, I'll tell you a gradual yeah, policy. Yeah, hit me up. You know, one of the things we've been advocating for is to shut down the H-1B visa program, to shut down the OPT program. Great, shut great. Down thank you. Great. Program. You want policies? There you go. Another policy? Yeah, we support Do you agree building with that? the wall. Yeah, no, I, mean, I didn't try to answer this. Terrible, but support. at least it's a policy. It's something <laughs> you know, to work with. But, but wait, but wait, hear me out though. Uh -huh. A lot of these things, if, if you're talking about in the narrow confines of what would pass this Congress, think about this Congress. Even when the president. Donald fucking Trump was in the White House and we had a majority in the House and the Senate. We could not allocate more than three and a half billion dollars for a border barrier. That was the omnibus spending bill. It was April 2018, I think. And if you remember when Paul Ryan was the Speaker of the House, Trump could not get more than three and a half billion dollars for a border barrier. And I'm not calling it a wall because Paul Ryan put in restrictions that said that, well, it couldn't be more than 18 feet tall yep. and, it has and why to be was that nick and so on so when you say that well why was that nick today that's a totally unrealistic standard it's not unrealistic now, now let destiny get in the, the reason why you can't the so that these things are not real you need why now is it that destiny. obama was able to deport so many more immigrants that that a lot of people still today aren't aware of or why he was called the deporter in chief from a lot of people in hispanic communities it's because he had the political capital and the political know how to do it if trump is an ineffective leader if trump just doesn't know how the fuck anything works if he's sending pence to congress and then backstabbing him on legislation i mean what are you gonna do i mean it is wrong by the way all of that data is right. It's all a lie. All yeah, of the yeah, numbers. Yeah, yeah, okay. Barack Obama being yeah. the deporter in chief is totally wrong. Crazy. You should you should let all the Hispanic people in the U.S. know that have life. huge problems with them. That all that data is fake. One at a time. But in any time, case, the reason that he wait, 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 Nick, hold on. What did you say about? Wait, Nick, hold on. Nick, I just wanted you to explain what what you meant about the data there, because I actually think that's an interesting point that people don't pay attention to. But yeah, go ahead.
this is one of the biggest myths. People, even Democrats, say that you know Barack Obama deported more people than Donald Trump. But what they count as a deportation in the is that they actually turned people back to the border and they count him as a deportation. Wait, you gotta stop. Then you know you did that. No, no, no. You can't. But it doesn't influence the numbers at the end. It's a bullshit talking point. It's a bullshit talking point. Let it fucking say it. You think it's bullshit? I can give you the argument, counter argument, counter counter argument. Lou, that's one lose for destiny. Okay. Go through the script, Nick. Tell, us, tell us about how they turn him back at the border, and that's how the numbers are inflated, I didn't know Nick. what he was going to say. Uh, <laughs> tell no. us about it, Nick. Go ahead, Nick. I, did, I just told you. It's uh -huh. true. When they turn people away at the border, and, and turning people away is different than a deportation, because mm -hmm. many times people will be turned away, and they come back. People get deported, and they come back. And moreover, you know, turning someone away is not removing people that are already in. So the number of illegal immigrants in the country doesn't go down by, you know, not increasing it from more people getting in, right? So so that's totally wrong. But in any case, if you're going to say that, like, Barack Obama can deport more people than Trump, regardless, I mean, this is such a non-starter for a million reasons. Maybe the first is that deporting more people in a day than come in in a day I mean, that already basically can't happen. Donald Trump was getting 130,000 illegal immigrants or, or crossings in the month of May alone last year. And the biggest ice raid that he ever did in one day, I think he had like 1,500 people removed. 1,500 in one day versus 130,000 coming in in one month. So to say that like, oh, well, you know, Barack Obama could get deportations. It's like the numbers that we're talking about are not even on the same scale. To say that like, like major immigration restriction would be political vi politically viable today. Ted Cruz, who's one of the most conservative senators in, in the Senate, he said that he would be in favor of a temporary shutdown of work temporary work visas in the country while we wait for coronavirus to die out. Meaning that the only reason that they're supporting incremental restrictions on immigration is because there's 30 million people unemployed or however, however many it is this week. But the point is huh. even the most... Conservative Republicans are saying that they will only support incremental restrictions on immigration because of this, the worst recession in American history next to the Great Depression. And you're telling me that, well, actually, it's politically viable because Obama deported people. Or no, something. I said it was political. No, I said it was a different planet. I right, said that ahead. that type of immigration stuff was politically viable under Obama. Your problem is that somebody like Trump has made a lot of these conversations politically unviable because he's a fucking idiot in the way that he approaches all of these immigration issues. A really good point to bring up here, a really good topic that was just a, a total buzzkill for Republicans was fucking DACA. Why the fuck would you want to export people? Why would, the, why would you want to kick people out of the country that are registered under the federal government, that are paying taxes, that have no criminal records, that are required to re-register like every fucking two years, that have gone to school, you've already paid for their fucking education with public tax dollars. Why would you make a big part of your campaign getting these people out of the country? At some point, it combined with all the other stupid things that he said about immigrants, it makes it really fucking hard to look at anything that he does as being anything more than just a slight against Hispanic people or a slight against Mexican people. But that Trump only has himself to blame for that. Like when you set your sights on those types of people and then you come out swinging with that type oh, wow. of rhetoric, when you start saying things like that judge gave me an unfavorable ruling because his parents were fucking Hispanic, like when you come out swinging with that, yeah, of course. Of course, people are going to look at you sideways and be like, well, what the fuck? This guy wants to build a border wall? Like, I don't know. That's kind of fucking weird, man. Whereas Obama, so like, how is it ridiculous? It's absolutely fair. It's absolutely fair. Trump has been on record with the, Trump has been on record with the, with the shit. He, he made the shitholes country comment. He made the fucking uh, Mexicans are rapists, thieves, and murderers comment. Like, Trump has made so many horrible fucking comments related to other people. Do you really believe what you're saying right now? Yeah, everything I'm saying is well that We could go watch videos on it later. Trump, or, I'm sorry. Me Trump and Nick watch them every day. Let's yeah. go ahead, finish. Go yeah, ahead, finish yeah Nick, I'm, I know That's that you fine. love your soliloquies, Jesus. That's okay, um, But ahead. yeah, I mean, like, Trump has made this very politically difficult. But you have no one but, but yourself to blame for that. I mean, when you support this guy and you put 110% of your weight behind him, and then he says some crazy, stupid shit like this, yeah, it's going to hurt your ability to fucking get anything done. That's just how it works, of course. This is why electoralism is important. It's why looking at how political systems work uh, is really important, because it's the only way that you're going to get anything done. And you even seem to acknowledge that, that, holy shit, we have nothing in fucking Congress. Like, we can't pass any fucking, even the conservatives in Congress can't get shit done then it sounds like you need to change the way that you approach things or you can go and buy a fucking ar-15 with your 10 round magazine and hide in your fucking basement and you know scream when the the fucking taco bell chihuahua comes running down the street looking for you i guess are you advocating the, the murder of chihuahuas right only policy. only in self-defense <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all, right, all, right, all right restart restart wait wait, wait. restart that nick because we were 
they were talking over you. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I just think that the the argument is ridiculous. The idea that Republicans cannot achieve, uh, you know, far right or, or hard conservative, maybe authentic conservative policies because they're not nice enough in their presentation. The idea that Donald Trump would be able to build a border wall with Mexico or a border barrier or, you know, shut down legal immigration because he said they're bringing drugs, they're crime, and oh, I. That that's but, why it is. Nick, Wrong. you don't you don't think reason. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, yeah, go I, ahead, go ahead. I, <laughs> sure. Wait, Nick, tell him to shut the no, fuck no, up. No, tell no, him no, to no, shut no, the no, fuck no, up. This fucking up. <laughs> the reason that they can't do that is because who wants immigration? What is the purpose of immigration? The firms it's want labor. immigration. What do you mean? Anybody that works or buys a product the in the United States wants the immigration. What are you talking about? They put up the money for the campaigns. They want the cheap labor. That's number one. And number two, it's the Democrats because they know that they're importing voters. So the idea that like, I mean, I don't even know. Do you know how the political system works? That like if Donald Trump was just nicer about it, Democrats would be like, you know, you're right. <laughs> we should shut down immigration and prevent Texas from going blue. And like the Koch brothers and the giant industries would be like, no, you're right. <laughs> we don't need cheap labor anymore. I don't need all those profits. Like, of course, there are bigger forces at work besides like. Donald Trump's, you know, yeah. callous rhetoric. You know, they find ways to look over rhetoric that is <laughs> offensive from other politicians all the time because it suits their interest. You know, the things that Donald Trump was saying on immigration were disruptive. It was disrupting the status quo that both Barack Obama and George W. Bush were a part of. George W. Bush brought in eight million immigrants in his first five years in office, and he was Republican, and he was, you know, a uh, compassionate conservative, you know, so both Bush and Obama were in favor of the immigration consensus. Trump was disruptive to it, and this is why the corporate media, this is why all the institutions are against him, and I'll admit that that was during the campaign. Now they've largely co-opted the administration, which is why we've got nothing on immigration, which is why big agriculture and heritage and all the lobbies are in the White House talking to Kushner when he's drafting the legal immigration proposal. And that was last year. We saw the proposal in January. And surprise, surprise, they don't actually decrease the amount of immigration by a single immigrant in Trump's immigration reform. Mm -hmm. Now, is that because of rhetoric or is that because of the financial and political because forces of rhetoric. that came together to create that policy? Look, I mean, look at the popularity right now between Biden and Trump, where, where you're starting to see Trump losing or coming even in, in unimaginable states in southern states or, or in Rust Belt states that Trump had won handily against Hillary Clinton. Like Trump has made a lot of these issues politically infeasible. I know that we want to look at like grander solutions of like, oh, it's the Koch brothers are buying out all the media and blah, 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 blah. But the reality is, is that Trump has just fucked a lot of this up. He's not very politically effective. He runs through cabinet members like crazy. He attacks. He comes out attacking his own fucking cabinet members. Um, we've got how many new fucking books are going to be written about people that were in his administration. Yeah. We've got this Bolton book coming out now that's like calling out Trump on all this crazy shit. Like I just want to say what, what you're saying is actually a fair, very fair point. That Trump is very erratic. He's just politically and, and that's ineffective. Awesome, yeah, no, I mean, that's part of his appeal, too. But yeah. uh, that, That's that his appeal to some people, but he can't get anything done. Well, this was I, Bernie's I problem. This is what, I think that's a very fair that. point. This was the actually, problem, yeah, this was the problem that Bernie problem. Sanders right. had. People no, look at this. I didn't even That's start fine. to respond. Hold on. I'm just saying that people people like this idea of the and, and you know what? I have heart for it. I feel it because we were all 17, 18, eyes open. I'm gonna go out and change the fucking world. And that first corporate job that you get when you realize why why are all these other fucking engineers like pieces of shit? Wow. He's hammering the yeah. he's running out of points. Yeah. He's now, now, hammering now, the table now. now. As, soon as, <laughs> as soon as you get into the real world, you realize, okay, there are way bigger systems at play here. I can't just come and shake everything up from the ground as a low-level, no-name employee or a no-name person at a school or a no-name person in a political system. Bernie Sanders ran into the same problem. Why was there no political revolution with Bernie Sanders? Because he doesn't do anything in the political system. He didn't get any endorsements from any people. We didn't talk to fucking Clyburn even when, when, for his like big primary days. He didn't talk. There were so many missteps where they thought they he just fucked come up and shake. Every yeah, time. He did. And, <laughs> yeah, and we're watching know. Trump do it yeah. just as bad as Bernie did. Um, and, and, and Trump, Trump is the president I of the United States. Yeah. And so obviously he I mean, didn't fuck up to a certain he degree because he's up, sitting in the fucking Oval Office. And what has he gotten done? He hasn't gotten, any of, his, he hasn't gotten Not that any many. of his agenda. He he beat, listen, Trump's accomplishment, okay, is not that impressive. He beat Hillary Clinton in the general election, okay? No, Which no, is no, probably no, no. the Trump, easiest but candidate. But wait, but wait, but wait. I don't want to argue with you. The easiest candidate to beat in any election ever is fucking Hillary Clinton. Let's be real. Trump has fundamentally <laughs> changed the way every American views politics. Maybe. I think I think he has moved us into a post-fact, post-truth world where everybody can see a little bit deeper into the abstraction that's put down in front of us all. Like, I 
think he's playing it perfectly into a second term where it's just where it's Trump wall. Trump wall is running against the deep state. Biden is a puppet, is a is a is a, is a, uh, a lich that is just kind of there showing up. I, I, I don't think it's possible to beat him, but he has fundamentally changed the way we view politics forever. It's possible. We'll see, though. So, like, the thing is, is that if he wins again. Absolutely. But if he loses in a landslide to Biden, like what well, some of the early pollings are going to show, then they're probably going to be like, oh, yeah. we're done with that. Destiny, the poll. Yeah, it was 50. I, mean, I just talked to him about I mean, this come this morning. On. It was a poll. It was, I Look at the, the rallies. Look at the name. It was 50, 30. I can't tell if you're fucking with me. <laughs> no, no, seriously. No, 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 no. no he's I not. I really think it's polls. Polls. Bernie Sanders had some really good Hold rallies on, wait, until wait, wait. Tuesday I, rolled around. I support Bernie 100%. Sure. However. Do you really think it's 50, 38? I mean. It's probably more extreme right now because of the COVID-19. I, sure. think, I don't think the election is going to yeah. look like 60 40 Biden. No, Trump that's not gonna runs the Federal Reserve now. He's going to well, be printing no. checks. <laughs> right. I don't think we're going to let Fergus get back ahead, in. I, I just don't think I, I've, been one of, <laughs> I've been one of these people on this show. You know, a lot of you know our audience, obviously, you know, Trump automatically, he's going to win. I don't think that at all. Not uh, right I, now. I, it I, absolutely yeah, doesn't look like that right I now. I think it's going to be a dogfight like it almost always is. But anyway, go ahead, Fuente. What? <laughs> I didn't even oh, yeah, yeah. No, Destiny didn't even start. Destiny, Destiny didn't even talk, didn't, he, he just didn't start. Up. He didn't like, start responding. Like, you need. <laughs> you talked for like five fucking minutes. He like, interrupted me the whole fucking time. That was you. I can't I'm fucking sorry. help I'm it. Sorry. I'm sorry. We've got nothing on immigration. It's my house. Everybody out. Because the Republicans. <laughs> Republicans are fucking it all up. That's why we have nothing in immigration. Trump behind the scenes is still pissed off that nothing is going on. That's because up. Republicans have just made it an, an, an unwinnable issue right can now. Can he talk? What the fuck? They're I gonna can't, blame I can't this. Is it. Also, why can't Hispanic people be Republican voters? Is that really impossible? Is no. it actually absolutely impossible? Because on social issues, I don't know if you guys know any Hispanic or black people, they tend to be a little bit more I mean, support the military few. moving in on. Quite a few. Yeah, they they, yeah. they tend oh. to be a little bit more socially conservative <laughs> than like white kids. Oh, like when you when you look mia. at when you look at the kids that are marching for the LGBT rallies and the fucking crazy blue hair and shit, it's not usually black and Hispanic. They don't people. have little little Mexican yeah, it's mustaches. It's usually it's too, usually they. white kids. This idea that like Republicans could never ever entertain the votes uh, of groups of Hispanic people is just so stupid. By the way, the chat correctly that. pointed out that I thought that you're arguing. That changing, saying, you are arguing oh, that you changing did? demographics is going to lose elections, especially when the no, especially when it's rolling no, in. No, yes, you no. did. Day one, you, were, you, you did. The never wavered. About after the no. pussy grab. What well, you anyway. said earlier was. Tell me a policy. Stop interrupting Fuentes, Ralph. Stop. <laughs> You're ruining his time and, now. Uh, I hate. I'm sorry, Nick. That please go on, Nick. Is not immigration restriction. Is not really in the Overton window at this point. Like uh -huh. hardcore immigration restriction. I said the reason for that is because of the people that want immigration. And you you pivot to say, well, no, we're not getting immigration because Donald Trump is incompetent. And I, you know, Donald Trump is incompetent. But Thank I don't you. think that Donald Trump being incompetent is the reason why immigration is not something that would be quote unquote politically viable right now. I don't think that has anything to do Wait, with. Wait, why it. isn't it? I then? think that. I, I told you the reason why. The reason why is because the people that run this country, the elites, they want the immigration. So it Wait, has nothing to do with again? Donald Trump being incompetent or you know whatever. Because, like I said, when Donald Trump had two majorities, when he had a majority in the House and in the Senate, Very you know offensive. he tried to get the wall built. And he couldn't do it. And that was maybe the time that he could have done it. You could argue that he didn't try hard enough. But ultimately, it was the congressional GOP that obstructed it. It was Paul Ryan. None of the congressional Republicans are in favor of cutting hey, legal immigration. The, se the Senate and Democrats Trump, are what stopped Donald the single Trump payer going through under Obama. It was Lieberman or whatever in the Senate Donald under Trump the Democrats said, that stopped single payer health care. I mean, the State of the Union last year, he said that we want more legal immigrants than ever before. And, you know, during that. the campaign, it was a little wishy-washy. He didn't, like, totally commit to cutting legal immigration. But, I mean, Donald Trump, even the most, the farthest that he can go on immigration is he wants to stop illegals from getting in, get illegals that are here out. And what all he said about legal immigration is he wants it to be merit-based rather than family-based or, or through the diversity visa lottery. And so that just goes to show that even Donald Trump, who many would consider like an immigration hardliner, the most that he can muster, he can't even muster nativism or immigration restrictionism. What he's talking about is merely enforcing the law, not saying let's take a look at the two million or million people that come here every year. So – so whether he's incompetent or not has something to do with the fact that immigration restriction is not something uh, I think the, across the board that would be uh, popular, that would be politically viable. You say that viable. he just wants to enforce the law, but he's trying to repeal DACA. 
which was an what executive action. But that's not a. But that was done DACA through executive illegal. action. Though. That's illegal. Not, I, mean, I mean, the Supreme should, Court seemed to disagree the next recently with Trump trying to get rid of that. Well, well, well no, I know totally that's true, but it was a five four. You know, it was a five four decision. It's really funny. And shouldn't the next executive be able to change the policy? It was a five four decision. It was a five four decision. It was it was a five four decision in a conservative court. Okay, number one. Number two. If you want to talk about misusing your executive powers, doesn't Trump literally say that like I need to go down and build the border wall? a matter of like fucking national security hasn't he said tariffs are a matter of fucking national security why don't yeah, republicans ever call trump out on this kind of shit like i'm sorry i'm the moderator i, I <laughs> lost myself on the supreme court Go ahead. the supreme uh -huh. court didn't say the daca recipients were permanent legal permanent residents the supreme court said that trump's rescission mm -hmm. of daca was not according to the proper procedure mm -hmm. so the supreme court didn't say they're legal they are illegal everyone acknowledges they are illegal they're they're undocumented whatever you want to say well they are documented well, the they're not court, undocumented the supreme, they are the by definition court didn't, documented didn't speak about the legality of their residency in the country sure they talked about the legality of right. trump's rescission of the program yeah, which so, they ruled against i don't know yeah. if you don't know the, that the or process maybe, no, it, it was about the process it was about well, the we'll try to run through the next process if he has enough time left in his presidency i don't know these next few months are going to be a he's got 16 more years maybe maybe <laughs> I don't know. He had a really hard time but, walking down those stairs the other day. Did you see his? Uh, no, did you see his? Glasses? Saw, I, saw, uh, I watched it in slow motion. Well, Destiny it actually it was beautiful. But, 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 but what Nick is saying is he right. had a like, tight suit. It, it was about that's the, a tight suit problem. What, I saw him tweet out. Well, the angle of the ramp was actually uh, quite steep. I think it was a Jewish architect that put together uh, the stage right, that he spoke yes, on. Yes, yes. But, but it was Gozer the Gozerian yeah, no. architect of that Evan rant. Costello over here. <laughs> uh, go ahead, Fuentes. I'm just a layman. I haven't seen any primary sources yeah, about no. the, uh, yeah, about yeah, the famous comedy so. tag teams and in history. <laughs> my my yeah, destiny's yeah, cut man yeah, over here yeah. now. You hyping them up? You, you gonna rub his shoulders you next? Got. Give him a back rub, yeah. Nick. <laughs> Dick, whatever the fuck your name is. Go ahead, Fuentes. Are we doing this all night? Is I don't know. Fuck it. Why not? Your callers are going to be mad as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are already mad as fuck. Like, do you want me? They want to book you on their you know show, what? Destiny. I That's all. Of the... I already, yeah, I already made are you down to take some callers? I mean, we can have you both on and take some callers if you're down. I mean, I... I didn't I didn't even know this was I don't want to monopolize your whole show. No, man, fuck it. Obviously, you know I want you on the show. <laughs> Nick, everyone wants you moron. to monopolize the I'll whole show. I'd be a moron not to watch you on the show. Uh, all right, you know what? Let's go through some callers. Fuck it then. Obama uh, was born in Kenya, right? We all Trump agree with that. Oh, God. Just don't even. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Okay, Nick. Okay, now hold on. No, to be no, fair. No, no, wait, I want to be fair. No, no, no. God you're right. I want to be fair. I want to be fair. Now, Nick, <laughs> Nick wouldn't say. Told... Wait, wait, wait. Nick wouldn't say that he wasn't born in Kenya. He would just say maybe he wasn't oh, born in the U.S., yeah, okay? No. There's a huge difference. Born in Kenya. He's 100 There's a huge yeah, difference, yeah, Kenya. Yeah, There's a huge I difference there. Kenya. I will say straight up. <laughs> I say Not it, a Nick. real American. Fake president. Hey, am I? Can you guys hear me? Yeah. We can. Yeah, we can hear Okay. Look, Destiny, you're my one of my favorite kill stream uh guests by far Thank especially you. you being on the left you're you're one of the best uh right. nick you're awesome too dude you do a lot of good work as well i know destiny would disagree with that but i think you both do really good work in uh you know both your political spectrums right yeah thanks. and thanks, and i think there's a i think there's there's actually a lot more that all of us agree with I think then that's that true. we really By the way, that with. was how I was going to finish up this segment. <laughs> so you, you stepped on my... That might actually be true. Wait, <laughs> you wait, stepped wait. on my fucking... Can I ask know, one show, question? But I yeah, want right. to see how much similar we have. Nick, do you well, believe... Nick, do you believe dinosaurs were real? Yeah, but they lived with humans. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, I just... just Is that what you... Well, hey, hey, oh, hey, no. hey, 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 You read it. Get, no. Fuck <laughs> oh right. no! Basically, oh, come on. We yeah, found a no vulnerability. Hey, no come on, can. man. No there was. No way goes. Hey. Yeah. Go ahead. What? Hey, there, there was. There was some neutral respect. Come on now. All right, uh, Nick. Come on. You're better. They, than they that. both come hate on, each buddy. other. We hate you too. Um, but go ahead, yeah, Caller. But, your no, there's a. Uh, I, I, you know, I listen to both sides, man. And you know, we we all have. Uh, well, I don't know. It depends on where you're from, but we all have uh, people on the left and people on the right in our families and uh it, it's hard to talk to the other side when you you know believe you know one way or the other 
And uh, like I said, there's a lot of overlap, man. Like when I talk to my dad, he's really far, you know, not far on the left, but he's on the left on a lot of things. But as far as like crime and, you know, prisons and shit like that, like he, he's like for the death penalty, all that type of shit. Whereas most people on the left aren't for the death penalty, but he is. Well, he sounds like an old, more of an old school type left leftist, right? Yeah, yeah. Oof. Oh, yeah. Well, like he hates, uh, you know, the gay people and all that type of shit, so. <laughs> All right, get out of here. I love the gays. Get out. Get out. Nope, too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. <laughs> that guy was gay. Yeah, he was too much. He's a, he's a good we supporter. All we uh, all together. No, nah, but you know what? I do. You know, I was actually gonna ask. I'll still ask it. So whatever. Uh-oh. But 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 there is some maybe some some agreement, right? At least as far as internet oh no i don't issues. think dinosaurs and people lived on the earth at the same time i don't give a fuck about <laughs> that shit yeah sure i know i know oh yeah, you missed that when this was telling us about how no. humans used to uh, okay. hunt with t-rexes oh, they would uh, yeah I'm take them out back and uh, i should never chase try down to woolly nice mammoths and... wait really yeah, yes. yeah actually really yes <laughs> he thinks dinosaurs and humans lived on the earth at the same time yeah, yeah it's biblical bro all right it's biblical. dinosaurs are in the bible biblical yeah, it's in one of the lost. It was in the DLC. You All right, you know what? Let's just Behemoth. let's just Behemoth do it. Fuck it. You want to mix it up, Ryan Dawson? You're wait. Live you don't believe the Holocaust? Right but you think the Bible's right about dinosaurs and humans <laughs> living just, together? It's just correct, wait. Correct. Just wait. <laughs> He's Ryan Dawson. You know what? Fuck it. it. Let's fuck it all up. Ryan Dawson, you're here on the kill stream. Go ahead, sir. No, he can't. Oh, oh no, I think he stepped away. Oh, he stepped away. All right, well we'll try. They would say he stepped away. Didn't I'm not going to say step they away. Is. Yeah, see, you know what? You're not as fucking sharp as you think. All right, go ahead, uh, Cooper. You're <laughs> on the kill stream. Oh, yeah, it's funny. Uh, I was just recently babysitting a four-year-old with my girlfriend last weekend. And it's funny how the kid knew more about dinosaurs than anything else. You know, uh, that's pretty nuts. Dinosaurs are fucking True. cool. Like, is really this, makes is this a war it? on dinosaurs? Because if it is, fuck you. Do you think God imbues four-year-olds with knowledge of dinosaurs? <laughs> dinosaur <What? propaganda. laughs> that's, that's neither here nor there. I don't even care if they were real. I just care that, like, they're that's cool Because if it was a science world, you'd yeah, expect whatever, four-year-olds whatever. to be talking about, like, thermodynamics well, or something, like right? Not right. dinosaurs. They, they, academics well, didn't know they had feathers until recently, so... Yeah, academics have been lo- wrong about a lot of shit true. throughout <laughs> history, Destiny. That's true. If you want to know no, the truth 100%. about things. They've been dead fucking wrong. They Somebody should tell them that. Racist as fuck, for one Somebody instance. should tell them that. Like, yeah, phrenology. Yeah, yeah. That was a real thing. We should all be Type shit, whatever the we fuck should the tweet at academics tonight that they've been wrong about things in you the past. You know what? Past. I asked an academic on my mind. show yesterday. Her name yeah. is Megan Squire, and she was on a podcast called I Don't Speak German wow. yesterday. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. And she talked about all these shows that she was plotting the data points on, and da, 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 da. And then she mentioned the kill stream. Wow. And she said, wow, the kill stream's kind of a special case. They're a little bit more mainstream than the other shows. They have a yeah, guest we'll list. about dinosaurs. <laughs> they have a guest list that's so extensive that I had to fucking change my X, Y axis. Oh. And I just spilled beer on myself. <laughs> I just moved the towel out. Project. I'll get it. I'll get it. It's fine. You're the hockey stick. I don't even care. You're her hockey stick, we, crap. We have to change our X, Y <laughs> axis because they're so mainstream and they have so many guests. Uh, and I asked her on the show. I heard this clip. And I'm Keep completely going. soaked totally in beer, and I don't give a fuck. Uh, I asked her on the show, and I said, normally, you know, I'd do a quote tweet and call you out and fuck with you, but I'd actually like you to come on the show. Uh, so I'll ask you gentlemanly, like, southern gentlemanly, like. Uh, and she refused, of course. Um, so that's that's the deal there. And we'll go through that more next week. We're, you should rebrand. You, know. you should get a secondary. Like, you have the kill stream. You should make another brand of spinoff. I call it the chill you know stream. What? Somebody actually told me that. Oh, yeah. the chill stream. No, you we have more we, calm. We actually, that's what the rebroadcast calls us on YouTube. So yeah. I can't take that one. But, oh, shit. but yeah, I, I have I have thought about that. I, I don't know. It's just curious because um, she she literally just starts talking about oh, well, they're a little more they're a little they're, that's a special case there. They're a little more mainstream. They have a little bit bigger audience. They have a little bit more guests. Uh, so I don't know. I thought it was funny. Shout out to Megan Squire. I want to make sure I get her name right. M E G A N S Q U I R E, I believe is how you spell her name. Data no scientist. fancy spelling at all. I don't speak German. No the very last podcast they just they just put out. I want to make sure I give it 
the publicity it deserves. I don't speak German. Check that shit out. Literally in the first like 30 seconds, they call themselves the Antifa podcast. Yeah, the official Antifa podcast. Check that out. That's a recommendation from the host of the kill stream here. Um, all right, go ahead, Nick. Did, did you have anything? Yeah, I have to add to take another caller. Uh, is there a call? There's a caller. Oh, yeah, there. real, yeah, go real ahead. fast. I mean, five to seven million people. Why does it matter? I mean, 13.8 billion years old. That's how old the universe is. That's more specific than the amount of Jews that died. Wow. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> I, I didn't hear that. Get out of here, Cooper. I don't know what you mean. All right. <laughs> Southern Dingo, go ahead. You're on the kill stream. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't hear that. I was looking off screen. I don't yeah. know what he said. I didn't even hear it. Go, Southern Dingo. Like, he's saying we were supposed to get like red shift to find out how many Jews died. I think. <laughs> I, the, I, I, honestly, don't, don't challenge him, Destiny. <laughs> okay, my bad, They'll, they might find that someday. All right, you know what, Dingo? I personally told you I wasn't going to take callers on this segment, and then they both said, let's take callers, and then I changed my mind. So go ahead. Well, thanks. I appreciate that, Ralph. But uh, don't think that I'll be forgetting anytime soon who you brought on first. Oh, Brian yeah. Dawson. Cry more. Go ahead before I throw you out. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Of course, as the only straight white male on the podcast, you are my favorite. Uh, I had a oh, question wow. for Destiny, but what? first, <laughs> I'm just fucking around. Uh, <laughs> I just wanted to say I had a question for Destiny. And first, I wanted to, to kind of point out to Nick just like how insane it is to me that you spent all this time and put in all this effort talking to destiny a literal butt fucker uh about how not evil you are whenever people you consider wig nets you spent so much time a... like berating and talking yeah. shit about you've been a constant source of infighting on this i don't this talk movement. about wig nets they're not relevant yeah exactly there you, there you go your little flipping wow. attitude and shit snarky. <laughs> but whenever whenever it comes to this guy who literally knows hey, what, what the hell why aren't you like, watching the hey let man. him finish nick yeah, i want to hear this defense show. of the wig nets yeah nick <laughs> Yeah, go. Yeah, right. That's yeah, what you're right. famous for. Yeah, go. Wig Knight defense. Here, uh, Wig Knight loves yeah, lives matter. Go. Okay, hey, let's hear hey, it. Hey, fuck hey. you, short stack. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Yeah, fuck you, Nick. Why are you so serious? Why are you putting so much effort in to, to make Destiny think that you're just you're not? A, I'm a real player. I'm not evil. I'm not Hitler. Look how cool I am. But whenever it comes to people who are supposed to be on your own side, you've got nothing but little fucking insults and quips like that. Yeah, what the What's fuck, Nick? What's up with that? Well, that? So you don't understand the difference. I didn't spend the night telling him I'm not evil. I told him that. Yeah, the you reason did. You no, you know, he comes down Destiny, hard. Destiny, Destiny, everybody. The difference is yes, that on. the reason that we can't have a good faith argument is because he thinks that my secret intention is genocide. Big difference. We're getting down to the bottom of you know why it is that we've had three debates and constantly we can't get to the bottom of it. Destiny can't even talk to me like a human being because underlying all of that is, is an assumption. Not throughout the whole night if I said, Destiny, you know, please believe I'm a good person, and, you know, yeah. you don't understand the well, difference Destiny, on that. Just I, like I believe the Holocaust the numbers. The They're the exactly net. right, I promise. Yeah, <laughs> They're even more exact well, than yeah. they you know. You don't understand the difference <laughs> on the Wigmatch either. Presented your ass to him. Was, no, was, was that, that a Jewish voice that you did? Destiny's a fucking joke. Like, why, why even bother? Right, you sound you like can't, a joke. Dingo, 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 dingo. Uh, you don't know anything about who do you me. Dingo. Who, do you who, do you who do you follow, fat ass? Who do you follow, then? <laughs> fat ass? Dingo. Oh, fucker, I'm jacked. Who do you, you don't follow? know shit about me, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, but you think these guys on for a live show. Ralph, 20,000 no, dollars. No, no, stop. Don't wear a Hawaii t-shirt and take pictures with Milo Are you a friend of Richard Spencer's, then? Are you a Richard Spencer acolyte? He wasn't a virgin where he married his wife. I know that. He said that last night. Yeah. Really? He did admit that. That's unbiblical. Did, did, did you just say something about it's Catboy? No, wait, wait, wait oh, a minute. No, oh, hold on. Oh, no, that's no. all I need. The that's secret all I need, weapon. Yeah, better than Richard Spencer, right? Who defended I'll, gays. I'll, I'll, I'll be the judge of what's good. Remember, remember when Matt Heimbach banned gays from the NPI conference and Richard Spencer Dude, said this, to let this, him this in? this is leftist tactics. This is what you like. This oh, is what no. you do. It is. Anybody else? You <laughs> Shut like, up. I've heard commies do this shit. Stop trying to pin. Stop trying to pin Hitler's ideology on me, Destiny. By the way, redneck guy, fucking take up for Matt Heimbach and Richard Spencer. What the fuck? Uh, you know what? I don't even. I've lost. No, I, mean, I, I, I think Nick has used a lot of leftist ask, debate I, tactics I, here. I still want to ask Destiny a question. I think Nick Fuentes is like the Ben Shapiro of the left. That's how I view him. <laughs> I've lost. <laughs> All right, Dingo. You, uh, I'm sorry, I don't Dingo. even know. I don't even know what any Dingo. No, I'll, I'm ben gonna Shapiro ask of the question, right. Please, please. I hate you. Okay, okay thank you. This is why I love you, Ralph. Not Destiny, you. Um, 
Mm -hmm. I, I would like you. to say before I start, the reason that you always beat Nick in these debates is because yeah. you are right about the fact that he is a pussy and won't say his real views. Oh, oh, they're, they're, they're not. They're not. True bombs. Right, you know what Dingo said? You know what, Dingo said? Said? You know what he said? But, I'm going to come in and rag on both people. And he and he no, came in. And, oh, yeah, he said, like oh, are, why are yeah, yeah, he said, oh, people I'm like going to have people a great like call. I'm going to kill him and fuck with everybody. Fucking retards. Okay. Anyway, retards like you. Destiny. I've done more for the American right than all the people you follow combined. You haven't done shit, Grifter. Keep saying that, Hillbilly. Hey, whoa. Did you kick him out of the channel? Yeah, I did. What the f- Deplatforming. We just saw it happen in real time. Unbelievable. I hate you. Maybe You're Fuentes should go visit the uh, kitty litter box right, when the next guy back. comes in I for a little bit. Oh, okay. I brought him back because of shaming. Oh, hey. Okay, I thought I got booted. I was like, what the fuck? No, yeah, we're this is a free speech You're platform. Day Live hate doesn't you. stand for this deep platforming <laughs> bullshit. So These Antifa <laughs> tactics trying to drag this wonderful <laughs> wig naff <laughs> out of the fucking room. Uh, you know what? It's a weird, it's a, it's a, oh, it's a sad God. day whenever I agree with Destiny uh, like this. You know I say no. the same thing, don't worry. It's a sad day for a lot of reasons. Oh, yeah, God no, but uh, having having said that, Destiny, that that's uh -huh. that's why you kill him every time, and you always will. But uh, <laughs> other than that, that's I wanted weird. to ask you, oh, as God. you probably know, you suck his cock, you why know, don't you? <laughs> you didn't say you were the as only you straight know, guy, uh, buddy. Most most men, or I'm sorry, all men who engage in anal sex uh -huh. have to wear diapers by the age of like 40 or 45. At what age do you think you'll have to start strapping those bad boys on? <laughs> well, considering I don't partake in anal sex giving or receiving, I don't know. I guess liar, liar, you're a liar. Uh, uh, <laughs> you're a fucking low. retard. Maybe I should turn him back. back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Worski, who's been silent for like two hours. Well, I've, I've been enjoying this. Uh, but, oh my God. Yo, yeah, Worski's here. I was so yeah, yo, what's up, Nick? How you doing, what's bro? Up, I've been dude? chilling back, yo. Yo, man, how you been, dude? I've been good. How you been? I've been excellent, man. Thank you. Worski's doing good. DLive.tv slash subculture right after know, the kill was... stream. The twisted mind of Andy Worski. Don't step on my promo, Worski. I'm trying to hype you up. Oh, uh, thanks, dude. Thanks. Uh, no, I'm going to be talking about the Lord and Southern uh, uh, beef with... Um, you know, a, she sent me an email yeah. that I said and I was going to read the whole yeah. fucking email. <laughs> And uh, well, we'll that see was actually, to, like, what, four hours ago. <laughs> yeah, that was like 13 fucking years ago. But yeah, she actually did send me an email, reached out to me personally. <laughs> Fortunately, it wasn't Jess Southern that reached out to me personally. But uh, Lauren's pretty, she's pretty good too. You know. well, I hung with her a few times. She's pretty good. Actually, Lauren Southern is awesome. Uh, and she's always been cool to me. So I don't know if, if anybody here who doesn't like her, that's fine. But she's always been really cool to me. And, and I actually like her. Uh, I hadn't talked to her though uh, in a long time. I know she um, kind of retired from the scene, uh, but uh, she messaged me during the whole David Shitrat uh, uh, arc that we had. Uh, she wouldn't come on. I wanted. Oh God, I tried so hard to get her on. Oh, it would have been epic. Uh, she wouldn't come on, which I understood, but she did say that she was laughing her ass off about it and gave me permission to read it on the air. So oh, that's fine. We'll see. Nice. Uh, we'll see. I want to hear Dingo go back at F1. To, then, uh, Dingo, Destiny. by the way, the last <laughs> time Dingo disconnected himself, I didn't. I didn't. Disconnect. Oh, he did. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. kind of like he those guys that commit suicide right now, with two shots mean? in the yeah. in their own yeah. head or whatever. He you Epstein what? himself. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I know you're a huge supporter of Southern Dingo. Let's bring another. I'm, listen, up. I'm a Nebraska kid, all right? <laughs> oh, I yeah. love my Southern friends. Okay. <laughs> Nebraska, yeah, yeah. The Nebraska's south. not the south, you fucking moron. Hey, hey, the Midwest has more in common with the south than they no, do with you California fuckers. Well, Absolutely, yeah, you know, of course. Off. The Midwest. 100%. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in that shithole. Yeah, of what course. But if we could go south, no we No culture, would. no nothing. We're stuck fuck up there. We're trapped yeah. up there, right? With our corn. Out in the middle of the fucking, I don't even know, desert cactus. We're not even. We don't get deserts. Just complete shit. Grass. Yeah, you're not even that cool. To grass and corn. <laughs> And cows. Right. Yeah. Dark we butters. love corn on the kill stream. Go ahead. Yeah, we love it. Dark. Uh, how's it going, Ralph? It's going. This is uh, this is a fun actually. night. Good it's to going see going you, Nick. Good, good to see you. Um, Gessney, thanks for coming on. We appreciate getting some people from the other side. Uh, I've always said my opinion on the Holocaust is the same oh. as Ben Shapiro's opinion on the USS Liberty. Look, guys, it happened over 50 years ago. Stop, stop worrying about it, okay?
So <laughs> big agree. Big well, that's agree. that's my opinion too, and which I've said on the show. It's um, I mean, there have been many Holocausts throughout history, and why many, Zionist many, many races like that have been enslaved, should be good on this. And uh, it's it's not that they don't have a grievance or or something to to you know complain about, but it's also like uh, this is not some specialized event in history this has happened before right i feel like i hear nazis talk about this is that shit nazism? more than is that nazism though? i don't I, maybe i just miss it i don't no, feel I'm like a, i I'm care about no the, seriously no 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 I'm, I'm saying i don't hear about the holocaust that much well, maybe that's i'm just true. not in, in real the life right. i don't hear about it yeah at all. it's yeah. only people on the internet that want to fight it's, about it but but yeah that's true but it's people that are you know trying to be propagandize basically and you can say that on both sides too it's not necessarily Maybe, just, just left or right in in norm in real life most people never talk about the fucking holocaust yeah i think that's true i, I can't imagine <laughs> <laughs> last time i ever had a, a real fucking person talk to me about the holocaust i yeah. mean that's not something that usually comes up uh that's fair to say so i just way. walk up to you on the street and say, yeah hey, that's really fucking weird or you yeah. go eat with a jewish friend and somebody walks up you thank you for your sacrifice <laughs> like I've n i haven't seen that before i don't know maybe uh, i'm going I to the really wrong restaurants i really haven't they walk i up try to but it turns thank people off ah, thank you you, Warsky. you people get mad when i bring it up all the time <laughs> all right dark butters thank you man you got anything real quick oh, man, I, had a, I had a real question sorry to derail the conversation back there that's okay go ahead uh, I just wanted to hear what what's the panel's position on um, defunding the police. I'm just curious what everyone thinks about that movement, where they are, and after you can I'm against me, defunding uh, the police. That's my I think it's the single dumbest thing they could possibly do because then they're going to want to call the police when people see that the police are defunded, and all of the ne'er do wells go around busting up shit, stealing shit. They're like, "Oh my god, who am I going to call?" Well, I guess you got to call the Ghostbusters now. I think the slogan of defund the police is really fucking stupid, but I think that we definitely need to do like a serious reallocation of resources to other. The idea that we call the cops for fucking everything is really weird. Like, if I got a homeless guy that's just being weird on the, the side of the street and he's like shot at people, I don't know why the fuck I need to call the police for that. Or, or, or if I've got like a dog that's, you know, loose in my neighborhood, why you, people call the police for everything? That's really what weird. What about a pit bull? Oh, that's another one. Then you call the police. There's another one. Well, There's another one. Well, you know what? The pit bull debates. I really missed that. I think that needs to come back. Another another classic Fuentes joke. Another classic Fuentes joke. Put it down. I'm for it 100%. You, def you defund the police, and then you get the county sheriffs who move oh, in yeah, and they're whack. Great. Motherfuckers upside the head you with know what, impunity. Actually, but I then, joke, but they usually are better police. Yeah, get the county sheriffs in, the and then uh, ruin the police unions. The police well, unions, just like teachers' unions, are there to keep the bad cops around. So <clears throat> defund the police, fuck up the union, make the police again. People talk about. Have you heard Camden? Have you ever heard that brought up yeah. before? People yeah. talk about Camden. That's what they did there. They mm -hmm. got rid of the local police, but they doubled the size of the county police, and now they do a lot more policing. But they the try to do it in a better so way. So if yeah. you look in, you know, I'm from I'm Arkansas. They're mm -hmm. state troopers. Uh, they call them. California Highway Patrol, I think here, but CHPs, basically, yeah, yeah Chips, but basically, man. A state trooper is like a state police force uh, in Arkansas and in other, you know, southern states. I don't know how they do it up north. I don't know what they call them. LAPD um, is fucked. But the, but the state troopers <laughs> are almost without fail more competent, not you know, nicer, just easier to deal with than the regular city police force. It's almost just without fail, and I, I don't. They know get if, beat off in the middle of the day. Yeah, in I don't their know car. if it's the training or maybe they get more respect because they're a trooper. I, I really don't know what it is, but they they're just almost without fail more professional. I will them. say that police unions, I love them because I think they show some really funny fucking shit where people they on the it. right will come out and champion the fuck out of the our say our brave fucking men and women yeah. and then all of these traditional lefties that tell me unions will save the fucking world from every problem like these police unions have got to fucking go it's the worst fucking all they care about are their goddamn workers and it's like, yeah, it sounds like every fucking union to me i think you police unions are really funny but they do do a lot of um man dude i i back when i was in omaha there was so much shit related to special services that determined the election um like have you ever heard of like pension spiking like shit oh, like that yeah. where you work a ton of overtime your last two or yeah. three years and that's your yeah, pension. that's our entire subway system yeah. is defined by that and you yep. retire making more in retirement yep. because it's based on your last two years yep. of wages than you did your entire fucking service. But you only live to 57. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, yeah. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> We're going to lightning round this motherfucker. Wolf Wait, Club. so are we cutting him down to three or four questions from five? Uh, or what? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Fuck you. Wolf Club, was, go ahead. I do what that, I guy asked, <laughs> that guy asked six million <laughs> questions. What are you he talking about? I don't know. It seemed more like 100,000 to me. It seemed more like 100, 200,000 to me. I thought you were the champion of free speech. You just fucking sucked his cock live on air. You talking about Southern Bingo? 
Did I just let talk for 15 fucking minutes because he... I was just trying to get clarification on how many questions we were going down. I need to mentally prepare myself. (laughs) Okay. All right, Wolf Pup, go ahead. What's your question? So I got a question for both of you. Nick and Destiny. Mm -hmm. Do you think it'd be a good idea for Trump to come out and say he is for white interests for these elections? No. I think that... (laughs) uh... <laughs> uh, no. you know, you know even as channels. much as I wish he would be for that, I think that, um, and this is something I thought a lot about during the 2016 election. Not all of the racial pandering is necessarily bad. I think it's unproductive insofar as Trump is trying to get the black vote because he'll never get that. But a lot of white people care if the president is racist or not. You know, blacks will never vote for Trump, but a lot of white people care about if he's racist or not. And I feel like ironically, you know, even though that, you know, you can't really dissuade much more black voters than he already has, but I think you would dissuade a lot of white voters who, you know, see themselves as beyond race or above race. So I think that being that explicit at this time, I think it would just be counterproductive, honestly. It would be incredibly electorally unpopular. He shouldn't do it. He'll, he'll maybe he'll um, invigorate some very fundamental base of voters, but it's going to be really low percentage. He's going to turn off a hell of a lot more that, that lean more center or left. Totally agree. Yes. Be See, funny, though, common Ryan. ground, just like that other guy said. Hey, Gator, can you take on the next caller? Ralph went to the bathroom. Yes, yeah, sure. Yeah. Let's see. God, this is filled with people. Uh, you know what? I see Cripple Jesus in there. Let's let's bring in. Uh, let's bring him in. Hey, Cripple Jesus, you're on the kill stream. What's going on, buddy? You got a question? Can you hear me? Oh shit! Am I on? Yeah, yeah, you're on. You have a question uh, for Nick, Destiny, or anybody. I just got to give it up to Destiny because I went to school on a slow bus for four years, and uh, he's the most retarded person I've ever heard. <laughs> ever. <laughs> I mean, we, we literally had kids shit their, di- shit their diapers. <laughs> I had to smell shitty diapers on the bus, and they they would scream and make retard noises. But they what made the fuck did sense. I just walk back in on, by the way? <laughs> the people no. he's describing, I'm more, I'm more retarded than those people. That's, That's where we're great. at right now. <laughs> That's where I we're at right now. Cripple Jesus, he... start over so Ralph can hear no, the whole thing. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. Keep going. Let's start over, you. Cripple Jesus. No, fuck you. <laughs> Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, I think the only thing you said that made made sense is when he said staircase, staircase of the lethal. They sound like they, they would be to somebody are. like you. <laughs> yeah, for you. Yeah. I feel like you have a lot of trouble navigating uh, difficult dialogue. And don't cut off his no, joke. Right. He can't right. talk that fast. Right. Come you on, that's bullshit. Come on, that's bullshit. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. That was my bad. Cut that. that one out of the video. <laughs> Fucking ableist. That might have been hate speech. Chat. That might have been. You're right. Ableist That's chat. gonna get clipped. That's gonna be clipped. I'm it sorry. It will, but by your enemies, not by us. <laughs> <laughs> like, we don't give a fuck. Push them down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give him, him a three second head start. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Fucking hell. He go came ahead. off. He just moved out of his mom's house and He's forgave such his a mother. Per- oh, he just called him last night. <laughs> so proud about that. Oh my By God. The way, I'm not um, kidding. Just, I want to make it known that I um I did make an attempt to reconnect with my father. Oh, oh we see. talked to you about that last night with JLP, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm going out to dinner with them this weekend. So. Leave your watch at home. Your valuables, <laughs> right? You valuables, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, but uh, I, I've enjoyed Don't let him plug his Tesla Olympics. into your night that you guys had on the kill screen the special olympics night yeah that's every night <laughs> thank you <laughs> I, I like to be i like to be represented ralph so would you thanks for having You're all here the right autism now. on here tonight. yeah direct representation <laughs> thank you sir i appreciate it man all right let's keep going was he reconnecting with his dad for us um, his dad well, stole a bunch of. He blames his dad for uh, wrecking the, his family because he stole from them. Oh, so that is Jesse, Maxie, like yeah. drugged his mom. No, yeah, she was seriously, with like him or he would steal money from his family to like. Wow. <laughs> so Jesse Lee Peterson said, "This was well, last you know, night. You gotta, it came yeah, out. Yeah. You gotta oh, forgive okay. you. You gotta drugged forgive him." Mom. Yeah. By the way, that's a pretty sound strategy, though. Actually, um, what stealing from your family? No. Yeah. Yeah. I mean that is too, but 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let me forgiving the thief after is a pretty sound. I mean, if you keep that in your heart, the hatred in your heart, it's about you. It's not about the other person necessarily. Oh, there's a saying. Um, this is like, forget it. it. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you, hold, you know. Holding a grudge against sin. somebody is like drinking a vial of poison and expecting yeah. them to die. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean. It's not saying forgive them or like let them take advantage of you more, but to say, hey, you know. Well, if you give the other side of this debate, you get deplatformed. So. Just like the Holocaust. (laughs) All right, let's keep going. Oh my God, there's no way we'll get through them all. We'll we'll, we'll cut cut it from four questions to three, right? (laughs) All right, go ahead, South Africa. (laughs) South Africa is literally the motherfucker's name. I had a question for Destiny. So What's you up? brought up earlier, and you you were like you weren't really dismissive, and you didn't really talk about it. So I'm curious what you thought. You brought up how people had told you about how there were like differences in IQ and behavior between races, and I was curious if you'd come around to that at all, and that's why you didn't mention or you didn't like. No, argue not at all. The the, the, um, the yeah. research on this is so fucking messy, and it's so hard to disentangle. Um, IQ from like a myriad of other environmental factors that it's just not really worth thinking about. The thing is, the reason why I ask like, what would you do about it is because even if there was some genetic basis for some slight variation in how people's minds work or, or IQ, if we want to say, or the Q number or whatever. The, yeah, um, that's, even if that's there, obviously arbitrary. Yeah, even if there was some difference, I don't know if it would change much like policy suggestion. Like we still need to fund inner city schools. We still probably need to end the war on drugs. Um, we still probably need to do something about homeless, crazy people running. Like, I don't know if it changes too many of my, my policy positions even if there was some slight difference in, in IQ between race people and some biological foundation. But, uh, I, like, I get what you're saying, but it's it's not really, I'm not asking you about, like, policy. I'm asking about your, like, personal opinion. Like, do you think that uh, we've evolved, humans have evolved such that we have differences in, in racial groups that are pronounceable no. and understandable? So my personal opinion is that, this is just very personal, and I'll tell this to anybody I talk to. My personal opinion is that any single person on the planet can become 99th percentile at something if they put like one hour a day into it for like two or three years. I think that most people would be shocked at how much they can accomplish if they put like a little bit of free time into something. Um, that That's my position. I don't, I don't think that there's like people have like different fundamentally different brain shapes or skull shapes or things that keep them from doing anything. I think some people lack motivation. I think some people grow up in shitty households. Um, some people start working too early. They don't do enough in school. I don't, I don't know. There's like a million reasons why people can't do anything. But like personally i think that most people can do most things if they just like if, if they can put a little bit of time to it um people don't realize how much time an hour a day is it's a lot of time that you could put into something that you could like get way better than you ever believe like even over six months with something i mean i agree even if the way you said it is kind of like all gay right Paul, you're on question but... 15 uh thank you for calling in though i appreciate yeah, it later dude all right Sorry, I had to be that abrupt. Destiny Damn. encouraged that of me, though. So. No, you got to snip them off, right? Oh, fuck. Yeah, Even I, when they're when they're done asking the question, that's where you cut them off. Well, the, yeah, say you know, thanks for your question. Fuck you. Good question. Like, drag them out. Question. Kill yourself. Yeah. <laughs> you right. don't even say it. <sighs> oh. Spurberg, go ahead. Oh, Destiny, what's going on? And Nick. Hey. Yeah, what's up, bud? That's right. You hit the fucking double. Daily double. Go ahead, sir. The daily double. I fucked up my own jug. It's a double instead of daily first, but whatever. Go ahead. <laughs> also, how how drunk are you, Ralph? None of your goddamn business. Go ahead and ask your. That's your question. Get out of here. Get out. That was two questions. That was two questions. That's your fucking question. Get out of here. You got one question, Spurgberg. You fucked it up, you idiot. You fucking narc. You fucking narc. Fuck you, Mister World Clean. Go ahead. You're on the kill stream. <laughs> uh oh! Hi Nick. Hi. Hi Destiny. Hey, How are you guys? Up? Doing? That's Stop your question. Like a That's your question. <laughs> a real question. Okay. So why is speak up like a normal person, not a fucking pedophile? Why isn't a segregation an actual solution to these problems? Because black people are saying white cops are killing black people, and white white people are saying black people are looting their stores. So why can't we have actual segregation where white people volunteer to have a town of their own, and black people have volunteer to have the town of their own? Why is that not a realistic solution? 
Uh, you you don't want to segregate society because it would just be it would de it would be detrimental in so many different ways. Um, one, the more that you start splitting people up, the more they're probably going to have negative views of each other. So, for instance, um, one of the easiest ways to make somebody like like another ethnic group more is just to be raised around them. Like we can see that. Like there there's like a myriad of studies that look at like if you grow up around people that look Hispanic or Black, you're more favorable towards them. Um, two, it's not a very economically efficient way to organize things. Um, I don't know if like all the capital would flow differently into different parts of cities. Having parts of cities that are poor or broken or fucked up kind of hurt everybody. Um, it means less customers to sell things to. It means more money going towards special services. It just, there's just like a whole bunch. It's a less of a, an employment base to people from. Um, three, like your education is going to be fucked. You can have like all black teachers, all black people, all white teachers, all white people, all Chinese. People. Like the the organization right. is going to like there. It, it like organizing it would be really difficult. It, what, what do you do with mixed people? Like if you got a black and a white parent, like where do these people go? Do they live in the divide? And like uh, it's just. There, there are so many better solutions. Yeah. All right, go ahead, Nick. If you wait, wait, caller, wait, Nick. If you wanted to add something to that. Go yeah, ahead. I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if it's necessarily a problem of efficacy. Honestly, I think it's more a problem of uh, practicality. You know, like I don't know if I necessarily agree with Destiny that it would be detrimental to us, but uh, I think that logistically it would be almost impossible at this point. I mean, it's an integrated country. And, um, yeah. you know, you look across the country and it's, it's not like it was back in the day when uh, it was a little bit simpler in terms of the uh, distribution of these people across the country. So I think that uh, we are going to have to get creative, you know, and, and Destiny, I talked about this earlier. I don't think there's a ton of good options. I mean, we live in a multiracial country now. It's going to get more multiracial. And it's a very complex society, and there are really no easy solutions to managing that. I think that if you look at a lot of cities, they're de facto segregated, like Chicago, and Chicago's not great. You know? Almost so, every major I mean, city is de facto but... segregated. I mean, that's just the truth, right? Like, as... I mean, in ways, there are, I mean, you had redlining in the 60s and everything. Well, I you mean, had... you can blame it on whatever. I'm just saying almost every, every major Yeah, there are definitely like groups of people congregate. Yes, minority, areas, majority yeah. districts. Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead, Fuentes. I didn't, I didn't mean to cut you off, man. Go ahead. No, I, that, that was about it. So, yeah, I just think there's, um, uh, you know, it's a complicated question. Well, I, I mean, um, this Chaz thing just created out of thin air. It happened, like, in, like, what, a week? And we can't, I mean, why can't we just have volunteers just segregating themselves, like if a small town wanted to, let's say, close off themselves. All right, Dan, by the way, that? that's two questions that you got enough in. All right. Because sooner or later, <laughs> they're going to want to go to the good Walmart. Uh, yeah. Also, also, I was going to ask Destiny this. Do, do you know of a historical throughout the entire recorded history of the world, a country that existed and thrived long term? Um, without a dominant racial class, do you do you know of a country like that? That so this is one of those cheat things. That's going to be like a really weird question. I've just named one. <laughs> it's I, really I don't, weird. I don't, now. I don't, no, the yeah, no, like, I mean it's pretty simple. Like, it's like, no, it's kind of weird. So like me and Nick went over this a lot in our second debate. He probably it's forgot true. it. But like the concept today of <laughs> who you would would call like white is like really weird. Like people don't see that the same in like all of European history, um, or, or in all of like uh, um, world history, or whatever. Like our classification of races has changed like a lot. So I, I don't know like if the Romans or the Greeks would have seen like dominant ethnic groups or dominant. But like, I'm Greeks seeing. I'm hearing. You like, talk a lot, but I'm not hearing any countries. No, or any I don't. Examples. I don't know. I don't you don't know. know of any, do you? No, I don't. I, there are none. That's the answer, though. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Um, if there I mean, is no dominant race, it's it's not even about the racial class being mm -hmm. unfair to the other racial classes. That's not what it's about. It's about if there is no consensus in the country, if there's all these warring groups competing with each other, you don't have a fucking country. And that's just I mean, people basic would have said fucking the same. common sense. It's not common uh, sense at all. Well, that's is it absolutely not? Okay. not true. You can't name a fucking country entire recorded history. The fucking there's exists, a lot. Like, I can't name an, a country that, that, that ruled the world right. apparently about Japan. like the U.S. Weird, does. There's right? a lot of since unprecedented thousands stuff. thousands of years, you can't name one. Japan. Because people tend to... One. to we are in one more, country. We have never had the ability to travel like we do today. We uh, haven't. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's way yeah, It's a really important thing. We're uh, talking about getting people uh, yeah, from one yeah, part yeah, of the world. Yeah, that's super like, fucking like, important. You're asking yeah, me. That you're changes asking everything. Me. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'm trying to make you understand how fucking retarded your question is, okay? How is this you're, retarded? You're asking how me, is like, it retarded? Destiny, in the year of fucking 1000 BC, why didn't Chinese people and Native Americans get no, along? Well, because they couldn't fucking fly each other. They couldn't hop on a fucking plane to fly across the fucking ocean and hang Culturalism works. Because people tend to stay with the people that they're around when they when okay. they grow up, when you, you don't have planes to fly. You, no, because historically that's not how it works. We, we just didn't have the ability to travel as much as we do today. Oh, so what? now it's going to change. Now that we have all these... It is. It's going to get worse, changed. motherfuckers. Yeah, it already has like, changed. Yeah, you're right. It's going to change. The motherfucker's going to die more than they did. 
I that's think what's we're actually going to fucking I happen. Think, I think we're doing pretty good today. I think we're doing okay. Okay. I, we're at like record low conflicts around the world, even though okay. it seems yeah, like everything. Great. Yeah, we're great. Yeah, I, think yeah, we're, we're great. I think we're doing yeah. okay, considering how diverse the United States now, is. People thought it would have collapsed way before this. Not, I'm not, not fully dude, black pill, but it sucks like the great. past three weeks. <laughs> this country sucks the past three weeks. Wow, you got me, Nick. Yeah, look at what they're happening. So You're like, we're doing all right. Pandemics and fucking race friends and shit will do that. Yeah, there are definitely problems. We would have to live in the same country. I'm no longer in favor of segregation. It would be Ethan Ralph on one side. It would be me and Jackson Well, I, I mean, I don't know if we would be on the same side. I don't know. If, I, Nick, I don't know if they would put the Bonnells on the same side as the Fuentes. Is. I'm not oh, sure. You might be wow. on the other side of that line, You're my Cuban. dude. You're coming to the camp too, big guy. We're both going. <laughs> Oh God. I'll put my arm around Wait, you. what, Nick? What color are your eyes again? I'm going to the camp. After my the eyes show. are green. Oh, I don't know. So are mine. Let's keep We're going. Both going, man. Uh, Deal with it. Well, there's no way we'll get through all these, but I'm going to try three or four more. Uh, Milky Milk, go ahead. Oh, God. That's hello, you. hello. Oh, you came in right to the last hey. minute. Go ahead. Yeah, I got a question for Destiny. All right. So, uh, Destiny, you're in an open relationship, right? Oh, yep. I knew it was going to come up. Hit me up. What do you got, bud? Do you have any primary sources saying that open relationships are beneficial for your children that you have? <laughs> well, I the problem is I have those, but they're all in German, so I can't read them. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have to rely on the academic sorry, consensus on that one. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Uh, Checkmate Q, trust the plan, baby. I didn't oh. expect that, but that was a fair comeback. All that right. was a hot pack. <laughs> that was good. All right, folks, go ahead. Hey, evening. Uh, just a quick question. Uh, why do you guys think we should have an NFL season, and why are the Chiefs so overrated? And they Fuck suck? you, the Chiefs, the last <laughs> Super Bowl champions that ever existed. I fucking hate you so much, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, fuck oh, off. He doesn't get that forty-five million. Wait, wait till Mahomes has eighteen rings and then call me back. Get out of here, fucker. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right, Ooga Booga. Oh god, god. <laughs> what am I doing? Go ahead, you're on the kill streak. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't expect you to get on. No, um, you didn't. With a name like Ooga Destiny. Booga, you wouldn't expect to fucking get on, would you? Fucking genius. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, I got a question for Destiny's um, opinion of Vouch's mannerisms and you know, a bit of copying there. Does he have an opinion on that? He doesn't like Vouch. We said I, this on the I show. I didn't say no, it. No, no, he doesn't no, like No, you didn't say it. I said it. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 so now you're no. putting words in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, I did. You don't uh -huh. like him. You don't like him. Fine. Put that in my mouth. You're one I, step I away did. from calling Nick a Nazi then. You got to admit that. <laughs> you know you don't like him. <laughs> no, I think he's like, We hung out. He's okay. Okay, uh, I just, just want to pick. Um, uh, do you mind if I? You don't think question? he jacked your whole fucking shtick, basically? I think I. I think that cut I, you out of your own audience. I mean, I'm. I'm not trying to be mean about it. But that's my what he did. political opinions are my political opinions. I try not to cater to your audience. You don't audience. think he knifed lose... you in the back? I mean, no, it I, lose, you over. I lose. I lose. That's what I think. I made a hard attack on conservatives for a long time. I didn't realize I had so many commies in my fucking fan base. So I'll lose those when I make that clear. But I mean, it happens. It's fine. All right, fair enough. Yeah, someone's gonna. I think he was right? a fan. Yeah, he was. Okay. Yeah, I mean, he still is. I mean, we're like I he still is. Some... He still is. You're right. Well, I mean, I don't. I don't mean it like that. <laughs> no, yes, we're, we're, you do. Like, we talk to yes, like, you we're fucking do. We're supposed you mean to it exactly. We're like supposed that. to, unless yeah. Mike and uh, um, what is it, Mike Enoch know, and Eric Stryker, to, yeah, unless they back out. Me and Vosh are supposed to do a duo debate against them on yeah. Monday or some shit. Um, so yeah, we're cool. Um, I mean, no, like a, a lot of people kind of like pick up on some of my mannerisms, but I would expect anybody that watches my shit for ten fucking years to do it. I'm sure Dick's got a lot of fans that copy slang or shit that you say or whatever. I'm sure. God forbid, Ralph. Oh, yeah, you probably got fans that pick up on Thank some you. of your mannerisms and yeah, shit. Really yeah, of course. It's, yeah, All right, Ugo Booga. Thank you. Sorry, I don't have to be a butt there. Uh, Vosh, uh, he didn't come into the studio. Is it Vosh or Vosh? I don't fucking. Know. Is he in L.A.? What's his goddamn name? What's his real name? No, he somebody, lives in. Somebody North, knows North. Ian. Oh. Yeah, Ian. That's his fucking name. Ian. Yeah. No oh, fuck. Vosh. 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 <laughs> uh, what? What about his sexual, you know, uh, harassment allocations and stuff? Like oh, that? I, yeah. What do you say about some, that? I think he did. You some... know, he's talking about horse penis and stuff and trying to force that. Horse on. cock love. Yeah. I yeah. Thought... What about that? What do you think about that? I huh? thought so. As That's the one that gross. broke that. I thought That's it was done. It was, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought that what he did Why do you was... forgive him? You wouldn't forgive Nick if something I like that happened. Yeah, what the I don't fuck? Hold, yeah, I don't you wouldn't hold... forgive him. If he <laughs> said that, you would never I fucking forgive him. I don't hold any grudges like nah, that. Ah, you're okay? full of shit. I can I see you smiling. I can see it in your face. I'm Mexican and you're Cuban. <laughs> what? Wait, what did he say? 
You have a blood grudge because he's that's Mexican. What it's about. That's, I finally figured it out. It's it's I thought Nick did a bunch of soul math on stream to prove that our blood was actually really similar. I thought he's like, I count from uh, I think Castizo. we did genetic math. <laughs> so uh, he was like, I'm like 50% Castizo, and then the other 50% is European, so I'm like 92% like soul, because like, only certain souls go together. He, you know, you know what? what? Stop, stop, changing the subject. stop changing oh, yeah. the subject. My yeah. point is, you would never forgive me or Dick even, and you get along with me. us. You definitely would not forgive Nick Fuentes if he'd come on to somebody and try to push horse penis onto them against their will. You would I, not forgive that. So the reason why I'm laughing at you is because I do all the time. I don't. I don't. I think that there are so many good reasons to shit on people. I don't dig up shit from like two years ago. I never do that. If you were to do that, I would be gone in an instant. There's so much shit that that well, I've yeah, been involved I mean, in. That, I like I could. How could I ever hold that position against somebody? Like you do invent positions that they don't have though. Uh, <laughs> I try to figure out what their positions are because they won't come out and say it. I think I'm Destiny, feeling. You saying you were under go. this conversation? I, I feel even Fuentes. stronger. I think it's a little on the Nazi side. I'm feeling it even more after this conversation. No, but actually, but wait, but wait, you're saying yeah. just the exact same facts, yeah. and it was Fuentes uh -huh. instead of Vouch. And you would treat it the same way. You know you wouldn't, right? No, and I, I wouldn't either. I, no, I do. <laughs> so, for instance, here's uh, something that but, I could have attacked Nick with earlier. A thing got leaked where he said that, like, a black person fucking, or fucking a black person is like fucking a dog. I didn't bring that up that's at all. That's not what I, I said. I said it that's... wasn't like fucking a dog, but they both be degenerate. There you go. Whatever that was. Right? I didn't bring that up. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's pretty yeah. bad, yeah. actually. <laughs> <man. laughs> however, <laughs> however, <laughs> however, <laughs> however, <laughs> it wasn't a joke when he said it. However, that was years ago. I don't know if he still believes that. Is that a joke? <laughs> Well, that's funny. Yeah. I don't know if it's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Does that sound like something a Nazi might say? <laughs> Actually, no. no. It doesn't okay, sound like good. something a Nazi no? would okay, say. Okay. I just want to know if it's a joke or not. No, we don't have to. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, I was many years ago. <laughs> but oh, no, I was giving that example. Like, I don't bring up like personal shit from a long time ago. I try not to. I try to. You never bring up personal shit. I, no, well, because I don't know if they still believe it. I think, like, I don't like people for reasons now. I don't care, like, five years. Like, that cancel shit of, like, James Gunn said something on Twitter 10 years ago, whatever. Like, I think that shit is stupid it's fun, as fuck. though, right? Uh, no, I don't. I actually really hate it. Really? I don't like it. No, it's dumb. Because you, you say the N-word so much? No, it? not even that. That's not even a bad... I'll own what that position now. What makes you defend the N-word? Okay. It's not the N word. Yeah, it is. My position. I'm so close to saying it. I my position. Don't, don't say it. It's D-Life. I won't. I'll say it in my house. I'll say it in my house. I'll say it in my house. Okay. I'll say it right now. My Absolutely position not. initially. Him. Get rid of him. <laughs> my, my position is just that. No. My position is just that there no. are jokes I'll say in private that I wouldn't say publicly because I think it's irresponsible. That's it. And then people made it all about, no, would you but, say the N-word privately? Like the cookie but monster you... joke? Would you say that in private? <laughs> I wouldn't say that publicly. In <laughs> private, <laughs> maybe. Yeah. In private, <laughs> you may <laughs> not. <laughs> the idea of the cookie monster running between fucking houses with grandma screaming in the background while you're shoving cookies in. That might be a little bit funny. I don't know, you know? With big SS symbols on the doors. I don't know. Maybe it'd be a funny joke. But I wouldn't say it publicly because I don't want an audience. Can somebody make that meme with the SS? I don't want an audience monster? full he of loves fucking the camera creepers. now. Yeah. He was yeah, wearing, he was wearing sunglasses on camera day one because he's so shy. And now he's fucking pointing to the camera. The sun, what the are, camera. The, are the sunglasses slimming? Get What's Jared Holt over here. <laughs> Fuck you. What are the sunglasses? <laughs> Why don't you boost your seat up? By the yeah. way, me and him are about the same height. <laughs> Um, oh, anyway, good We're question, caller. Whatever. Go well, ahead. this guy, you're like 6'3". Yeah, or except yeah. him. Yeah. He's like 18 Jesus, feet tall. tall. Yeah. Very oh, tall. shit. He's also the biggest asshole of everybody, too. Yeah, Shockingly enough. True. Is it all the anal sex? Or not that, kind of, not that kind of asshole. Sorry, I got... <laughs> the earlier caller was throwing me off. Way. It stretched my yeah, asshole <laughs> section of my body out, so yeah. my entire body is much taller. So if I see you, as soon as you start wearing a diaper, I'll know that means you turn 45. <laughs> yeah. That's what the caller said, right? That's how it... I'll clue you in on those ballless men you've been sucking <laughs> okay. off, too. Oh, there you go. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, what does ballless mean? No, you know what? Let's have the conversation. <laughs> Let's have the conversation. Yeah, I wasn't even Matheson's gonna take all of us hobbits. I wasn't even gonna bring it up. I wasn't gonna bring it up, but you talked about sucking dick. And, sure, yeah, and I'm kind of balls. bisexual. Yeah, what about it? Yeah, but you said the balls weren't there. Like what? What's Sometimes going on? on guys, it's true in porn too. The balls go in the body. It's Wait, really fucking that's weird. Bisexual? Yep. Yeah. All sorts so of degeneracy over here, Nick. Well, well honestly, I Nick, I watched so many of your videos and I just couldn't help myself. You start. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> We have yeah. more in common than you might think. Maybe After your Catboy video, is that, that why like, the animosity if, is there? If Nick the Cat like, like is willing to run Catboy for 24 hours, well, fuck, maybe oh, I'm missing something, again. you know? There and then, it is here we again. go. I'll, I'll have you know that uh -huh. he's not gay. Neither am I. Oh, you, you guys said him. Because you, you guys said that. no homo yeah, at talk, the end? Didn't you, talk, you talked to the fucking... You talked yeah, to I think it was really fucking weird. 
I mean, he's just a troll. He's, he's a little yeah. out there. Yeah. But I mean, he's, just a troll. he's actually more extreme than me. Yeah, because he is. people hate him so much, they don't even bring up that he's like an extreme <laughs> wigna. Like, like so more, more extreme than anyone I've ever met before. <laughs> and they like the like literally left this little downplay that for once in their lives just so they could be like, no, he's no, no, super no, 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 hardcore, no. dude. Yeah, I was gonna say, if you've ever talked to this guy for more than 10 minutes, <laughs> he's hardcore as fuck. But yeah, yeah go ahead. <clears throat> Yeah, there were caller questions, right? I don't know if there were or not. Whatever. I like how, by the way, you're like, well, I'm bisexual, just Uh like you. Like that was an own, like you self owned yourself. I didn't think it was a big. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. You're the one that's. uh, What about the no balls thing? Most men have balls. No, I'm saying that sometimes they they suck up in their body. Weird. That's fucking weird. That's on you, man. If I mean, if you're a woman, if you're a woman, I would be saying, you know, fucking get those balls out, bitch. Let's go. <laughs> oh, reach in there. Fucking is... reach in there. Pull those nuts out. No, They're in there. Was this turn. the answer go to the ahead. second or third question? <laughs> Kropotkin. <laughs> the caller asked. He's taking a bad turn. Go ahead, Kropotkin. Yeah, this show just turned oh. hot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Kropotkin, um, go I ahead. I say, for an example of multi-ethnic society, mm-hmm. uh, I don't understand why more people don't bring up Yugoslavia because it was relatively successful. Yeah, they did the great States. Yugoslavia. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good that was a good example. Oh, you mean yeah. like a negative example? Yeah, it was great. Well, I mean, fucking, the U.S. fucking interfered with some shit that was none of their fucking. Oh, that's true. Too. I mean, there's a longer yeah. story there. It didn't work for like. Ten that, that's a fair point. I'm, I'm mocking I mean, it you. It worked from right. World War II to like 1998. I mean, like, so that's like a pretty long time. Two generations. Yeah, I mean that's longer than like people are accusing. I mean they have the idea that it's not going to work anywhere. I mean, it's I'm just saying multi. It doesn't work. Like period. I'm I'm saying this flat out to the camera. As Dick said, that I like mugging too now. Yeah, you uh, are into it. I'm getting now. to it. I'm getting into it now. Um, the whole no country's going to survive long term without a dominant race. Where class. are you going after the U.S.? Well, I, I think you have a more authoritarian Mars. government. I'm going to go to the heard? grave. I don't give a fuck like because if, if, uh, if, I'll be dead. So. Yeah. Whatever. Like if uh, Tito was immortal, I think Yugoslavia would still be together. But you know he wasn't, so they had fucked up leaders who couldn't hold it together. Milosevic was not able to hold it together, and then NATO and the U.S. destroyed it. So I think with a more authoritarian government, you could make it work with multi-ethnic, but it would just there would there would have to be. I mean, know, it, it, in theory, control. there are ways to make it work. I'm just saying there there are no. It would just suck, though. Yeah, I was gonna say that's the point. But can you, Nick? By the way, and obviously, to me and you basically well, agree on this. Like but are, are there any examples that you can think of where where a multi, you know, or a pluralistic uh, racial racial society thrives? I, I don't know of any, and, and nobody I mean, here can say any. Well, basketball team that almost you can't say any. Game. Tell me one then. I would say possibly Mesoamerica, like all of South America. That's not just one race, but also isn't any free trade center a magnet for all races like won't they necessarily be consumed by uh, a tragedy of the commons like eventually uh, you mean that worldwide events will affect them and stuff well like, like that? going all the way back to babylon like as soon sure. as as soon as a center is right you build cities there well, everything becomes more urbanized because yeah, people yeah. normally yes. move there yeah, yeah. any I mean, any big tra- it seems like a an, it seems like its own life form on its own like a city but if you look throughout history that's happened time and time again all these countries have fallen i mean it's been I, I, a lot different well, since the and the evolution and of it is such that they get better every and time part of it is and empire fail. too the country that stayed local and stayed you know like this, they're able to thrive longer. Like North even... Korea, or <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, I, I, <laughs> we'll see. I, You're gonna bet against North Korea? I don't know. I mean, I'm not. I'm not favoring North Korea. I'm just saying. Like, anyway, I, I'm, I'm it lasts extrapolating a too much second. as the host. But yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I like I said, I, I do think that it could work. I, I don't think it's likely to work. I mean, I think that's probably the argument. Yeah, it's uh, really yeah, I think not I that think it's that impossible. That's, just that it's not like, impossible. Yeah, it's just great never. There's no example in recorded human history of this working. Not that it's impossible, but nobody in this. I, mean, I think room, a thousand years of Greece is a good run. No. The, the okay, but Greek Empire. Yeah, but they they ruled the Greek, the Greeks ruled the Greek Empire. Um, they're, they're they were, stretched out to the Gauls. Yeah, but the old Greeks were the only ones who had power, years. though. It wasn't, they, they didn't let the Gallic. I don't know the specifics of it. You know more than me. Nah. Well, let's keep going. Yeah, I mean, we've got a limited time frame with Industrial Revolution, so it's we definitely got a limited like, time frame not enough experiments. Than one. Thank you. Wait, so you don't want to let him ask it. question six or seven? Nope. No. <laughs> okay. <sighs> we'll never get out of here. Yeah, we will. Groomer, go. <laughs> this is purgatory. Groomer, go. Muted. Too bad. Water City, go. 
Oh, shit. One fucking question. Go. Yeah, Destiny, I wanted to ask you about your water city position on a board. Oh, God. There oh. we go. There's the one question. Go. The abortion argument. I... What do you think about aborting babies? I, I, if you don't even have a conscious experience yet, it seems like it's. I've never okay. been involved in an abortion. Have you? Um, no. All right. Well, then, what are you saying then? That you, it's probably okay to abort things that don't have a conscious experience yet. You think it's okay? Probably. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah. I, I'm not making a moral judgment. I just, I just okay. was asked, trying to get the answer. All right, uh, Kyle Frank, lightning round. One question, go. Hey. One question, go. Hey, how you doing? That's uh, it. That's, that's it. That's your question. How you doing? I'm not gonna do them like that. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right. So, Destiny, um, what we were saying, what we were talking about earlier with the sort of having to do all of politics and all of legislation and make these super realistic ways where we can only use Congress and shit like that. An example I want to bring up to you, I'm not going to dox my friend, but one of my friends who is very much involved in one of the political parties in my state, he, me and him, we were, when we were driving down to CPAC earlier this year before COVID happened, we were talking about all the stuff that Nick and all the supporters talk about. And he told me straight up that we are not that if he started talking about these things with the people that respect him and love him and want him to rise up more in the party, that he would be kicked out immediately. So what would you tell him to do if he can't do like if he literally just can't talk about it in the political system, as we've described it, how what would be your advice to him? I mean, that's the political system working as intended. If your ideas are so electorally unpopular that even talking about them would cause people to turn heads, you're probably not going anywhere politically anyway. All right, he's gone. Now, let me ask you, do you normally take calls on your show? Sometimes, yeah. Depends okay. how bored I am. Okay. I just how much I hate myself. <laughs> on days where I hate myself I won't a lot, comment. I won't comment. I won't comment on that. <laughs> Pepto Bismol. I hate myself every day, so yeah. maybe that's why I take the callers. Go ahead, Pepto Pepto. Give oh, a question. Oh, give, oh, give me a question for Nick. I, I just have one quick question for Destiny. No, um, no, a question for Nick. What am I, chopped okay. liver? Yeah, um, what the fuck? Give me a question for Nick. <laughs> I don't care. Change uh, the question. Why, why did you um? You, Destiny, no, you, you, you're, you, you're not listening. You're not listening. <laughs> not an argument. You're on the kill stream. Go ahead. Oh, he left. Oh, wow. He just left. Wow. Damn, okay. Jesus. Nobleism. Go. Hello. Yes. Go. Okay. Uh, I had a question for uh, Nick. Hey. It, there right. we go. Imagine how that and, uh, happens. Ben, thanks for all your work. Yes. Hey, thank you, white brother. Yeah. I guess the question is how, you know, people like Destiny or Bosch would conflate you as being a Nazi, like in the same realm as like Eric Stryker, Richard Spencer, and James Olsup. Can you like, you know, actually, you know, make a distinction among you and paleoconservatives? That's a great question, uh, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think you mean the distinction between paleo conservatives and them, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Not, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah the uh, yeah, I get asked this all the time, and there is a distinction. That's the thing. People like Destiny and you know Ben Shapiro, like a lot of people say, I don't know if I don't want to put words in his mouth, but many people say that I'm alt right. Even that Wignat earlier, he was like, you know, you're just too afraid to say what you really think. Um, but it's not true. I mean, there are real differences between us and the other side. I mean, for starters, the America First, my show, the brand that I've created is is explicitly Christian, which is a big difference. And this was one of the earlier riffs, um, even in the dissident right, like three years ago. I remember shortly after Charlottesville, I put out a tweet, something to the effect of like, we can't save America. Like the American right will never save the country if it's not Christian. And all of a sudden, Richard Spencer and Eli Mosley and James Alsop and everybody calls me up on the phone and they're tweeting at me saying, we have to be inclusive to pagans. You're wrong. Christianity's cucks, blah, blah, blah. That's a huge difference. That's number one. Um, you know, beyond that, these people, a lot of them aren't even really conservative. They don't identify as conservative. They don't say they're conservatives. They don't actually have like a right wing disposition. They call themselves progressives. And maybe they're not progressive in exactly the same way the left wing people are, but I mean, they believe in like human progress. They believe in essentially liberalism. You know, people like Spencer, for example, have said that they're in favor of gun control. They're in favor of regulations on free speech. Um, you know, they made fun of conservatives for opposing the lockdown. 
I'm actually conservative. I came from a conservative disposition. I do consider myself right wing. Um, those are just a couple of examples, but I think Christianity is honestly the big one. You know, sometimes I tell people that and they're like, yeah, but tell me a bigger difference. And it's like, what could be a bigger difference than your metaphysical disposition? You know, we believe in the spirit. We believe in heaven. If you're a Christian, you understand what a big deal that is compared to people that uh, are materialists. You know, they're, they're atheists. They don't believe in the soul. <laughs> and that way, they don't even have really a concrete or a morality that they adhere to or that they're bound to. So those are a couple of the big differences, you know, being ideology and religion. I'm Christian. I'm conservative. They're atheist and progressive. So that's that's a quick summary. Did you want to say anything? You just want to take the next He's one. asking him to describe the difference between himself and the other. I know yeah. they were asking him, but, you know, people get mad at me. You know, Ralph, you're not doing your job. Why don't you let them talk? <laughs> you know how it goes. And I understand that because I've been on, you know, in your spot too. So, uh, okay. Flow Euphoria, go. <laughs> Lightning round. One question. One question. Dick, can I get a get out of here? Get out of here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo. Yo, get on here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so many <laughs> Best question of the night. Not an argument. I think I brought you in already, actually. But go ahead. Uh, yeah, we one, uh, yeah, yeah, one yeah. question. Uh, one. Uh, Destiny, you, you like science. Uh, can you describe the type of studies or meta analysis you would need to see to be convinced that racial behavior, IQ, and outcome differences are due mostly to genes? I, the, the it's so hard to answer that question. I don't it's know if it's weird, possible dude. to do um, like studies like that that don't involve like actual like experimentation, like actual things we've set up the difference between one another. Like for instance, like a couple of things that are difficult to measure is that um so like a lot of people bring up adoption studies or whatever, but they fail to account for the fact that sometimes even the womb is an environment, right? So somebody that adopts a kid. Um, <clears throat> Wait, never mind. I just, sorry, I just mixed up two completely different things. Um, for the twin adoption studies that like raising kids in different environments or different schools or whatever can have drastically different outcomes versus like another twin that wasn't adopted. Um, or for people that get um, pregnant, obviously that the womb counts as an environment. So how do you disentangle like genes or IQ from from different environments inside the mom, you know, based on how the mom's diet goes, determines how much nutrients the child gets, can determine like um, <clears throat> early life education and whatnot as well, which also has like big outcomes on, on later stage life. Um, there, there's like, like, I don't even know I don't even know enough to know all the problems that exist with trying to separate IQ from environment, but there's a ton of researchers that talk about the difficulty of doing this. It's just such a hard fucking thing to study. Um, I, I, I don't know. I don't even know. Like, I could start to say some things, but I don't know what, what all would have to be demonstrated to clearly say, oh, look, we can determine 100% that there is an IQ difference between this group and this group or whatever. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't know. All right, let's, uh, let's keep going. You can determine skin color, though. Yeah, pretty easily. Yeah. Well, yeah. just by look by looking at it. The problem yeah. is that like um so <laughs> yeah, it's very so like IQ is 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 like a polygenetic trait. There's like I think there's been over 200 plus genes that have been identified with all yeah. having small contributions <sighs> to IQ. And the problem too is that like some of the skin is a pretty I have extreme the let's get color. Finished gene, it is, gentlemen, but like usually let's, let's like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That's the gene less, that yeah. I have. Sorry. Okay, let's keep going. Big Mech get you're on the kill show. Go ahead. And you said nothing. Kick them. Made my Take intervention completely worthless. And I hate you. For Are that. they still joining? I don't know. They're not saying shit. Either. No, I mean the... they'll jump back in. Oh yeah, they will. Yeah. They definitely. There's will. a couple that have jumped back in. Jesus. Dick Tolls. Is hey, uh, what's going on? Can you hear me? Yeah. I yes, we can, bud. Go ahead. I don't know who you are, so but like, yeah, I can hear well, you. Uh, I guess I'll propose it to both Destiny and Nick. Uh, maybe just a different idea on something is what if we. Start to push a uh, racial group being their own tax pool in America. I mean, you're essentially uh, talking about segregation at that point. I, I don't think it would. Association, so... and I would I'm put it more like that. that. Yeah, you would get taxed kinda... more as, as the white yeah, man. <laughs> who's black no, I I who's say floating now. this yeah, idea? Yeah, say, that doesn't I'm sound so like a good idea at all. Let's, yeah. tax, yeah. let's tax women 100%. <laughs> tax money that white people get on too. He said, said we're going to get taxed more. That's exactly what's going to fucking happen. Yeah, what he's saying is that white communities would pay white taxes to white tax pools that would pay for white schools, is what he's saying. Yeah, well, yeah. Each white people are going to get their own tax pool that they are a part of. Yeah. Yeah. Um,. What is that toenail clipping? How would you control, though, for... I don't know. That seems a little... Yeah, how would you control that, though? Because money the is the nice stuff. Money the to the people. All right. I mean, that would actually be no taxes. Every community would tax itself. Right? 
Well, no, he's saying that like all the taxes that you pay should just go to your racial group, and no one else should be able to take. Well, out. that's retarded. Well, that but is if there retarded. was, I mean, yeah. if there was, you know if there was no is federal is taxes or, or state yeah, taxes, then you would just have local tax. I love the caller, but yeah, that if that's what he meant, that is retarded. Go I ahead, Rod. <laughs> Rob what if Brown mirrors would... are fake? If that happened, black that... people would be screwed. Exactly. They would be fucked <laughs> completely. Go ahead, Rod. Turn down your fucking There would be no radio. tax money in what there was. They would waste it. Every community. And you know what? Rod doesn't understand that you got to turn in your fucking radio when you call in. That would be a Nike subsidy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's keep going. We're almost done. We're so close. Uh, hallowed Husky? Go ahead. One question. Hi, I have a uh, a question and just one statement. Uh, Destiny, mm -hmm. is the lefty arc finally over? Hopefully. Okay, and uh, help me. Good, good meme. Yes, help me too. All is right. that one of your your fans? Yeah, yeah. of course. Oh, it what is that? What's a lefty arc? Uh, just debating commies and socialists. No, he said the oh. lefty. What is the thing he, he said was, at the end? What was he that? He wants mean me to be done debating I didn't, communists and socialists. I, I didn't, fucking you know what? Fuck. I understood what he meant with the lefty arc. Oh, you know, yeah, debating fellow debate. lefties, but I actually didn't understand what he meant with the end. And Nick mentioned it himself. What What did he mean by that? There's a meme in my community. There, I was playing CS:GO a long time ago, and this guy hadn't said a word all fucking game. And I was at like a car, <laughs> and he shot, and I backed up, and he ended up getting killed. And I out love of nowhere, that's what it is, by the way. Uh, then out of nowhere on the microphone, the guy screams, "Help me!" He, like out of, and we're just like, "What the fuck?" It was really weird. Some people just say, "That was clear." <laughs> you know what? That's pretty fucking funny. I gotta give you credit. All right, hilarious <laughs> to me moment. Nice. All right, you know what, Adam, go ahead. We're so close. Hey, um, so I just wanted to say, although Destiny doesn't hate like blacks, and, blacks and Jews and gays like the rest of us, I think he seems like a pretty nice guy. Um, Thanks. my question's for Nick. Um, Nick, is the mere mention of a cat boy enough for your pencil dick to get real excited? And like, what's the deal with that, by the way? Like, like, is that like? Wait, wait, can you say what's the no, deal with just, the pencil dick or the cat boy? Nah, just, I have a big dick, actually. No, like, what, what's the deal with like, the cat boy stuff? Cat no complaints. My giant dick. Well, because nobody's <laughs> used it. He's a fucking right. Catholic. Uh, he's not allowed to have sex until he gets married. Guys, 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 guys. Turn Nick up. You know, fucking cat boys is pretty much white genocide, right? No, no, no. Yeah, well, it's something I haven't done. On Discord. This is not Discord. Is that all you got, or you got something else? I think I was gonna be a home run. That's more right. Uh, well, yeah, but it's just Nick. Sorry, sorry. By the way, I, I was turning you up. Because... Wait, go go to right click on Nick's name in Discord. Yeah, that's no. what I meant. And then turn him up. Oh, on Discord. is that is that what you actually meant? Nazi. Yes. Nazi no, no, Nazi. You're no, no, not that. <laughs> no, I'm no, turning no. it back to where it <laughs> yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, calm down. I'm not that fucking dumb. I think right. I just leave. <laughs> I think he. I think he just left. Oh no! They literally just stopped talking yeah, and they well, quit. Good. He oh, well. <laughs> oh, his cat boy own. Oh, yeah, these people too. They roll you know up what? on the, me and then they're like, "Cat the boy," cat and then boy no one laughs. And they're dumb. Like, oh, you know, and I've stood down the show. I got to get out of here. I think it's dumb. Like he went to, to fucking. It's talk pretty to funny. Shrug. I no, think it's pretty funny. It's funny. It is funny, but no, it's funny. It's not based in fact. Look, if I if I hated Nick, definitely I would bring that up. Yeah, they could just throw it as like a fucking But but what I'm saying is, but what I'm saying is, it's dumb because i knew this guy he was on d live he was being a ridiculous fuck for months and months he was you know just goofing around and he was a troll and he you know he's part of this you know sector of the internet nick was in the town you know went it him. looks funny yeah. That, yeah it's funny like it's not about like it's nothing really more than that yeah, and you have funny. vow yeah. should notorious degenerate like literally open with his shit, Holy say, "Oh shit. wow, there's something. Oh, there's something nefarious with this. Oh, look, I looked at this guy. I was like, I right, fuck off. You take dick up the ass and you fucking praise yourself." Can about I ask it. you? Like, can I ask you a real question right now? Yes. You know the guy on YouTube that does the fast food reviews, the report of the week guy. This no. is completely off topic. Do you know that review guy? bra? Review bra. Review. Yeah, the guy that eats the yeah. burgers. Yeah. Do you think Fuentes kind of looks like him a little bit? <laughs> A little bit, About like the review. suit and everything. He's got like what the shirt. What does that have to do with anything? I just fucking said. <laughs> I'm just caging oh, just my dick. head. He's just trying to get a. I'm just curious. Out. That's it. I, it wasn't an insult. The guy gets a lot of YouTube. Well, you Rubra's rich as fuck. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think it would be an insult. Maybe they could we could swap out in a video and people. Would I, know. I, I just that's really... when he's trying to make fun of my look, which I don't know. It kind of speaks for yeah, itself. Yeah, I really don't know. know. I mean, look, I like both of you guys. He wants to throw rocks on that front. I don't know. He's gonna have to reach pretty far. Like me throwing rocks. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Go ahead. I, I, I oh, don't yeah, know. Next, what's the next question? 
Um, you want me to say, okay, we're really close. I don't get that Catboy shit. It was just no, a, but I don't either. I really don't. Nick was and on my show, and I got sent all this Catboy shit. I'm like, man, I don't Yeah, people care. tried to, oh, Ralph, why are you not calling out Nick? Oh, because it was uh, fucking, you know, funny. It was a bit like. It was totally Astro. Yeah, exactly. It's like, oh, yeah, why Why am I not? Because you're full of fucking shit. That's why. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, that's. Uh, the end is in sight. I see it. Five left. Yeah, we're close. Samantha Strummers. Oh, I bet she can strum a lot. Go, uh, hey, what's up? Oh, you know what? <laughs> oh, no. That's your question. Bro, That's your get question. Up. Get out. Bro. Get out. Who's get the out. Out. No. That brings get us down out. to zero yeah. straight people on the show now. Really? Oh, no. It said Samantha. What the fuck? I never heard yeah, that. Listen, fucking dude. Hey, it's 20. Hot They're, too, right? They're it's gone. 2020. You can't make assumptions like that on Discord. What are you doing? <laughs> Yo, you all They're heard gone. that, right? Guys? I hate you, Andy. <laughs> I think that's it, actually. There's one. It was actually Sam, not Samantha. <laughs> oh, was, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, wow. They can hear me. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, groomer, yeah. remover. Go ahead, buddy. Hey, nice. You're the last caller, by the way. You I just want to say I love you guys. And uh, Destiny, John Tron is twice the man you'll ever be. Wow. Based. <laughs> wow. What's your problem with the Jontron? Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. Talk Didn't you? You had a debate with him, though, right? Well, yeah, we had a conversation. We were saying a lot of weird fucking shit. But does he want a genocide too? <laughs> is he? I, bad, I don't know about. Is he a know, bad dude? Weird or? shit. Jontron is based. He was getting lost in some weird shit. He knows the relevant facts on what's going what on. What do you in think this about country. him? Yeah, I, I mean, don't know. I, he doesn't talk about politics. I don't think about. I had one conversation with him like two years ago. I don't. You never thought about him since, or before? No, I no. He doesn't like do. He doesn't. He's not in my corner of the internet at all. He like, I mean, that's true, but like, mm -hmm. I mean, he seems to be a, I guess since Gamergate, I mean, that's when I really started paying attention. Uh, he seemed to be a target like this guy's like, oh, John, John. Well, I, he got, he started talking to people like Sargon. And he started getting lost. Is that this, wrong? Like, oh, well, you're talking to me right now. I mean. Yeah, but I'm not dumb enough <laughs> to fall for your tricks. Right? That's the difference. When you talk okay? about John, John, it's kind of weird. I'm not going to walk out of here talking about how Mexicans are like not genetically pure well, like John, John was. You know what? A lot of people would say you're, uh -huh. you're fucking up by talking to yeah, us that's right fine. Fuck him. Okay. What do you think about that? Though? I can talk to anybody who I want. I'm an adult. Well, that's what I think too, but. Yeah. I, I just, yeah. I respect that's, that's what part they, of that did you disagree with? The that's adult where part they, or the... <laughs> no, that, I could do whatever I want. That's no, I, could, the part. I said I could talk to anyone I want. Yeah. I do anything I want. Right. That's a slippery slope to the N-word. All right, let's go. <laughs> 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 to Andy's dialogue at home. All right, you know what? I do love that you will come in here to talk to all of us. There's nobody really going to cool. left And I give either. you credit every single time. And me and you actually get along, except for that one video about mom. And I couldn't. <laughs> It's all good. Fuck. <laughs> Stefan, you know what? It's right here. Where you at? I know he's been on your show. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> Dick Wait. just got away about him. He just slid right into those. Yeah, yeah. Like, he came on Dick's show, but, you know, <laughs> the kill stream's not illustrious enough for him and his bald fucking head. Hairless. You just got to learn. You got to learn the game. Yeah, from you Dick. know what? Bald people closer to hell. I think that's what I believe. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> it's supposed to be short people closer to hell, right? No, it's bald people. Bald people? They've okay. been cursed. That's why. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Hetero Alpha God. I'm sure you live up to that name. Go ahead. Uh, hey, can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Yes, we can. Go ahead. All right. Man. Good, good, good. Uh, I just had one question for Destiny. Um, uh, I think you were part of my God, and I'm just wondering how that affected your future, if at all. I don't. I was never on my god. That's like a really old, like 1.6 clan or something from like 15 yep. years ago. Yeah, no, I, I watched some of their videos, but I, I was, no, I was never in that. I didn't play 1.6 at all. Okay. I appreciate the time. Thanks a lot, guys. Yep. I have no idea what that was actually about. Was that a StarCraft question? Yeah, literally. I like I... old Counter Strike. Okay. Plan. I like that he got it in, though. <laughs> in the middle of this, yeah. you know, the kill stream. You Holocaust. Know, you versus Witness, <laughs> Holocaust. <laughs> You know, all this type of that, shit. That clan was responsible for one of the first meme videos on the internet, actually. Oh, really? Um, have you, Did you ever go to the website? Um, fuck, what was it? Like, pwned.nl? P-W-N-E-D.nl? No. There's no. a guy. Oh, You're fuck. the man now, dog, is the, one of the first meme That's sites I remember. Later, but that that was an early one, too, mm. yeah. But, yeah, okay. All right, let's keep going. We're so keep close. going. Spurgberg, I kicked Put you out Ken once. Put some Ken Burns music to that. Just, I remember. I, I kicked you out once. <laughs> 
Oh shit, am I back on? Yeah, fucker! Surprisingly, yes. That's the question, that's the question. Oh my god, One fucking question, you fucking loser! What? One question. I bring you on every time, and it's because of your fucking name. I don't okay, know why. Okay, let him just let him go. Spurgberg actually okay. amuses me. The what? name Spurgberg oh amuses me. That's why I bring you on. Give me one fucking good question. Can you do that? Okay, okay, okay. Destiny. Are the pit bulls genetically disposed to killing, or are they? Yeah, you know what? Fuck. I hate you. Get out of here. That's a good question. Yeah, great question. <laughs> SCT, you know what? You're muted. Get out of here, too. What the fuck? <laughs> Australian Patriot, you're muted as well, and I don't understand why. Okay, now you're not. Oh, he's unmuted. All right. Are you there? Australian Patriot. Can you go ahead? Australian a question. A question. <laughs> Silent. I'm like, saving. Riveting. All right. Now, wait. I heard him. Go ahead. Hello? Yes, go ahead. Yeah, there yeah, we can are. hear you. Go ahead with it. With a question. Yep. A question. Go ahead. Uh, hey, I just wanted to say to Nick that um, I've been watching his show since his interview with Yusuf, and mm. um, he really brings out. He's one of the main uh, nationalist perspectives on YouTube at the time. I always look forward to watching his shows every day, and I just wanted to say God bless you and keep up the good work that you. Hey, do. thanks, man. Wow. I appreciate that. Very wholesome. Call. That was nice. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate White brother it. moment. But that say, was on friend. Yeah, you know what? That made me feel good. <laughs> All right, we needed some. We needed some, some wholesomeness. That was nice. Uh, Is there so... any, anyone who wants to thank Destiny? <laughs> for... say, probably not. Uh... Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Samantha, Samantha, you know what? Nick I brought you down. You know what? Fuck Destiny off. Let me talk. Wait, 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 shut up. Yes, sir. Samantha, now speak. I'll yeah. let you back in. It's a charity donation goal for Nick Fuentes and Destiny to play a co-op game together. I'll be so into that. It'll be awesome. Oh, you know what? Yeah. Okay, that's a fair. That's not that bad of an idea. Yeah, I'd do it. Okay. What about you, Destiny? Say it. Just say you'll do it. Say so you'll do it. I'll do it if I can pick the charity. Uh, oh wait, it's a charity? I thought yeah. we were just hanging yeah, fuck, out. Fuck, <laughs> no, we'll do, no, I wanted to be like charity. I wanted to be charity like, would it be? Nah, you nah, probably nah, donated nah. to some. Yeah, like a Holocaust guys, no, how about this? Wait, wait, wait. You probably donate wait. to the Holocaust yeah. Museum. Yeah, no, wait. What about this? White yeah, you genocide guys museum. both do <laughs> a video game stream and it's 50 50 and you both donate it to the charity of your choice. Yeah, we should. I got a lot of. I out. think that's fine. The right? Southern Poverty Law Center. I, bet I they think I have, would want yeah. that Bruh. fucking shit. Oh yeah, I'd be a good ass. Okay, shit. that's fine though. You if know, that's, if that's what you want your I charity to be. I told Ralph on the heel stream. You you're dipping into you you're dipping your toe into bad mojo. Do not do not Ooh, fuck with charity. Right. What you, Keep it. Donate with? the white well beans. Charity the doesn't want either of you guys associating with them <laughs> ever. That's Keep right. the fucking money. Do the video games, get the money, keep the money. That's it. You're not helping I, anybody. I don't like that idea. <laughs> but you know what? It was an epic moment. It was. It was epic. It cost me everything. But, but... <laughs> 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 but it was epic. I mean, you know. Well, you know, there are ways. We maybe could negotiate. I, I think it would be fun. Fuck charity. I know. I, you know what really actually frustrates me is that we can all sit here and get along, but you and Nick seem to just... You don't think he wants to kill all? What race do you think he wants to kill? You don't, I don't think know he wants if it's to the kill Jews them. or the blacks? Or, I don't think he wants to kill. Them. He just wants to move them all away first. Why not? But no, move them that. into better neighborhoods, I maybe. <laughs> Moving on up, like the Jeffersons. I fucking love the blacks. <laughs> Were they trying to move into wealthy neighborhoods? Or I'm from Memphis, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference, Destiny? <laughs> Uh -oh. <laughs> they were trying to move into uh, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air's house. Oh. You don't think he's? You don't think Nick has some kind of a secret? They were up to no good. They started making trouble in his neighborhood to kill any kind of race to, of I don't people. Think he wants to kill any race. I think he wants to keep the country like majority white is like the yeah, main thing. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, Look, that's that, I'll put wrong? it in terms you can understand. I understand. You're we well. whites Why are, are like protoss, and wait, blacks don't call and Spanish are like dirt. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nick's right. talking. Nick's talking. <laughs> Nick's talking. Nick, <laughs> talking. Nick, what were you gonna say? <laughs> I said, I said, we whites are protoss, and blacks and Hispanics are like Zerg. And they're rival clans, and they're going to fight if we put their bases next to each other 
What does that we're mean? We're going to run out of Vespine gas. <laughs> we're going to run out of... So the protests and the Zerg are like and ideologically the put, they try to murder each other. Basically, with the protests unironically wanted to genocide the Zerg and Stargrave. So he's actually hurting himself a lot right now. Is that I, true? I, I, Damn I it! Back well, on you know the, the, the Nazi right now. Wait, 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 wait. What are the other guys? Can you put this... Wait, one at a time. Oh, yeah. Can you put this in terms of Command and Conquer 2, Red Alert? So uh, uh, not, not, Zer not Zergard in the Alice. God damn, I love yeah, that. Yeah, Tiberium some. Please yeah. fucking. You know yes, what? Tiberium we should play that. Command and Conquer after this fucking <laughs> game because I love it so to much. To see who wins, Mexicans or whats? <laughs> 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 All right, go ahead. I for go ahead. Who forgot. I think it was Nick. I, yeah. Honestly. I, I finished. I, I just wanted to I honestly forgot. There. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Uh, How long does this shit? I'm fucking hungry. Way, How long do you? Hey, do hey, bro. We're almost hey, done. Rob. We got like uh, sorry. Two callers. Okay. Yeah, Warski, we know dlive.tv slash subculture. <laughs> no, no, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go fire it up and uh, go fire uh, it up. That up, all right? I will promote all right, you. Guys. You know the deal. Thank you, guys. Thank you. I'm talking about Karen, Lauren Southern, and Last of Us Two, and some other things. All right, guys. See you later. They Peace. never read that you. email, by the way. I know. <laughs> And I'm fully aware that I'm going to have to read that whole email before the show, probably. Destiny, did you think you had so much? You would have so much fun tonight here. Yeah, I always have fun. Yeah, yeah, you guys. Oh, okay. I think so. Yeah. Fun. Funny chungus go. One fucking question. Good, great. Question. Funny chungus. That was great, that was riveting. Great riveting. question, Mister Lennon. Go. Yeah. Go. Next. Great. That's great. I almost pulled myself out. Okay. Fuck off. <laughs> you know what? Gator, pulled himself out of Gator Bam him. He was a very man. Oh, no. Bam him. Get oh, him no. out. Get him out. Get him, get him out of the train to Auschwitz. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. <laughs> he wants to burp into him. the microphone. <laughs> burp into my fucking asshole, you <laughs> cocksucker. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. You think you're funny? Get him out of here. <laughs> I burped. <laughs> oh, that was a <laughs> base. <laughs> That's so that great. You knocked the camera. You knocked that camera. Oh, no. There you, well, I think, no, that was on me. That's Destiny's camera. Okay, give me a sec. <laughs> did Rob just bitch slap the camera across yeah, the room? Yeah, he did. He did. Twist it. Amazing. Twist it. There you go. There you go. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, I feel like this good. garb you're looks good. a lot more. It's so hard to fix it back. Oh no! Racially insensitive on it. It's. I'm not. This isn't right. <laughs> that's a racist. That's a racist Hawaiian print oh, that you're wearing. It's. It's cursed. Actually, I wore that at my friend's wedding, and yeah. his wife cheated on him. So that's a cursed garment. All uh, right. Yes. It's a cursed show. I think. This is very cursed. I agree. All right, Tango. Are you still here? Yeah, I was being a gentleman and waiting. Okay. See, there we go. I'll we'll be a gentleman. I'll and, caller. And go ahead your fucking with your question. question, buddy. Thank yeah. you. Oh, God, I love Nick. So love Gator. Nick. My question was for Worski. How does it feel to live in the biggest shithole in the in the world, basically, Canada? He loves and... it because he's not here. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I think I can, I, I can speak for Worski when, when I say, fuck yeah. There you go. <laughs> Hello, Euphoria. Go ahead. You're on the Ah, uh, you brought me back on, you drunk fuck. Get out. Fuck him Eat out. a dick. Get him, out. Get, him out. Get him out. You're done. You want to start the call with insulting me? <laughs> fucking suck on the exhaust pipe, you fucking piece of shit. And I was about to say another word. Worse than. I'm so glad you caught yourself on that. Oh, I was so close to letting it go, but I didn't. All right. BC, last caller. Last caller. Go. Last caller, you fucking ban him. BC, are you there? Can you hear He's us? He's fucking ban him, dude. He's trolling you, man. Yeah. He's, He's fucking, fucking trolling you. He's not, fucking man. trolling you. You know he is. Actually, I know that guy, and he's not. He's just a moron. <laughs> Um, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> At some point, you gotta. Uh, you know what? I, I would really like a last caller, though. That's the only thing. Oh. Fuck it. I can't bring. Hasn't this guy been in here like five times? Yeah, he has. You know what? Fuck it. You know. Wait, but who's that? Who's that guy you're on? Is there anyone new in there? I don't think so. Um. Oh, this guy didn't work. SC2. Earlier, right? You didn't work. Yeah, earlier, this guy right? didn't work earlier. Okay. SC2. Right, this last is your caller. last shot. Alicia, is your last chance. Please, God. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, we hear you. We can hear you. 
We can oh, hear well, you. That's fucking fantastic. Okay, I got six questions. No, oh, just, mother... Uh, uh, He's just Ethan. kidding, Ralph. Just, just I know, when, I when IBS was around and JF kicked you, what were you guys fighting about? Oh, you're talking to me? Um, yeah, Ethan. Um, I wanted to. Sh- they I about? wanted to show uh, some of the Zoom clips, and uh, he said. That okay, he, fair enough. He said, "No, fuck off. I'll finish speaking." Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, he's. This is a you know what he's about. You know what yeah, he's about. He's about fucking around. No, now. let him go. Let him go, though. Yeah. Um, I wanted to show the Zoom clips, and JF did not want to show them. Uh, and I told him that it was not his show, which it was not, and which he found out very brutally because uh, he went to making, uh, you know, tens of thousands of dollars per month to make him like, you know, one. So, uh, OK, well, thank, thanks for clarifying that, because the first time I heard you and you got kicked, I thought, yeah, JF's right. And this Ethan guy's a piece of shit. Now, years later, I've been listening to you ever since. And uh, yeah, you've changed my mind. Well, you know what? Wow. I didn't expect that finish. Me either. Me and either. I really appreciate you saying that. Maybe I shouldn't be talking right. to you. Okay, five, five more questions. Here. Oh, shit. Go ahead, sir. Uh, Dick, are you going to do the show for like 40 more years, one more year? What's your timeline here? What are you thinking? The Dick show? I mean, I'll probably do it until somebody breaks into my house during a show and executes me live on air. Oh, yeah. I don't know yeah, who it will be, but I, I assume that's the end of me. I'm prepared for probably. it. Bitcoin hits, you know, one million or something, then you can call it a day. No, if Bitcoin hits a million, then I'll be doing the show forever. <laughs> I'll build, I'll build a floating island, and I'll talk about how fucking dumb everyone up was for not listening to me the whole time. I got, like, I, I hope you got room on that island. Destiny, why'd you stop playing StarCraft two? And uh, what do you feel about that? Um, the community kind of died. People moved on to other games, and I, yeah, I moved along with them. Yeah, I've played it lately, and it, it fucking sucks. I mean, the pro scene's still there, but, I mean, mm-hmm. God, that fucking game sucks now. Yeah. It's not what it was. Uh, and Nick, uh, trust the plan. Hell yeah. Hell. Trust the plan. Yeah. The All plan right. is destined for completion. All right, thanks, guys. Sun and semi. Thank you, man. Great call. What a great last I call. Love- wow. Hey, us, By the way, got you, all of us, you know how I said yeah. last call and then like 15 fucking people Well, this is like our fourth last caller. Yeah, right no, that, that was, was the last actual call. last <laughs> caller, last though, call. because, you know, we're way over budget. Nick Fuentes, who wasn't scheduled to be on the show. Here. Yeah, no, it's actually... It's only ten forty years. It's almost ten or four. But here it's like, <laughs> oh wait, do we still uh, get arrested here if we're driving out too late? Is that a thing? drunk? Yeah. Oh no, no I th- for the quarantine <laughs> show. Uh, I think we have to wear a mask on our faces and our assholes. Oh. As long as we do that, we're okay. Oh, Mr. Nick Fuentes, thank you for coming back to the Kill Stream. It's been since uh, February, late February, about a week before. I uh, saw you in person in Washington D.C. at the mega successful AF Pack conference. So That's I, right. I thank you for that, and uh, thank you for having me there, and I thank you for uh, coming on the show tonight as well. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. It was a lot of fun. All right, Destiny, you're still here, of course. Yeah, I am. What are we gonna do after this show? Are we gonna I'm gonna go get some fucking food. I'm hungry as fuck. Hell yeah! You want to go downtown? Our no, let's go. Like, is anything gonna... open? Uh, are we in the party? By the way, so. you know the one thing I have written on my sheet here that I stole from Dick. By the way, what is on the other side of that? Is these both both these motherfuckers play the piano? <laughs> and I was talking about this with Destiny before the show, but I, you know, I'm not a piano expert. I don't know shit about the fucking piano, really. You're not a huge Except pianist. I like to wear it. Yes, no, nah, no. Nah. Right. You're a. <laughs> Inconsequential pianist. I'll they would show call you my you. pianist later. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but I had the uh, the heart and soul do that uh, kind of peg for everybody. Heart and soul. Da, 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 da. Oh, you want you want Destiny? Both of you guys play, play the piano. Together? Yes, yes, that's what. Like I want. with your house n words. Well, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, Ralph would get the two not completely white guys to play the piano for him. It's because we're Hispanic, Mexican, Cubans in some kind of way. You think you could just you know tell that us be, what you, to do? You know that would be great. Both you guys playing Heart and Soul. Do you know how to play Heart and Soul? I don't even know what the fuck it is. So. It's the uh, huh? it's like it's so uh, easy. It's like the easiest fucking. You don't fucking know shit about so what you're talking up. about. I you don't know. know how to play yeah. anything. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but I know you that probably. That's, yeah, I know that. I could probably like, tell you, know you tips on how to probably, jerk off right. Okay, I know how to you know play what? instruments Me and so you well. Play it then. 
<laughs> I don't want you anywhere near that beautiful. <laughs> you'll, te- you'll tear through it like Matt Foley motivate. Okay, here's you. Here's heart and soul. Uh, uh, yeah. I think it's just I think it's just C A F G. I'd probably kill myself before playing that. White supremacy. Maybe next time. Neither one of you fuckers are going to play it. <laughs> that would require some talent. That's not going to happen. All right, let's... Uh... <laughs> uh, that's it. I don't know. What else can I say, really? No, that's... yeah. It's been a wild one. It's up to you, though. Why don't you say something? What's up? This is your show, man. I'm just here well, I know, guess. but I mean... Like tell people where they can find you and stuff. Oh, you I, I know we had a lot of your yeah, viewers here too. As Twitch well, so. TV slash By the way, Destiny sh- for extreme uh, leftist politics. Yeah, I hope we were fair to you. I think we were. I mean, we always are. I, th- I feel like um, I had fun. That's all that matters. <laughs> I should have had a chess clock. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm talking, I mean, Nick's talking. He didn't I'm say talking, we were fair, but he said I had fun. Okay, you know what? I had fun. That's all that matters. That's at the end fine of the day. with me. I, I feel like. There's a lot um, of debates that were fair <laughs> that I don't remember, but I remember all my fun ones. <laughs> Same way with pussy. Yeah. Right, let's go. <laughs> you had a lot of fair <laughs> pussy? Wait, are you saying the, the most fun is the I'm unfair? I don't, there's a lot of weird ways to read into that one. I hate you both. What about fair ball sex? Die in a ditch. You... <laughs> Die in a ditch. Good night. This was the, we, we're, we're done with it now, though. We're, we're done. We're done. The riots are done. The protests are done. They're not, there's no more talking now. This was the most that happened.